morning happy birthday to us um sunday morning six o'clock woohoo this is the last day of our birthday week oh we have we not had a great week so all of you who've been with us or have dipped in and out during the week we have had so many amazing guests and special offers and deals it's been fantastic and today is no exception in fact i think we're doing i think we're ending the week on a very very good fantastic guests um and we've got an early bird first early bird now we have pulled out all the stops because we had um these are always out of stock whenever i try to put them on a show that i'm doing they're always out of stock one of my favorite things the other day we had 50 in stock and they just sold they just sold somehow i don't know how they managed it in the office but Haley made a few phone calls and she got them back in because we need them today we need them for epp we need them for fpp and i have got jenny jackson as my special guest today so back in stock and these are very important is the soline fabric glue pen absolutely gorgeous only 6.99 so they come um they come with one free refill i use these all the time for all sorts of things so there we go, you've got this, the pen there. Now this has been developed specially for fabric. Do not use Pritt stick, I've done that and I can assure you it's not a good idea. Um, I have tried it and it, oh, it just sticks to everything. So these are great, so it's glue, it's basically glue, glue on a stick the, and they all come in all different colours. This one's blue, doesn't matter what colour because they dry clear and then you just wind it up when you want more, wind it back and it comes with a refill as well so thank you very much Hayley for getting us more in because we need them so for EPP obviously they are brilliant because you none of that tacking you can just glue your fabric to the paper brilliant for FPP as well well I always use them for FPP just to stick the first one on um, I use them for putting zips in so instead of tacking a zip in first you use them for that also, fantastic for buttons. You know when you sew a button on and you want it in a specific place and it keeps moving? Blob of glue on, on the button, stick it on, press fasteners, same thing. Anything that you use, and maybe you're using PU or vinyl or things that you can't pin, use this because the joy of it is, is it doesn't gum up your needle or your thread. So you can whip through it with your sewing machine, you can use a hand sewing needle, and they're absolutely perfect. It dries clear, but I use them all the time. Or things like, maybe you're putting in a bag and you want the straps to stay straight during assembly, because you know sometimes you put your strap in and it sort of moves. If you just put a little bit of glue, it will hold it straight, and it won't damage the fabric. It dries clear, but remember you get the whole, the whole glue stick that, and it goes, you just wind it up as you use it. That's already in there, preloaded. Um, once you've bought this, you don't need to buy another one. You just need to buy refills. And there's a refill. This one comes with a glue stick inside plus the refill. Honestly, once you use this, and I know I was a bit sort of, oh, I don't use glue, I am just use thread. But it's, it's a temporary thing. It's not permanent, it's not forever. It's so that you can make things straighter and more professional. It's, it's fantastic. Oh, we, Hannah's, Hannah's got a little surprise. A little surprise. Yes, yeah, so you get your pen and you get your free glue stick that comes in it. What's... What's the little birthday tree, Hannah? No. Pound off. I said to Hannah this morning, what's the point of the early bird? And she, and she said, the point of the early bird is not money off, it's the fact that we've got it back in stock and it always flies out. Fine. I said, well, I'm with you on that because I love them and they're never in stock. But she's given me a pound off. 5 99 Now, any of you who have already checked out on it, don't worry, you will be charged the lower price. It's a special gift for you being up at 6am on a Sunday morning. I hope you've got a nice big fat cup of tea, slice of toast, butter. Ooh. You can, um, now, it's really easy to um, change the refill as well. Well, you have to take the whole glue out if I'm going to do that, Hannah. Anyway, when you take yours out, Whoa, it'll be like that. <laughs> and you just pull it. Oh. Yes, now I've got sticky fingers. <laughs> I've broken it now. I don't think I'm going to do that. I've had, Jenny, could you just sort that little one out for me? Because I've just got it stuck. 
Yeah, Jenny's going to do it for me. Cause oh, are we doing it? Yeah, Could you guys? do it? Yeah, more than Jenny. Oh, I've already done it. Because I've got really sticky fingers. Because you don't <laughs> normally change the refill when you've got a whole one in there. All she needed to do was pull the <laughs> uh, push the thing out further so you That's get nice. the whole grey bit. And all you do is you clip off the grey bit. That was the end of the glue. <laughs> and when you open the new one, you can see there's just the grey bit. And you just pop that on and you're done. And then you roll it back down. And then you roll it How back down. How did I manage that? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not used to changing them when there's a whole glue stick in there already. There we but go. But it is really easy, as you can see. Yeah. Yes, we'll keep that one. Yeah. Actually, I, can put, I wonder you if I can I'm... pop it back. I'll, I'll play while yeah. you carry on. I, I like, and I've got my, my, gl <laughs> my Glammy Glamour's gluing assistant here. You sort of me. Now, don't forget that everybody who checks out today gets an entrance into the draw and you get an entry for every time you check out. So, so anyone who multibine, you get all of the entries like having lots of raffle ticks. Today is amazing. Um, thank you for being here nice and early because Jenny and I are in nice and early. So we have got everyone who shops today will be entered into the draw. The more times you shop, the more entries you get. Today, the prize includes a brother FS250 FE sewing machine, a sewing machine, no way, hundreds of pounds. This is today, so, because we've had a new prize every week, so it's not just one prize for the whole week. Every day, we get a new prize. And today, we've got the brother sewing machine, we've got creative grids, Liberty Rainbow Fac Water, and Eclipse Ring Light. So a bundle of creative grids, a Liberty Rainbow Frack water pack, an Eclipse ring light, and a Brother sewing machine. So everyone who shops today will be entered into the prize draw. The more times you check out, the more entries you get, which is fantastic. Um, now, remember, early bird, to celebrate Jenny and I getting up so early. Um, oh, what does Sandra say? Morning, ladies. Up silly o'clock on a Sunday. Looking forward to some bargains from Sandra. I know, Sandra. It's very silly o'clock. And we weren't even supposed to take money off this. We were just excited the fact that um, Hayley managed to get us more in. So remember, five ninety nine. you get your glue pen, which will have a whole glue stick in it. And you will get the refill as well. Um, the packaging has changed. They've upgraded it. So it might look different to the one you've had before. It's exactly the same. They've just changed the packaging, that's all. But it is brilliant. The all, also, remember, it's water-soluble. So once you wash whatever you've stuck, it will disappear. But it does dry clear. It is fantastic. Does make a big difference. Does make a big difference. Um, just, you'll find what you use it for. I discovered the other day buttons was a joy that you can just stick them on and sew them on. But, and, and then hand sewing through it, nothing gums up. I mean, my fingers are sticky, but once it's on your fabric, it goes, it's not like using, never, never use print stick. Anyway, I'll leave that with you. Keep on checking out because we sold out, um, was it yesterday? A couple of days ago just went and we did reduce the price so when you see this get it because we will sell out again because we always do it's awful awful um right before we go over to the menu we have got another very exciting treat back in stock so jenny come yes, come i'm coming come on you. over now these are your special threads they are they are so these are absolutely gorgeous absolutely yeah. gorgeous now it's not easy to get these so these are orophil now we all know orophil is fantastic it's long staple egyptian cotton which means that it doesn't bobble and fluff because all the staples lie nice and flat yeah but normally orophil thread is in a 50 weight which is what you use in your sewing machine and you use for general sewing yeah but this is 80. it is so the higher the number the thinner the thread you have to remember that yeah exactly higher the number like needles so why why 80 then? Why so I 80? use this for English paper piecing. It's the best of the best of the best. And why is it better than using just a normal 50 weight thread? Um, it stops your stitches from showing through as much. Right. And a lot of people get frustrated I because do. it's showing. Yeah. And um, when you use 80 weight, it just it So it's show not easy to get just... hold of this 80 no, weight thread. No, it's not as easy. So in the pack with your name on. Yeah. It's, it's the so English paper, pe paper piecing workshop by Jenny Jackson. Um, and in here, so you've hand selected the colors I as well? I have. So when I released my book, Aurafil, um 
loved all the colours and they know that I'm an advocate of 88. So they mm -hmm. asked me if I would like my own collection. So and how, I how jumped did that. you choose the colours? Oh, it was so hard. So there's less colours available in 88 at the moment. Um, so yeah. I had, they sent me a colour card and mm -hmm. I got, just got the joys of going through everything and picking what I wanted. So these four, <coughs> oh, soz. The four on this end are my staple go-to colours. So I use those the most. Okay, so the, the greys. The, the white, yeah. the light grey and the dark grey. Mm -hmm. They're my go-tos. And then these colours really match my book. They do, they <laughs> do match bright. your book. <laughs> and if I'm sewing loads of the same colour together, so or a similar, same colour, different mm. tones like if i was sewing loads of purple fabric then i'll use a purple right okay i use the other ones if i'm sewing all different colors together okay because when you can't Cause choose blend, yeah right so yeah i just pick colors to go with my book and they're gorgeous because they're on wooden spools I know. i know a lot of people keep the wooden i've spools. just finished one it's, it you? takes forever to finish I it imagine. just letting you know because there's 200 and is it 280 meters on the each one yeah it says there yeah so yeah 300 300 yeah. yards so yeah, they go forever, and also the quality is so much better than other threads. So when you're hand sewing, you're going through your fabric constantly. Well, it doesn't fray. Yeah, because what happens with normal threads? That constant, down. you have to use such short lengths yeah, because it so, just breaks, doesn't yeah, it? Exactly. So I still well, it just it goes um, like bitty, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. The, yeah, yeah. So I still use um, wax with this just because it helps pull out any knots if you get any knots. Right, okay. Um, and it strengthens it a bit, but it's just such nice quality. It is, it is beautiful. It is beautiful to stitch with. I'm converting everyone. So back in stock today, 69.99. It is so worth it. You are getting so much thread and it will make a difference for any of you who are doing lots of hand sewing and you're doing EPP. It does go bobbly, it does break, but this, it doesn't happen with this. It's beautiful. Um, good morning, guys. Being called into work, so I'm so I'm awake to watch First Hour. Our lovely, to my favourite presenter, Bex, and favourite guest, oh, Jenny. Oh, so I'm, I eventually you. got to meet Kaylee oh. at our Dingley Quilt Show. Mm. She came and um, saw me. She loves EPP, but I've just got her on the FPP thing. Oh, as well. thanks, Kaylee. What a lovely yeah. message. Good morning. I set the alarm to watch you and Jenny from Carol in Coventry. Well done, morning, Carol. Carol. Well done. <laughs> we set our alarms as well, but it's lovely for all of you who have joined us this early. Yeah, can you really imagine nice I actually woke here. up 10 minutes before my 4am alarm? Um, morning ladies, excited to see you at the EP Puffin bag. I got this last time, may have to treat myself to a King Shoe option. Have a great day. <laughs> now, if you missed out on the Puffin bag before, um, the Puffin bag, that will be on at 8 o'clock, okay? Um, Da, da, da. If you missed out on this before because it's sold out, this is on at 8 o'clock with Jenny and I, but it is available on pre-order. It's beautiful. This is the EPP. We're starting off this first hour um, with FPP, and we are launching at 8 o'clock. Look. Look at the Kingfisher. And uh, you've got to look at the back. Look, it's got a matching fabric on the back. So cute. Gorgeous, isn't it? I love that absolutely beautiful it is. isn't it yeah my Abs dad loves kingfishers so i love I that to do one. so this will be the epp is at eight o'clock we're going to be doing um fpp now it's um jenny's block of the month which was super popular last time but um right we'll just do the menu and then you can yep. you can get yourself ready and we're going to start off with fpp so coming up on today's show now at six o'clock is jenny and i with february strip of the month well done for all of you who have already come in and checked out on it. We do have some January ones as well, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, seven o'clock, John will be on with Mandy Short. Just had a chat to her. Oh, I almost missed coming on air on time because I'm so excited to look at all her things. Um, she's got some great kits. So she's got at seven o'clock her new folk bird heart and pincushion tin. That's at seven. At eight o'clock, I'll be back with Jenny to do her gorgeous peacock wall hanging and kingfisher tote 
that's going to be EPP. Uh, John will be back with Mandy at nine o'clock to do her alphabet wall hanging. And then um, John will be on for the rest of the day. He's got Lisa Lamb at 10 o'clock with her new city backpack. Mandy Shaw's back at 11 with her new marigold bear and thatch cottage. That's gorgeous, just seen it. And Lisa Lamb will be here to close the show with her cute Cambridge satchel. What a fantastic <laughs> end to the birthday week. What a mad end. That's a <laughs> mad end, <laughs> isn't it? We've got like a Jenny, Mandy, Lisa sandwich. Exactly. Isn't it? I can you imagine us all in the green room together at yeah. once? <laughs> it's all gonna like, yes, we just won't be able to hear you sound. Can you imagine? Because they all talk at the speed of sound. <laughs> so it's gonna be hilarious. <laughs> right. So if you um, were here for Jenny's last strip of the month, this, the, the basis behind this is, it's an FPP quilt. Every month, Jenny's gonna give you a new strip where you make nine blocks so you can learn FPP if you've never done it before. And, or if you have, then you will just love the quilt and you can just do it. But it is really good if you've never done FPP. So last week, last month we did the January one. Um, and then this month, we're doing the February one, funnily enough. So, have we got, have we got a still of the February? So there are two versions as well. So every month you have a new row of blocks and it's available in two different colorways. So this is what, so this is the whole quilt. Now, can you see the, the second one down? That's February. That's February. So you've got squares and squares within squares. Yeah. It's February. So in the kit, you get quarter of the stock's already gone. Already gone. Well done. And I think that's great. Morning, Ben. Morning. I think that's great because um, for you who got up early, you've managed to check out because we did sell out last time. So in the bundle, I'll show you the instructions in a minute. Sunday is normally my one lie-in of the week, but you've got me up early, Gem. <laughs> Sorry. Can we have it back again? Thank you. Well, I had to get my FPP strip. Loving it, Auntie Neat. Oh, yeah, that's my auntie. She <laughs> oh. bought the first one. Oh, bless you. She's had to swap her dog walk climbing around. <laughs> so, so this is what it. you get. It's amazing value for money. Amazing. So this is in the kit. Obviously, you get full instructions. I'll show you in a minute. Hold Have I got it? Part of it. Uh, so this is what you get on the panel. You get all of these pieces to do your FPP, and you've got loads there, haven't you? Yes, yeah, so it's 10 fat eights, basically. Which is loads, so it means yes. that you don't have to cut precisely, you can no, go over No, you have bit. plenty left. You've over. got plenty, so isn't that fab? So you've got all of those fat eights. The color palette will be the same throughout the whole of the blue kit, so the whole thing hangs together. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Right, so that's, that's what you get, plus, Plus, you get the instructions. Now, the instructions are all written and printed and glorious from Jenny. And that's the row that we're going to be doing the, today for February. So it's all squares within squares. And Jenny's going to show you in a minute. In the instructions, full instructions of exactly how to do it with photos, really, really comprehensive. So if you are a beginner, you've always wanted to try FPP, but you're like, well, I don't know how to do that. This is the time to start. We've got the January. If you haven't bought the January and you think, what's this all on about? Don't worry, we've got some of the January kits here. So you can start, you can get the January one, which is row one, and then you can get the February one. But also, because the way FPP works, it's um, you're sewing through paper. Jenny has printed off, you have got all of the templates here. You don't need to print off anything yourself. Because basically, you take your template, you take your fabric, and you sew through the paper on the fabric, and that's how you get the accuracy. But all of the templates are all printed here. Obviously, if you want to make more of them, you can just photocopy them and make some more. But all of them are here. You do not need to print or photocopy anything. So all of the instructions, all of the fabric. Now, this is February blue, and this is what um, Jenny will be demoing. However, there is another colorway. We have also, well, we, Jenny, <laughs> we. I don't like that way, suddenly we, yes. Um, there's also a pastel version. So if you don't want the blue one and you prefer pastel, um, this is the February pastel version. So can we have a look at the finished yeah, thing? Yeah, we might have to hold it up. So what I've done is each month I'm making oh, the full version of the pastel. 
So this is January and February. Yes, so oh, together. Oh, this is so pretty. So it's exactly the same design. So if you get one of each, you'll have a blue quilt and you'll have a pastel quilt. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. So the, this was January, the first row, and obviously we've got more of those in stock if you've missed it and you want to join now. And then the second row with all of the um, squares within squares and triangles is February. It's so pretty. And the only way you can get this absolute accuracy is with FPP. Oh yeah, you don't have to be scared about losing your Morning point. ladies, I've been awake since four. I'm so excited to get my February panel row and the Mandy Hart wonderful birth Day week, silly Nala, <laughs> Nanny Jim, Gil. Oh, oh brilliant. Well done for getting up so early. I've been up, up since 4 a.m. as well. So, yeah, you can tell that. Like, you can tell a little bit wired. But I did have coffee. Gorgeous. So, this month is just the bottom one, is the February. Shall I show you the panel so you can have a look at that? They are absolutely massive. I think for 19 99 it's fantastic value for money. So, this is the panel that you'll get quarter of the pastel stock's now gone just like that so look at all of that now the joy of this is because it's all printed onto the panel then you there you, it makes it much much more cost efficient which is why we can bring it to you at this amazing price you are getting all of the instructions you're getting all of the templates so you don't have to print out anything and it's all so clear and otherwise we just if we had to give it to you if we had to buy in the fat eights all individually it would cost way more so this makes it really cost efficient um now the finished quilt once you've bought them all will is about 80 inches long 50 something wide so it's just about right for a single bed but i was doing a few calculations if you want to make a, a quilt to fit a double king size bed um if you get two kits then you've got nine in each row if you get two kits you've got 18 in each row you will have an 80 inch square quilt approximately might be a little bit more so if you're thinking well this is a single bed quilt or wall hanging gorgeous but if you want a bigger one just get two kits and it all and it's not complicated you just add on instead of doing nine in a row you do 18 in a row and then you can have a double bed quilt morning ladies up early to watch i managed to get february strip of the month i love watching jenny demo and fpp so good celia page and cheshire she is Aww, isn't she she you. is isn't she i know Guys. Right, so before we crack on with the demo, for those of you who either missed out last time or if you've just come to this and thinking, oh, I didn't know we were doing a strip of the month, we have got January's here. So the January one comes with the full instructions and you get the whole panel exactly the same with all the fat eights. This was previously demoed on the 22nd of January if you want to watch that back. So if you're just joining now, don't worry. Um, we will have we have got the past month so that you can get this it's the same it's the big panel different fabrics but all of the same tones and colorways and then you can make the January as well oh we've got a few we've got even got a FIFO review great fabrics and the color is great from Angela I mean it is a beautiful panel so this is the um, the January panel just so you can see so the colors in this one um they're a deeper shade of blue yes they are so and it helps it really helps to frame it so look those are the colors so we've got flowers we've got small floral big floral we've got little spots so that makes the january row which is a little deeper in color to the february row so that it all blends together gradually gorgeous that's the january one in blue if you want to do pastel we have the also the um the January one in pastel again you get full instructions that makes the top row of the like the flying geese yeah. sort of pattern oh wrong way <laughs> oh <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes you don't get yours white yours will have print on so those are the pastel fabrics that you will get in the January so if you are only just joining us on the FPP journey you want to have a go at it or if you've never done FPP before this is the time oh yeah it's for beginners it is brilliant and beyond and so if, if you're, you're not a beginner, it, you'll love it. You'll just find it you're super, just super easy. Super, super lovely. But what a great way, because every month you've only got to make nine blocks. They're all the same. So you can really practice. By the time you get to February, March, you'll be an expert. Oh, yeah. I mean, Kaylee, who messaged in earlier, she'd mm. never done it before. Oh, okay. And she's done her first month. Well, there you go then. Yeah. Perfect. Right. Okay. So where do we start? Well, then? so I've made one little block just so you can see it on its own and we are going to make another block so you get a master copy template in the pattern which you can just photocopy if you want to make more 
um, and then you get nine ready to use templates it has it all labeled okay. the ready to use templates are on thinner paper than the the master, uh, master copy, copy oh, perfect because this is the paper that you want to sew with so what i do is you cut well what you have to do is cut your template out just beyond the uh, dashed line because that dashed line you're basically just using as a reference for your seam allowance around the whole block so what i find easiest is i pre-fold along all the lines you're going to sew because i find that this makes it much easier once you get going so I'm just going to fold all of them and the fat eights are working wonderfully so I think it's probably I think the whole quilt will probably be fat eights each time but I do have to work it out to make sure there's enough fabric there we go you don't have to be dead on it's just helps I think that's all of them done now there we go. So that is everything folded. Um, in the pattern, I've got all the cutting instructions, how many you need of what. I believe I've already pre-cut two. Yeah, two lots, just depending on. So I tell you to cut squares and then you need to cut most of the squares on the diagonal because you're actually going to need triangles to sew, but you get the most out of your fabric by doing this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Becky's just Oops. dropped a box of everything, sort of pins and things. <laughs> <laughs> it's very early. She's just walked out now. She just walked out. <laughs> oh my Lord. It's everywhere. all right. It's all non-breakable items like pins and needles. <laughs> So I'm just cutting my squares into triangles. Um, what I tell you to do is basically cut all your fabric first mm. and then put them into groups. So you need two of the large squares, two of the medium, two of these small, and then you only have one of the other small ones. And if you group them, then you can make sure that you're not repeating any of the fabrics in each block, if that makes sense because you don't want the same fabric in one block. You want them all different. So I have just cut all of those. And that is one group of fabrics there. I've got another group here. So I just find it easier to do that and you'll probably find it easier as well. Right, so with FPP, what you want to do is you want to set your machine to the stitch length of 1.2 because this gives you a nice tight stitch, but it also means that you can tear away the paper easily afterwards. So I will say, I had never done FPP with a panel before, and the fabric is so amazing for FPP. It's like really, really crisp. Yeah, it is, I it is really crisp. I absolutely love it. Yeah, I'd, I'd never had the opportunity the, to um, use it The pastel has just gone into the lead. Oh, has it? Yeah, pastel has nice. gone into the lead. Right, so you need to make sure that you've always got minimum of quarter of an inch seam allowance around the shape that you want the fabric to cover. Okay. So I hold it up to the light to check, but obviously my measurements mean there is just more than quarter of an inch. Um, That's quite, I like that, that you give the measurements of how to, what size to cut the fabric. Yeah, because, because when you're a, a beginner, a you need to know that. Well, if See, you've yeah, been doing it forever. that's the one that I stick on with the glue pen, number yes. one. <laughs> if you've been doing FPP forever, you can be a bit tighter with your seam mm. allowances and stuff. But um, I wanted to make it so that everyone could learn how to do it because it's easy. So yeah, but it does make it easier to know how big to cut it because otherwise you just guess. Oh, yeah. And you can end up wasting fabric. Yeah. You might oh, cut brilliant. it too small. So I have covered number one with the fabric because that's where this fabric. So it's wrong side of template against the wrong side of the fabric. And then I'm just going to pin this in place, or like Beck said, you could just use some sew line glue there. And then what you want to do is sew line glue, one pound off today, five ninety nine while stocks last. Bargain. Yeah, special special discount for those of you who joined us early because it'll be sold out by then. Then what you want to do is fold the line between one and two. So I've pre-folded my templates all along the lines, which means it's much easier okay. to then fold. 
and um, what you want to do is trim oh now you've got that fab ruler I, I love have. these rulers they are the best so these are brilliant now why are these so brilliant Jenny? so they've got this little nip here I don't know if that's the right word for it but it's just there and that is quarter of an inch that bit there so, so it sort of sticks up like a little yeah, shelf yeah so when you put it against the fold of your paper it stops at the fold as you can see it's stopping and then you just trim away the fabric and you've got your perfect quarter of an inch seam allowance and it's just really good it just it's saves not so going to go time. any further yeah you don't have to get because you, as soon as you feel it hit the mm. card you know you've got quarter of an inch you don't so have to measure so in this measure. pack for 24.99 you get two you get the six inch and the 12 inch and sometimes and it all depends on what oh, size piece I you cut use in. the little one loads so you use the little one when you're doing little bits and the big one when you're doing big bits so they are available individually but the most cost effective way is to buy them both pack of two 24.99 now they're not just for fpp you can use them for all sorts yeah, when you, you want to add on quarter well. inch seam allowance. I sometimes use it for EPP if I'm drawing around the shape. I use I'll them for stick that as a well. bit of um, use Soline glue to stick the shape to the fabric mm. and then draw the quarter of an inch round. Okay. And if you're adding on a quarter of an inch seam allowance to things, because of that little shelf, it's so much easier. But if you're going to be um, on the journey with Jenny and you're going to do it, it's worth investing in these rulers because they it, last forever <laughs> well and they just make things easier yeah. i use them just to check seam allowances as well yeah. so i think oh yeah that's quarter of an inch so yeah perfect, perfect. once you've got them you'll realize they're not just for fpp you use them for everything and i have both as well so 24.99 we do have them individually but this is the most cost effective way to buy them right sorry jenny that's all right <laughs> so in the pattern i tell you which sized uh, triangles you're going to be using for which number and i've really made it as easy as mm. i possibly can for you so now I've trimmed that fabric to the seam allowance. You open the paper out, you grab your next, which is the small one of the smaller triangles, and you line it up, right sides fabrics, right sides together along the line that you've just cut. You see that? Yeah. And then you can either pin it in place, hold it in place, whatever you want to do, and you're going to flip it over, see your templates on top. And we're going to sew between lines one the line between one and two, but you want to start just before the line and finish just after. So then your stitches won't come undone at all. So like I said before, you want a 1.2 seam allowance, uh, stitch length. And we're just gonna sew straight along that line and just beyond the line. There we go. So now flip over again, fold the fabric over that you've just sewn and use a seam roller or a little iron if you can be bothered to move to an ironing board. We have seam rollers. But honestly, the seam rollers do the this job. This is our most affordable seam roller, six ninety nine. So again, this is part of your FPP kit now. Oh yeah, so yeah. So you've got your um, glue, I, optional. I use it for more than that. But you've got your quarter of an inch ruler and now the seam pressing roller. Now these are great because you're pressing a seam open without using any heat or steam. So if you've got something like this where you just want to press it, you can't be bothered to get the iron. Yeah. Or if you're using vinyls and PUs. Yeah, but also when you use the iron, your card will, your paper, sorry, it just folds up yeah. a bit and it's just like, oh. So, and you really just don't need an iron because mm. they're small little seams and they do it really nice and crisp. Wow. Right, I'm just gonna recap the, the kits because we've got loads of you waiting. You've got them in your baskets and there's lots of you. I, I know have messaged in saying, what is what, what is what? So we'll just go through them again. So the picture has got the blue one in but there are two options. You can either make the blue quilt or you can make the pastel quilt. Um, now, we started last month with January. We're now on February. So. This is what Jenny's demoing now. So in the February kit, 1999, you get the instructions plus nine of the printed FPP templates on thinner paper, because you need thinner paper. So this is everything you need, no photocopier, no extra printing, it's all there. Then you also get this panel of fabric that are all fat eights. Um, and these are all the pieces. There's more than enough than you need here, so it's fine if you go a bit wrong. Sorry, just having a quick extra. drink. Um, yeah, and also, if you keep your scraps, you can make a really brilliant scrappy binding at the end oh, for the yes, whole quilt. That's true. Yeah, so keep them all. Um, put them in a little bag and keep all the scraps for a beautiful scrappy binding. So th that's February for doing the nine blocks that Jenny's showing you at the moment. 
If you would rather do the pastel version, same instructions with all the FP temp templates. Um, and on the one, the, what will you can see at the moment, it's the bottom row, it's the squares within squares. The row above that. So on the website, you'll see the picture is of the finished blue quilt. Um, because that was the only finished example we have. But it's yes. called pastel and you again, you get all of the fat eights. And they're the ones that we've just shown you. Jenny's got them in the desk in front of her. The January and the February. So that's the February pastel. Now, that's in the lead. Now, if you've just joined us and you're thinking, what are they on about? I miss January. Don't worry. We've also got the January kits. So if you go on to sewingstreet.com, click on watch live and scroll down, all of the kits are there. So there's the January and the February blues, and there's the Jan and January and February pastels. Pastels currently in the lead. So there we are. Who knew? The January quilt was hanging behind Jenny. Right, we'll go through it all at the end, because I know the problem is, is that we, we start off, and then people turn on all the time. So if you joined us at 6.17 a.m. and think, what are they on about? <laughs> That's what we're on about. Uh, right, back right. to you. So I folded over the first piece we've sewn, and then we're going to flip the template over again. And now we want to sew number three. So you fold the line between one and three. And as you can see, I've over sewn that line there. So when you fold this line, oh, you just pull that fabric. And because you've used such a tiny stitch length, it's not going to undo those stitches. So now we want to use our ruler again to trim off to quarter of an inch, like so. And then open it out again add your next piece of fabric that you want to add right sides together along the line that you've just trimmed down and then flip over again pin it in place so it doesn't move sorry john that's Scott's all right making he's noises distracting in the background. me he's got a lovely <laughs> shirt on he has <laughs> very mini mouse <laughs> and then you turn it over <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's red and white spot. I think he's matching Mandy today. <laughs> and then you're going to sew just before the line and finish just after the line, and that is between two and three. And my thread has just, my needle has just come unthreaded. Oh. So, so if you, uh, if your machine doesn't have like, because it's only the, the more computerised have the set stitch length, do you just sort of put it down to the lowest it will go? Yeah, and then just try it out, make sure. I'm pretty sure. Oh no, mine does go down to zero. Okay. But you do just want it. Just shorter than you'd teeny, normally do. Much shorter, yeah. Okay. Teeny tiny, right? That moved there. But if you um if you buy today, you'll get entry into the free prize draw. You might win a brother sew machine and you can definitely set the stitch length on that. So there we go. You know, if you want to have a chance of winning a sewing machine and pack of creative grids and a Liberty Rainbow Fat Quarterback and an Eclipse Ring Light, every time you check out today, you will have an extra entry. And then you can start your whole even more fantastic sewing journey with your sewing machine. Right, so I've sewn between the lines one and three there. We're going to flip it over, take the fabric, and we are just going to seam roll that open. So that is the technique that we're just going to keep going. So now you want to fold between one and four. So you're going to fold that back, just pull that bit fabric down and then trim off using quarter of an inch. So you don't, I mean, you don't need loads of specialist equipment. It's just oh, if no. you've got the ruler. They're just handy. The ruler is handy quicker. and the seam roller is very handy. Indeed. But that's it really, that's isn't it? it? And because the kit's got all of those papers printed, you haven't got to get your photocopy around. You haven't got to you go anywhere. You haven't got to do anything. You can it's just all in there. cut your fabrics and go. So again, now we're going to take it over. You might find it easier to pin your fabrics just so they don't move. Every time, start sewing just before the line and carry on just after. This is every time you sew. So it's quite nice actually to have like you're using there a small cutting mat by your sewing machine so you can just oh yeah i have a, i have a smaller cutting mat next to my sewing machine so i just don't have to move I so we have got the rotating cutting mats um today and they are brilliant for fpp i love them i use yeah. them all the time when i'm trimming off things they are fab and that's the one that jenny's using we've got blue ones look at these 
So this is, I mean, this I probably use my rotating one for, well, for FPP, but also um, trimming half square triangles. Yeah, that's, that's what I so use it for. Handy. Because they rotate. Just going to carry on adding the square while you're doing that, just so that Okay, I can you get add the square done. and I'll rotate my mat. So what happens is, can we go overhead on this, I'll show you. So it locks on the back if you don't want it to rotate, but if you do, you can rotate the mat rather than rotating your fabric. So when you come in to trim things, if it's in the wrong place, you just rotate the mat. It means nothing gets moved. So these are ideal, but also because of the size of it, it's just a 12 inch square. It's, you can keep it by your machine with your seam roller, because obviously you don't want to press on that. That's why the seam roller is great. Yeah. Because you don't have to press on it. And that's all your, all that your equipment all, in one place. I know, it is so great, it's so, so lazy, great. I love it. I <laughs> and then you don't have to worry about losing your points because it's all drawn for you. I know, it's beautiful, isn't it? And it's so, I love it because it's so mindful, isn't it? You yeah. like, you go sewing, pressing, cutting, sewing. Exactly. You know. I always cut everything first as well. <laughs> right, so I've just added the next shape on. So we're going to flip it over and now we want to go for number six because we've done one, two, three, four, five, and now number six. So again, it's the same thing fold over that line pull that fabric forward usual quarter of an inch trim off that excess fabric so as you can see there's not too much waste either no it's but really then good. still plenty of fabric not to stress that it's not going to cover the shape yeah yes so then you're going to line this up again fabrics right sides together and see this is where i would usually if i was sewing this block normally i'd end up losing that point yeah you would well that's right the joy because i'm of just it. rubbish at stuff like that but there's that. no seam matching. so you just don't have so just to worry because you. when you hold this fabric flip it over you're going to follow the line which means that if, so long as you're sewing on that line there's no chance of you losing yeah the point of that square I do want to try and do this whole block so that I can show you how to trim and sew yeah, yeah, two yeah, blocks we're, we're together. Get We've still got So then, see, minutes. as you can see, that point Beautiful. is perfect because well, I, I was just always amazed the line. I always thought FPP was only used for like sort of pictorial work. But no, loads of people you can use do. it for normal blocks. It helps build your confidence as a sewer, you, I think. Because it's so frustrating trying to match up the points sometimes, exactly. particularly when you start, that there's just no error here. Exactly. So this is going to, now I'm folding over the seven. Yeah, I think, I really do think it helps build your confidence up because mm. you're not going to get frustrated with that. Your block's going to end up the perfect size. I think you need to go home, love. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing broken, just crushing. Oh, so right sides <laughs> together. Just a case of remembering to sew just before the line. I have a, in the uh, pattern, there's a little section that has tips. Okay. So it's just all the things that I like to do and remember when I'm doing FPP. There's quite a lot of people that bought it last time that have never done it before and I have seen quite a few well, people already on things. it. things. When I first saw FPP when we were on sewing court, I thought, I'm never doing that. That looks really difficult. And then one day I thought, I'm going to learn how to do it. And once <laughs> you learn it, it's not difficult. Oh, I did some massive just quilts on sewing court. You did absolutely massive ones. Massive FPP quilts. And they are beautiful, but it's one of those things I think that you look at and think, well, I can't do that, but yeah. it's actually not. Oh, it's really well, I'll, um, I'm happy to tell everyone my first experience of FPP <laughs> was not. Go on then. Well, I was on a retreat and I saw, found a Kingfisher pattern, which was very beyond a beginner's. <laughs> and I was determined to make it because I wanted to make it for my dad for Father's Day. Let's just say the Kingfisher ended up with two beaks. No <laughs> And honestly, everyone at the retreat just couldn't stop laughing. They were like, what, how? how? And I was like, I just don't know. But it was like a, an advanced pattern. Right. And I'd well, never some done of them, it before. But the thing is, though, once you've learned the technique, you can do any of them. Oh, now? Yeah. Because um, that it doesn't has, matter um, how small the pieces are or no, how big. That was one that had loads of part A, part Bs that you had to yes. stitch together and stuff, where it does get a bit more complex. But... Um, but I don't once, know if what you I learn did. FPP here with Jenny, yes. then you can then go and do Kingfishers. Have you ever redone that Kingfisher? I haven't had time, oh. but I would. Well, that's fine. You could have your EPP Kingfisher <laughs> exactly. instead. Right, so now we're on number nine. So same thing. Flip over, fold along the line, pull those that bits of fabric down. 
and then trim off that excess fabric. Always remember to trim that excess fabric off or your seams will just get too bulky. Then right sides together, lining up where you're gonna sew. You can always flip it over to make sure you've checked. I do that on most, but I know that I've definitely got plenty of fabric to play with. So we know, like this, these blocks come together so quickly. Do you, when you're doing like nine blocks, do you do one block at a time or do you do part yeah. one of all of the I blocks? I tend to do one block at a time, <laughs> yeah. But I've got all my fabrics grouped, like I said at the beginning, definitely group your fabrics into the blocks so you don't get double of one yeah, fabric okay. in there. I think that's really important. That's why I say cut them all first. And, and put them into piles. Make nine groups. Nine yeah. little piles. So if you do want to do like piece one from all nine, take them off each thing. Yeah, exactly. Or work on one at a time, yeah. it's up to you. But as I said, if you want a double king size bed quilt, get two kits and then the length will be correct, but you can just make it double the width. Yeah. It'll be absolutely stunning. And could you send a photo when you finished it of this? Because we'd love to see the double bed <laughs> size one. So now we're doing the outside shape. So still following numerical order. So we've just fold the over on the number 10 line cut away that excess fabric get your next one this is what's nice about the groups it's as well because you know are, exactly which fabric well you're that they're pre-cut yeah so if you spend some time cutting it all out and all the cutting instructions are in the instructions put them into little piles that's the good that's why i like these mats as well because i keep all my bits on the mat yeah and and slip a template between each group and you're oh, good yeah, to go. True. Yeah, then you're ready to go. And then you can just like dip in and out of it. So if you think, well, I've got half an hour, I'm just going to yep. do a few of the, the pieces. Exactly. And then you put them back on your cutting mat, put them on a shelf. Yeah, it's always important to remember once you've sewn a line, make sure you flip that fabric over. Okay. And seam roll it. Because if I left it there and then went to add the next one, I'd end up sewing across it and I'd have to undo the stitches. And you don't want to undo 1.2 stitch length. The paper doesn't I like have it. done, well, neither do I. <laughs> <laughs> it's an absolute mission. But you'll get into I've the done rhythm it many a times, of the, the sewing, pressing, yeah. cutting, sewing, pressing, cutting. Exactly. So we're just going to line that up. Like I said, flip it up. There's plenty. And if you do mess it up, don't worry, because you can photocopy an extra template yourself from the master template. Yes, So if exactly. it does go wrong and you can't unpick it all, then don't worry, because you can re you can photocopy another template. Yeah, or if you, you manage to unpick it so you can save the fabric, mm. but the template's absolutely ripped apart by then. Don't, yeah, don't worry. And also, what you can do with the, if you really love making these blocks, you can get the master copy mm. and then shrink it down and then you can make cushions to go with or oh, borders yeah that's true and stuff i mean and even things like when you're doing a quilt with borders they'd make lovely cornerstones yeah the corner, exactly you know. you and to be able to get that so accurate would be really hard yeah. if you weren't using fpp exactly and if you just shrink them more and enlarge them you just need it's more fab. or less fabric because this looks you've made this look so easy <laughs> it is honestly once you've got the technique going it is just the same thing over and over again. It's all numerical order, so you don't have to stress. There you go. So flip back over, get the last, another piece. We've got one more piece to sew on after this. Like I said, pin it if you're not confident in holding it, because it might move when you take it to the, the uh, machine. And so again, I'll say again, start before the line and finish after the line. Well, you've got about five minutes left on demo, but I think you'll be fine. Um, Laurie says, morning, Rebecca and Jenny. Looking forward to the show today. It should be lots of fun. It will be, Laurie. It will. <laughs> Margaret says, good morning, everyone. Louise says, I'm trying to find this by searching the code and it can't be found. Well, Louise, what you need to do is go onto sewingstreet.com, click on watch live. And if you scroll down from there, there we go. So this is for you, Louise, and anyone else who can't find it. Click on watch live and scroll down. So the one that we're showing at the moment, so that's at the top, because that's the one that we're showing. That's the February blue one, okay? Everything else that we've shown is below it. So all you have to do, 
So there's the this January pastel, January blue, February pastel. So if you go onto the Sewing Street website and click on Watch Live, that's the best place to find it. Um, but if you want to find any of the EPP um, kits that Jenny's doing next, and all the Mandy Shaw items, they're all there as well. So it's in two. There's today's um, show do. That's the ones that we've already talked about. The things that are coming up that we haven't done, just click on coming up and then you'll see it all. So I hope that helps, Louise. Right. Fab, right, we're ready to add the final, last final piece. Final, final piece. Exactly. So you can see how quick that's come together. I know, together. it's amazing, especially because I keep interrupting. <laughs> <laughs> if you were doing this with no interruptions, you've done it in half the oh, time. Oh, yeah, it comes together so quickly. There we go. So that's the final piece added. And I'm going to show you how to trim down and sew to the other finished block next to me. Right, so press that. So we'll oh, see a good, good question from Helen. How do you decide which colours to put together? <laughs> do you know what? I don't even think about it with these. So for each strip, the colours all go together perfectly. So all, the only thing I have in my mind is that I don't want the same print in each block. Oh, OK. So I repeat the prints, but in a different block. Right. Does that make sense? So as you can see, this centre one here, I've got cut ready for the outer of another. Okay. So I d you do use, obviously, because there's only 10 fabrics, but honestly, they all go together. So just so don't put really the same one next to each other yeah. is about so it, it, really. It really doesn't matter where you put the prints, because okay. they just all go together. And I guess also, if you cut everything out and put it into nine piles, you can rearrange it That's then, it, can't you? That's it, before you start sewing. So before you start sewing, you can look at it and go, oh, actually, I need that one for that one. Exactly so that. So sort it cut beforehand. Cut the big ones first nine big ones mm. from uh, there's 10 fat quarters so pick nine not fat quarters fat eights pick nine cut nine of the large square well you need two large squares of each and then place them nine yeah so have them all then on the get, table laid yeah, out into piles then get your fat eights out again mm. cut nine other colors but you need two of each of that right Put those on top, making sure it's a different print on top. Yeah, okay. And just do it like and that. And then if you get to the end and you want to change your mind, exactly. you can do that. So before you start sewing, exactly. get it all cut and sorted into nine piles. Right. So the important thing now is when you want to trim off your block, you use the solid line as your quarter inch guide, not the dotted line. Because when you're printing and stuff, it might never be exactly quarter of an inch, but your ruler will be. So line up your quarter of an inch mark on your ruler on the solid line. As you can see, my line's going there. And then you want to trim away the excess fabric. So each time, always line up your quarter inch mark on that solid line. Don't use the dash line as your reference. There we go. So I'm just going to quickly do this all the way around. And what I would do is I would make all my blocks, my nine blocks as well, before I sew them together. So then I can faff around with yes, the, yes. the layout. I would even get my block number one out as well. Oh, okay, yes. Lay that out and then get my nine that I've just sewn, place them underneath, and then you check can that move, I like yeah, it, that's move true. it around and then sew them together. Yeah, because then you'll see if you've, the colors are balancing or the prints. Exactly. Yeah. So what you want to do is get one block that you've already sewn and your next block, and you're gonna place them right sides together, lining up the top and the bottom. And you're going to use that solid line there as your sewing line, but you're gonna start right at the top and go all the way off the bottom. Because this is just like sewing blocks together it's moved now and it? again you've got that line so you haven't got you've to think got that about line, so you don't have to worry you just start but you start right at the top and also no distortion so the fabrics haven't moved distorted no. pulled oh, out of I've shape a bit wonky because of like bias edges exactly. it's, because it's attached to the paper it's all nice and solid it's not moving and then you want to keep your stitch length small because you've still got your paper in at this point So all the way off the end. And what I do now is I have botched this a little bit actually, because it's moved. Remove just the paper in that seam allowance you've just cut. 
and open it out and you can press that. Seam roll it or I would use a press, but as you can see, the point's perfect. It's beautiful. Anything. And to get that without FPP would exactly. be really, and I mean, it is possible, but would, you know, yeah. would be luck. What I'm gonna I would do, think it's luck anyway. What I'm gonna do next month is I'm not going to attach the third row to the bottom of this one. Mm. And I'll show you how to attach a whole row oh, okay. next month as well. Right, okay. Just in case you're worried, you can leave your rows unsewn until you've seen me do it. I leave this paper in for as long as I can, just because it's really stable. Yeah, keeps everything nice but and But as flat. you can see on here, I've removed the top one now because that's not having anything sewn right. onto it. Okay. I've removed these ones now because it helped me press my seam allowance afterwards. Mm. But I've kept as much of the bottom ones in I can because I'm going to add another row to that. So yeah, this is yeah. all sewn. And you just keep adding your, um, adding your blocks along like that. Fantastic. John, That's amazing. Again. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting off by now. <laughs> hey, we've still got another four we minutes. We have four minutes. <laughs> He's so very yeah, excited it's to come super on. easy, definitely for beginners. Having the panels is really helpful. Well, it's because you've got all of the templates, you've got all the fabrics. It's going to come out like exactly yeah. like yours. It just made that so easy. So you easy. Just I want to make one it. now. And I'm on social media if you do need any help. I know, so it's great. It's well, so if you bought the kit this month, um, do write down today's date. The last January, the one we did in January was on the 22nd of January. And today is the. <laughs> don't know, Sunday? 20, <laughs> I think it's the 26th. 26th. 26. So just going to recap them. So today's the February one, the February strip of the month, where you get the. Um, full instructions with all the papers as well remember and you get the panel as well that's the one that's on screen at the moment 1999 congratulations to everyone who's got it you have got a fantastic fpp month coming up um january blue so again full instructions with all the templates and all the fat eights pre-printed for you um 1999 so if you've only just joined the fpp journey get the January one as well. If you want to do the pastel version, we've got the February pastel, full instructions. That's the bottom row that we're showing you at the moment. That's all the squares within squares that um, Jenny's just demonstrated. That one's currently in the lead. Um, and then you obviously get the bundle of the, the fat eights. If you're just joining us and you want to do the pastel version of the January, you get full instructions. That's the top row of the sort of flying geese triangle effect. And obviously you get all the fat eights as well. Um, now, if it sells out, don't worry, we will tr try and get and always get them back in for you. And it will be next March sometime. March the 20th. March I'm actually 20th. on on a Monday. Baby. Are you? Yeah, that'd be with me then. Yeah, because I'm at something for pleasure. Oh, okay. There you the go. weekend. March the twentieth. That will be when number three is. So don't forget to set you on. Thank you so much for joining me. Now we're just going to go for a break, and after the break, we've got John and Mandy. It's going to be fun, and she's got some fantastic kids. I'll see you back here at eight o'clock with Jenny, and it's EPP. See you in a minute. It's Cara here. I'm just popping by to wish everyone at Sewing Street a happy third birthday. Three years, that's incredible, isn't it? What a wonderful three years and thank you all so much for supporting us over that time. Happy birthday, Sewing Street. Hi, Sewing Street. This is Dewey from Dewey Jumbo Craft Tours, wishing you a many happy returns for your third birthday. We're hoping there's many, many more. Hi everyone, I'm Sandy Milichit-Masaki from Family Comforts and I'm a guest designer and demonstrator here on Sewing Street. I've been lucky enough to be with this fantastic team for over this last year and I'd love to wish them all a really happy third birthday and continued success for the future. Happy birthday! Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. I've been part of the Sewing Street family now for over a year and it's been the most incredible journey so far. Some of you may already know that I like all things sewing, anything from quilting to toy making, needle felting, and of course, applique, which is my favorite. The best thing about being part of the show is being able to share with you my imagination and bringing you new ideas and new designs and patterns and seeing how you interpret those designs and make your own work and then sharing your images of those is the most rewarding part for me. 
I'm currently working on lots of new ideas and exciting projects that I cannot wait to bring to the show and share with you all. But in the meantime, take care everyone and happy sewing. Hi, this is Rebecca from Sewing Street. Just to let you know, we've got the Crafters Companion Takeover this Tuesday from 9 till 12. Sarah Davis will be launching the brand new Gemini Junior cutting machine. Plus, anyone who buys anything from Crafters Companion that day will get a free gift with every purchase. And of course, it wouldn't be a takeover without a few special bargains too. So, join us for the Crafters Companion takeover this Tuesday from 9 till 12. Happy third birthday, Sewing Street. What a wonderful three years it's been. It's been such a privilege to be part of your journey and I'm looking forward to many more years of lovely sewing projects with you. Also, thanks to all the customers and viewers for their wonderful support. Thank you very much from Alison and Mike from Alice and Marion Designs. Hello, Janet Clare here and I'm gonna wish Sewing Street a very happy third birthday. I think you're pretty special, so let's hope we have many, many, many happy returns. Happy birthday, Sewing Street! Hi there, I'm Sandra from Santangle. I've not been a member of Sewing Street for too long, but do you know what? Everybody's made me feel so welcome and it's such fun. Really, really enjoy it. And I just want to wish everybody a happy birthday and here's to many more. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Morning, a bit different today. Oh, I look like a Mandy Shaw bag, don't I? Oh, you do. <laughs> don't be moving across. Stay on your oh, mark. Stay, stay on my mark. Stay on your mark. She's here. Say hello. Morning. Oh, morning, ladies. Morning. Oh, morning. Where was I? There, there. No, there. We clash, don't we, John? I'll change in the break. No, you're just fine. It's uh, no, fine. no. I think this is a little bit too I'm much like one of your plastic bags. No, I love you being a plastic bag, dropping on people's doorsteps. An old bag, Hannah says. That's <laughs> nice, isn't it? Makes me look fat as well, doesn't it? But never mind. Anyway, anyway, look, 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 I've got to do a menu, I'm going to do early bird because I'm in the it's seven o'clock hour. Why are we here? Why what, are we doing what, what are we doing this for? Why did you say three hours? I didn't say three hours. Did I? You're doing three hours today. I know today. I am, darling. I'm, I'm right, this isn't everything. We've got three lots of... Actually, can I show you right when we start at the web? Because it's all on pre-order. We already know Margaret's been in. Margaret's let me know that she's already been in to buy hers, right? So look, if you go to the uh, www.sewingstreet.com, click on watch the show live, and then underneath, there's me in the box, because then there's a message in the box, everything. Uh, oh, coming soon. Right, so look, if you're looking uh, to, uh, coming up on today's show, Mandy stuff is spread all over the place. So there's three hours worth of stuff, but it's just come up everywhere. So what you need to do is don't be thinking, oh, is that all she's doing today? Because there's a few, oh, look at that lovely bag, look at the lovely quilt. Look at, there's so much, there's so much, but you need to keep scrolling, 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 scrolling. It's muddled up with everybody else's stuff. So you need to scroll. See, look, there's the thatch cottage, you see. It's gorgeous, isn't it? And look, oh, 
That, now, that is in the 11 o'clock hour. Marigold. 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 She's beautiful, beautiful. And there's more quilts, you see. They're all over. Everything's all over. Look. Oh, no. Please, please, please go and have a good old scroll. The alphabet quilt is gorgeous. I'd never seen it before. And then I saw you put it on Facebook this yeah. week. Beautiful, yeah. isn't yeah. it? Really, really lovely. And yes, I have got a war wound. I'll tell you very quickly. No, I didn't fall. I did not fall. I didn't have a fight. I didn't have a fight. So I took Ghost to the Vets on Thursday. What, what day, whatever day I had off last week, right? I took Ghost to the Vets because he had a bald patch on his bottom and he had a growth on his head, right? <laughs> Got to the Vets and he said, they're bites. They're both bites. This one, the bald patch on the bottom, when they have a bite, when it's clearing, the fur comes off so it can heal, you see. But because it's the head, he couldn't get to the head bit, so it turned... So he said, when you get home, he gave 88 pounds worth of injections, right? When you get home, get a cotton wool ball. So I had to go and buy cotton wool balls on the way home because I haven't got them. Put it in warm water and dab it on his head and it'll eventually. So we got home, I got my cotton wool ball, put it in the warm water, opened the box, I had to hold him still like this. And he's a big lad. He's a cat, by the way, if you didn't know, he's a cat, right? So I started dabbing his forehead like this and he's, oh, it was awful. I won't go into it. You'll be having your breakfast, right? He went, what are you doing to me? And he leapt straight at me like that. So I went like that to move out the way. And of course, there was the pillar in the kitchen was Aww. there. So I whacked him. Now, on the first day, there was no mark at all. Yesterday, there was a little bit of a mark. I've woken up this morning. Looks like I've been in a fight with Rocky. What's it? Yeah, Barbeo. Anyway, what? Rocky Barbeo. Yes, that's yeah, him. That's yeah. him. Right, come on, come on, come on. Brand new, brand new. Now, I'm going to introduce everything that we've got in this hour at the beginning, right? Go to pre-order. By all means, go to pre-order to get anything else. Um, but we're going to start here with a brand new hanging heart. Isn't it beautiful? It's called the Folk Birds. Now, these are collectible, collectible, brand new, Brand new folk bird hanging heart. Now, everything you need, we're going to do a demo on this in a minute, so don't panic, right? Everything you need, apart from the toy stuffing, is in there. Everything you need. Oh, I'll do it that way. There you go. More messages on the bottom already. Best Sunday ever. John and Mandy on Sewing Street. Favourite red work sewing. Lots of laughter. My son calling in later for breakfast. Fabulous. From M next door. Oh, M. Now, I didn't know you had a son, M. That's news to me. That's she news to me. you. What? She lived next door to you? No, she used to live in the village near me and oh, then she right, moved yeah. back to Yorkshire, yeah. you see. But we bumped into her at one of the NEC shows and oh. she met Hannah and yeah. Kat was with us, wasn't she, and everything. So we met her then and her yeah. mum, her mum was buying a sewing machine, they're all big sewers in the yeah. family. So she's called M next door because she was in the village. I'll tell you where she lives. She lives in the village where when I worked at Rocks and Co we had all those bad floods. I was driving along and the riverbank burst while I was driving on the road and just swept my whole car. I saw my life and the bread van was coming towards me and it got swept into the river itself. Ooh. Right? And I was like going like this and the water came right up above my bonnet and everything. And I just kept... Anyway, see the heart again. 18... Oh, that way. 18.99. Now, uh, we had a question. If I've never bought a Mandy Shaw Red Work before, is this one a good one to start with? Oh, yes, yeah. Hanging Heart's a good yeah. start. Yeah, well, yeah, we're going to yeah. do a demo. We're going to do a demo. I'm going to go through everything that's for sale, but I'm just going to do a demo first of all. So that... that Oh, do you want me to open it up? Okay, I'll, I'll, can I open up when we do the when we do the demo? I'll open up when we do the demo. So you can have a look. So I want to get through everything. Because look, 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 look. You get a tin in this one. You get the tin. It's not got treacle in it. Treacle. All right, treacle. Eighteen ninety-nine. So it's a tin pin pusher. Tin pin cushion kit. It's too early. I'm not supposed to be on this earlier. Isn't it gorgeous? Let me show it to the front. Let me show it to the front, right? Look. No, no. So you, the tin's there. You have to cover it and everything. We're going to do a demo on this. We are going to do a demo on this one as well this hour. Look. Yeah, but you could do it to all the tins you've got at home. Don't do it on your vegetable tins, Hannah. Oh. <laughs> Is it sh No. No, no, it's not sharp. It's re Look, 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 look. I'm rubbing my fingers. Look. It's not sharp. It's, it's good quality tin, that. Oh, it's from um, London. Oh, hang on. Tin can using solar power in London. Please recycle me. Well, don't recycle it. It's got all the fabric on side. Isn't that beautiful? That's brilliant, isn't it? We will be demoing that during this hour. Beautiful. And look at all matches. All matches on the bottom. Morning, John and Mandy. Love your shirt, John. Love all your kits today, Mandy. I'll be bankrupt. 
Have a great day from Laurie in Suffolk. Oh, oh thank you, Laurie. You normally send messages here. Uh, Margaret says, hey, Mandy's back. How are the new grandbabies, Mandy? Already done my Mandy shopping from Margaret. Sue says, good morning, John, Mandy and team. I've been watching Rebecca and Jenny. Love the puffing back. Oh, well, now you love you can love this now. Uh, anyway, anyway, let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. Now look at this. Look at this. This is Honey Bunny. Oh, 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 love, what's this? It's, it's gorgeous. It's only polyester stopping, but the, the, the fabric is, is it boucle? Is it boucle, yeah, it's like a boucle, yeah, isn't yeah. it? Oh, look. Hello. Hello. 32 .99. Beautiful, isn't it? Now, every, you get everything in there. I'll open the Oh, I can open this pack because we're not demoing this one, are we? No, we're no, not demoing. Not demoing. So I'll show you what you get in the kit here, look. Oh, be careful, be careful, be careful. Flying out, there's less than 40 of these already. So what you get in the kit, you get the gorgeous boucle fabric. You get your instructions. Felt. Wool felt. Wool felt. Yeah. Wool felt. Gingham. Rose and Hubble gingham. You get your webbing. You get your embroidery thread. You get some black embroidery thread. You get the buttons. So the only thing you need to supply is um, stuffing. Hang on, let's have a look in here. Yep. All oh, your... Look. Oh... All your pattern pieces, all your templates, everything are all in here. Look, 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 look. Oh, it's upside down. Look, 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 look. It's just adorable, isn't it? Absolutely adorable. Everything, even the pattern pieces, all beautifully hand-drawn for you and everything. Seam allowance included. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So that's $32.99 for Honey Bunny. Oh! Fewer than 25 now. Fewer than 25 now. You see what's going This is what always happens on Mandy's show. Oh, yeah. And it's 7 o'clock in the morning. We haven't even started officially yet, have we, really? I haven't woken up. Well, the she arrived with her. She hasn't had her porridge. Oh, oh now. So she arrived, right? We got our three trolleys out. Oh. Put everything out on the trolleys and everything. Went through the hours with her. And then uh, uh, Becky brought the eight to 7 o'clock in here on the trolley and everything. Anyway, Mandy went to set up. She was like, where's mm -hmm. my bag? Where's mm -hmm. my bag? I haven't got my... I'm sure I brought my bag. Mm -hmm. So she rings Phil, right? Who's, I've left the bag in the car, Phil. He's driving back to the hotel. Left the car. No, you haven't. So she, I must, anyway, we've just walked in here. It's underneath the trolley there. Becky'd wheeled it through. It wasn't your fault. It wasn't no, your it was fault. Me. I put it on the wrong shelf. She put trolley. it on the wrong oh. shelf, wheeled it through. So she's panicked. Anyway, oh. Ben went out and bought her some porridge. But you got porridge in your bag as well? Yeah, I got two porridges. Two porridges now. <laughs> 32 night down, a lot of porridge, a lot of porridge. I'll come back to that afterwards. And then the other thing I've got this hour is the Little Things Mandy Shaw Stunning Quilt and Nine Small But Perfect Projects to Sew. Now, this is a gorgeous book. This isn't new. You might have seen this before. Yes, yeah. Now, uh, what you can do is all the templates are in here if you want to trace them. In a minute, I'm going to be offering you the transfer packs as well, you see. But this is the book, right? This is the book. I'll tell you this again. It hasn't got a, it hasn't got a sticker on it. Yep, yeah, it's the only book in this one. Oh, okay, 15... 15.99, 15 pounds and 99 pence. Gorgeous, let me take you through it because it's got all sorts of, oh, actually. It's funny I should open that page straight away. Look. Yeah, there it is. The book's about making this quilt, actually, <clears throat> with other projects. Right. The book is about making this, basically. But there's, there's so many other projects in here as well. Oh, gosh, there? yes, there are other projects. But this, te this is the book, quilt, book's about making that lovely quilt and what you can do with all the different blocks. And there's other projects in there as well. Lovely little clues. But then all these are transferable, aren't they? You yes, can make cushions yeah. out of yeah. each of these. Yeah, you can absolutely. make bags out of any wall of these. Wall hangings. Yeah. Wall hangings. Also, Mandy's famous for red work. You might hate red. Yeah, absolutely. You, can, you buy the book, you can make this in multicolours, you can make it in blue, you can make yeah. it in yellow, do what you want. Be beautiful, isn't it? Oh, look, 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 I love this. Little 3D, yeah. Little 3D bunting on the side there. You've got your triangles here, you've got your pinwheels here, hand embroidery, buttons, there'll be a plique somewhere. At 15.99. 15.99. Okay, brilliant. Lovely. Let's have a look at the rest of the book then. 
So that's what the book is mainly about. But look at all these other, all this other. Well, I've got the pencil case here. The little pencil oh, have you? Yes. Where's it's, that then? What page is that just on? Past. That's it there. There, that's there, there. Yeah, that's the pencil case there. There it is, there. a little it's, bit organised yeah, pencil roll. I love this. I use this pencil roll all the time. Yeah, yeah, this comes with you. Yeah, it, it does. It does. It does. Love it badly. You've made yours out of PU, have you? I have. Oh, I have. nice. Pleather. Very I love nice. that word, pleather. Say pleather, John. Pleather, pleather. Hey? Say pleather, pleather. Pleather, pleather. pleather. Yeah. Pleather, pleather. <laughs> um, have you met Dan, by the way? This is Dan. Oh, hi, Dan. Hi, Dan. Do I know Dad? I don't no, know no, Dan. Dan's just a bit helping us out. Oh, he's He new. works next door, but he loves it here better. Yeah, I'm don't sure he Dan? does, yeah. <laughs> Uh, now, see this fabric here? Oh, it's all gone, that fabric. No, 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 but uh, Hannah's bought that. Oh, wow. Yeah. I know, I wish I, I, if I could have got more, I would have made yeah. more kits of that colour. But beautiful brooches, yeah, there's yeah. all sorts of these lavender bags. So if you're just starting, this, oh, this, I love this, right? Sweet. So this is a little love sampler. Each of those stitches of those hearts is a different stitch. And Mandy teaches you how to do, look, chain stitch, back stitch, running stitch, herringbone, all the different stitches. And then she teaches you how to do all the different stitches to make that. But look, there it is. There's so much in here. Now, obviously, in here, there are templates. So you have to trace these off. It's $15.99. I also have this b bag of goodies here, which come separately, which are all the templates. No, no. The iron-on transfers of all the templates that are in that book. Yeah. yeah. So you see, reuse up to six times, no tracing or copying. You literally, 15.99. Look, so they're all back to front, obviously, because you're going to iron them on. We'll talk about the, how to do it later, because you want a hot iron and you want a very, very solid board to press it on. We'll talk all about that in a minute. So that's all the transfers, fifteen ninety nine. So the book is fifteen ninety nine. Now, obviously, in the book you get all the instructions and all the templates for you to trace off. But this is if you want, and each of these you can use up to six times. And there's loads in here. I can't tell you how many are in here, but there's loads and loads and loads in here. No, don't use it once, Charlie. Use it up to six times each one. Fifteen ninety nine. I know. Now, the only other thing I've got to mention for before we start the demo is you've all been asking for, if you go to Mandy's website, right, this is one that, uh, oh, yeah. no graphics this, we're not selling this one. Yeah, different for the beginning one, that's just another one that you can get free download on Mandy's website, Dandelion Designs. Yeah. It was, it was all to do with the uh, crisis with the heating and things. Yeah. And uh, I promised the ladies they could have that, but I didn't come back. No. He's had these babies. Oh, no, because you've you had, well, you had babies. babies <laughs> but you've had two grandbabies. I feel like then. I've had my own babies. But yeah. Right, OK, so let's go back then to the hanging heart that we are yeah. doing today. So this is brand new, collectible, remember, people collect these. Um, they're beautiful, they're gorgeous, and they're really, really sweet little projects to do. Message on the bottom. Morning, John and Mandy, love the heart. Just the handbag craft me to take when I visit my son, who's moved from Sydney to oh, Paris. Oh, that's nice. Ooh, la, la. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Can, can Hannah marry him, she says. She's got a boyfriend. She'll have to bring the boyfriend with her, then. The boyfriend's got an issue with pants, has not he? He's got an issue what? He drops his pants everywhere. Oh, no, he, no, no. He puts them in the washing basket. So that Steph goes to, to Hannah. Why well, haven't I got any clean pants? And she went, well, what have you done with them? He said, I put them in the washing basket. And she went, yeah, but have you put them in the washing machine? Okay. He's like, no. Well, who was, was that message? I know I read that one. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Right, so in this bundle, in this bundle, you do get your red thread... You do get your spotty ribbon, you do get your spotty fabric, you do get your uh, interfacing, you do get your gorgeous white linen, and you get your instructions. And now, this is a transfer. Yes. This is a transfer. So it, it was back to front, but it doesn't matter. But it's, this is a transfer. You don't have to trace it off. It's a transfer. We'll show you how to do it in a second. And then all the instructions you need are all in here. Message on the bottom. Good morning, John and Mandy. Looking forward to today's shows. It's been such a fabulous week. Thanks to everyone involved from Neve in County Clare. It's our pleasure. We've had a lovely time. We're all shattered. But, but with... Oh, another message. Good morning, John and Mandy. It's my birthday today. I'm in bed with a couple watching you two lovely oh, people. Hi, Kate, Kate. And sorry. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, my love. Oh, you just made it into Feb... What date is it today? Oh, it's still February. It's still February. Yeah. 26, got a couple more down. Oh, now, yeah, yesterday, we had messages yesterday saying people were, uh, look, oh, I mean, because it's payday. Hannah doesn't get paid till Tuesday. Tuesday, Hannah gets paid. 
Yeah, I don't get paid to, for another month because I have to do mine because I'm not star for anything. No, I know. Anyway, shall we make, shall we make, shall we make this? Yes, uh, let's, have, let's have a look at the iron-on transfers. Let's right, just have sure. a look at the, uh, in the red wig. Am I in a nice position for you, John? Move down a Are bit. we in the right place, Charlie? That's nice. Perfect. Yes, that's cool. Perfect. That's gorgeous. So in your in your kit, we get, we I make the hanging hearts always with linen. But of course, if you were going to make um, lots of them from your transfer, you can use any fabrics you like at all. So I would prepare my... Um, linen fabric first with a nice iron and we have issues with irons and things these alisi irons are very hot so they work wonderful with our transfers so when i do this for you you're going to see that it works very very quickly and they might upset you that your iron at home doesn't work this well but all irons are different so don't worry um, and what you're going to do is i love these wool mats as well you're going to put your um your linen down you're going to just secure your linen on there. Find the centre and you are, you can actually cut them out if you'd like to cut them out so you, you, you can make sure they're actually in the centre but they are bigger than you need anyway. And you would just use flat pins. I've got a nice flat butterfly here. And just pin this down, the paper on down so it doesn't slip. We're being ultra cautious for our hanging heart. You don't need to be this cautious but the, it's good to be cautious always. Yeah. And then you are going to activate your iron so that it, it's um, activated because sometimes your iron, when you don't use your iron, it's, it's stagnant and it stops yep. the heat. And then you're just going to press over your paper. You don't lift your paper up. You can see that I'm just pressing the it The pin's there. there so it doesn't move, I yeah, take it. Yeah. yeah, the pin's there, it just that it doesn't move. And there is no heat coming through whatsoever at the minute. So the I'll just on, uh, I'll turn it on a bit. Oh, no, yeah, no, because you yeah. get... Oh, that's it. That's it. There oh, you it's go. Hot up. So hot that's it. That's yeah, interesting. That's that's really interesting because what? Let me just show you. That didn't come through. Look, oh hard no, at not all. at all. So that that just proves it's the heat. Yes. Just, just give it two seconds. Yeah. And it be it'll be off again. So watch this. So you do need a hot iron and 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 um and some of you ladies. Oh, oh gosh, there yeah, go. yeah. They are. Look. So. There you are, look how wonderful that is. that's transferred. Now, it, I, I uh, didn't heat the iron up around this area here. This might happen to you at home, because right. um, I was getting all excited about it. I could yeah. see that it's coming through. This might happen to you at home, but don't panic about that. You can't put it back on. Um, you cannot put it back on. Um, just check that my tips, pen knobs are the same as my colors. You can't put it back on and try and get it back on there. You're just gonna have to uh, um, sew it draw it on is that a pigma pen this is a pigma pen which you have do you, you have here i've got black pigma pens in this yeah. hour uh, the, the, the pressing mat i've only got the, the square pressing mat now mandy's using the oblong one yeah. i've only got the yeah. square one available at the moment so look that's that's an interesting thing this does happen at home to you ladies you'd let me know this so if that happens you just draw it back in the perfect thing about the pigma pen is very it's permanent but it's very fine and you can sew over it beautifully yes okay. exactly so let me just show you right. that the, before you do that yeah. uh, the black ones i've got the black pigma pens here so the, oh very limited very limited now ours are in different they're all black but they're all in different sizes so you've got your uh, 0 0.2 millimeter 0 0.25 0 0.3 0 0.35 0 0.45 and 0 0.5 it's starting to have because I use them for faces, for drawing, for uh, signing quilts and things. So having the whole range is and wonderful. And they're permanent markers. They're permanent. They're permanent Archival markers. quality, John. Archival. Quilt labels, good. Mm? Archival quality. Archival mm -hmm. quality. quality. Yeah, that's good. Archival. So that's. They're going to sell out. They're going to sell out. So that right. happened beautifully. There, it's, it's a quite. So I've just. Uh, uh, coloured it back in and yep. drawn it back in but I'm going to show these these transfers work up to six times so I'll just show you what it would look like if I had paid a little bit more interest um, not interest more attention to my details yeah so once you've made what Hannah's saying is once you've made your heart you can use that transfer again and again absolutely, to do quilt absolutely. blocks and you can actually anything. make it I thought it'd be quite nice to do a circle of hearts as well oh, so you can lovely. do all sorts so activate your iron we know we know it's now nice and hot and make sure you go over the whole design yeah that's beautiful um what I was going to say to you is the center of the uh, the iron is much hotter than the point and the end so make sure you get the center design going around pay a little attention do you see I'm a little bit more um, creative there and there you are it's 
you'll see how just to prove that it does work yes but it only worked because we had a wonderfully flat surface yeah if you didn't have the flat surface if you had humps in your surface you would definitely have the humps would show and they would yeah. not transfer so uh, my ironing board at home is really yeah. it's a yeah. b b banty or whatever it's called and it's really squidgy which is fantastic when you're doing your pressing of your shirts and everything but not good for this right you <coughs> what you need is a good soil. so if you haven't got a wool a wool pressing mat uh, get a wooden kitchen uh, chopping board put a tea towel over it, a flat tea towel over it and use that as your base because they need it needs but the reason that wool uh, pressing mat is so good is because it comes the warmth comes from the bottom and the top yeah, do you yeah. know what I mean so you're getting yeah. double the whammy of the heat on the transfer so the other thing to say with the the big the, the irons that are, are hotter is that I wanted to put some iron on trans uh, iron on interfacing on the wrong side of my work but do turn the iron down because it can catch it so I've just right. ironed on the interfacing and that's just to stabilize your work and to make and that, it that comes in the kit that comes, that comes in the, in kit the as well. uh, comes in the kit it doesn't have to be a ink flashy it's just an ordinary um, ordinary interfacing quarter of the socks yeah, gone yeah. of yeah. the heart uh, I actually have experimented with much more expensive interfacings and things and there's no difference yeah. it's just to, it's just to give you a little bit of weight okay um, we're using cotton abro day we love this badly um, not enough people are using it out there it's wonderful thread and it comes you take it straight from the skein so it's one strand and we don't split it then we don't split it okay. John no we don't split it and ruin people's honeymoons and yep. things you know about that you story that. yes you yes, jumped yes. in with my yeah. line then. Yeah, yeah I did yeah um, and but this is just wonderful comes in lots of different colors we sell all the colors on our website so yep. if you have you don't love your red you can go back for it but you get you. red in the you get yeah. red in the kit anyway. yeah yeah and then what you're going to do is you're going to use a, a chenille 24 needle right you yeah. can start off with a little knot I have there and I st tend to start in the middle right um, you, you, I've why do you start in the middle uh, because you can work out you can work out if you started from the edge and worked in it might crunkle a bit because oh, crunkle. Be, crunkle that's not nice we like that uh, word the yeah, crunkle, yeah. Yes. Uh, but also I don't use an embroidery frame Oh, okay. I don't use embroidery. You can use an embroidery frame if you like, but like I, a hoop, I you mean? Uh, embroidery hoop, yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I don't. So if you uh, were, were using embroidery hoop, and um, that would be nice and firm. So that's especially why you start from the middle out. Right. Yeah. Um, but um, you are going to just now. Do, what stitch am I using? Then? You're going to use a back stitch, a simple back stitch. Um, so you need a nice 24 chenille needle, cotton abrode, and a simple back stitch. So don't try and make these too small because that, that's not comfortable and it, it, it is folk. Yeah. Um, but you need them sort of the size of a half a grain of rice, as we always say. Mm -hmm. And it's it's it, it's simple. No threads to change. Um, no stitch to change just occasionally mindful mindful you might be asked occasionally to um do a french knot but we have got a stitch de directory on but our not, website we haven't got a french knot on this one no we haven't no we haven't indeed i'm going to show how to do some circles in a second that's always a good one to show oh yeah you. yeah um so uh, on friday nights for the last six weeks i've been teaching seven uh, second helsham scouts how to sew right hang on so say that again on Friday, a Friday, on Friday night, night for si the last six weeks, I've been teaching um, Helsham scouts how to sew. Right. And they come in. They're all boys. Yeah, and there are well, some girls. Go, oh. Well, no, no, John, no, 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 John, no. no. Yeah, there's, there are some lovely, beautiful girls there as well. Yeah. Uh, the boys come in. They're wild. They're running around, and they all get to divide up into different groups to do different activities. And uh, and and half a dozen of them come over to my side to to, to to embroider their initial and then make a bag out of a tea towel. And do they get a, do they get when they've passed it? Yeah, do they, they get, get a, a mandy badge. badge? They get a, well, they got a badge. They got a craft badge, but oh. they gave me a thank you badge. Got my first scout. Oh. but what was um, unbelievable the um there's some kids there's there's kids there that are not used to sitting down and being quiet and mindful yeah, yeah. and as soon as we sat them down i gave them embroidery frames because it was a little bit easier if you st just start off yeah. embroidering and th and the tea towels were quite loose weave uh, they sat down there and there was quite as church mice oh. they were quite as church mice we then made the bags on the sewing machines which of course they adore and they all said my grand teaches me i sew with my grand 
Oh, and lovely that, that's job. brilliant it's because so, the, 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 because first of all, not wanting to be gender, what's it? But boys yeah. do. Boys aren't normally taught to sew, are they? No, so they're things. not, so and they brilliant. absolutely adored it. And they really did stunning stitching. They're a, 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 a par with the girls every time. Yeah. And uh, they were just they love the machines, of course. But because I said it's like driving a car, you know, feed you feed the car through and things. <laughs> and um, it was just really amazing. Yeah, Jen so Cartwell it, says her boys love the sewing machine bit as well. Oh gosh, I'm sure. I'm sure. Sure, I, I've just sort of my kids are all grown up now, but my um, well, you got your grandchildren coming well, now. Well, yeah, we teach we, we teach um, people to sew at Glastonbury on the, the hand crank oh, machines. Oh, of course, yeah. yes, because Rebecca Reed is going to yeah. be on Mandy's stall one day. Yes, at yeah, you have to come and see her. Um, but it, it, but it's but it's it's amazing that these kids are all calmed by the power of a stitch. I do love yeah. it. And, and okay, um, it, it is very therapeutic. It's very nice. It's it's lovely. Um, so we that's see how nice that looks. A nice little simple. I don't want you to get upset about your size of your stitches or the quality of your work. This is for you, and it's got to be exactly. Yeah, you love and lo the lovely gift as well. Yeah, I've yeah, got two yeah. from Geraldine. Uh, Louise says morning. Both love the show. You two go together like salt and pepper. Oh, not it. Well, yeah, well, I'm, no, well, I'm, I'm, I'm the pepper today. And I'm, I'm Himalayan salt. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, nice. That's, that's, that's nice, right, John. Quick that's question for Hannah. Yeah. Um, Hannah, has 12 o'clock been put on yet? On, on pre-order? Um, it's just that Jan says she wants to buy the, the, the little bag that, that, that um, Lisa Lamb's in at 12 o'clock and she can't find it on pre-order. I just thought to check. Yeah, refresh and go back, Jan. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. So look at this now. So to cast off, you just go, and I've been saying this all week, to cast off, you just shimmer through some stitches. So just go one, two, three. And shimmering is like... Shimmer. Like, that. like a little shimmer. Did you see that? Did Let's you have a look at that shimmer. <laughs> it's true. Look, watch. Shimmer through stitches. Yeah, it's true. It's true. I told you she was mad, didn't I? I know, I know. Dan's never seen anyone like you before. Oh, bless his heart. Really? At least from yeah. Bristol. Yeah. And let me just show you how to do a circle now. Look yeah, at please. Lovely, lovely and then we'll move circle. on to the next yeah, project. Yeah, OK. Um, when you come to do circles, if they're large, that's OK. But when they're smaller ones like this, don't try and do 20 stitches around the outside edge. Yeah. Try and do a box. Think of a box. I'll do the bottom of the box. I'll cross over to the top. Uh, cross back down to the side and by doing it like um, a top and bottom of the box and two sides you can actually pull it up tight and you get little curves it's this it's only the way you tighten it and it looks like a circle oh I do love oh. I do love sewing <coughs> There you are, look. And it oh, looks I can hear like somebody laugh. It'll be Jenny Jackson. Yeah, look, look how nice that circle is. Oh, Lisa see? Lamb's arrived. That's the noise. Yeah. Lisa Lamb's arrived. They're all from my neck of the woods today. They are, yeah. Everyone's from Sussex. So they are a lovely little circle. So just like a little box, top, bottom, side, side, and you, then you get beautiful little circles. And that works for all the way around the outside edge. Um, and that's just delicious. And that would take you a couple of evenings to make. Mm -hmm. And beautiful. And then the instructions for making the back are um, slightly changed from the olden days. But right. we, we've, we've been doing this new method for a long, long time. Yeah. So you should be fine. What you do is grab your um, Rose and Hubble. We love Rose and Hubble. And you fold it over. It's, it's, copper, it's called cotton poplin dots. People think it's got the word poplin in it. It's not cotton, but it is. It's just the weave. It's just beautiful isn't it yeah yeah gorgeous um, you are going to fold over two inches to two to three inches at the top fold yeah. it over you're going to sew a seam along here leaving a gap in the middle yeah. and that will be that will then look like that when you've done it yeah so you like making it almost like a not a buttonhole but a uh, like of, an envelope, envelope type yeah, thing. Yeah. and that will be how you stuff your heart later on have you got the heart there darling thank you very much so you can't oh, I can't hardly see oh because this one's at the top but it just means it quite seamless yeah. so we are actually cut our ribbon down we haven't increased the prices but we cut our ribbon down by half because you didn't don't need the flaps of the ribbon of to course, cover up yeah. the seam so because someone said their ribbon was uh, short yeah, short but it's it's you don't need them before need so just explain right in the old days Mandy used to make the heart and then she'd cut a hole in the back stuff it and then hand stitch it together and yeah. to cover up the hand stitching she would put extra ribbon in for you to cover that bit up but you don't need that anymore because you're yeah. doing the really neat buttonhole -y thing yeah not buttonhole but envelope thing yeah so you don't need the extra but you haven't put the price up where's the price if there was more but ribbon in the price should have gone up yeah 
So that's what we've did. But, but, but it's, the instructions are all there and they're all yeah. sound. And we've got all the, um, there's lots of videos of us doing this before, haven't we? We've done lots of stages, yes. so you yeah. can check that. Message on our bottom. Yes, Hello, Mandy and John. Love, love, love red work. It's so relaxing. And Mandy's kits are such good quality. Thank you from Cheryl in Northamptonshire. Oh, hi, Cheryl. Hi, Cheryl. Yeah, we use only the best fabrics, honestly. I, I'm not going to give you something that's um, under par. Right. Make Perfect. sure you go through for this. This up now, Mandy, if you pre get ready to show us the pin cushion yes. demo, and I'll just so do this. Exciting. So this is sorry, oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that there 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 eighteen ninety nine. Lovely. Now it's not Easter, but it'd be gorgeous for Easter, wouldn't it? It's folk birds. This it's all year round, but really lovely Easter gift. Eighteen ninety nine. Do what? Oh, Mothering Sunday. Lovely gift for Mothering Sunday. Oh. Whether you make it for her or buy it as a pattern for yes, her. So that's easy. She loves yes, sewing. Yeah. <coughs> Good, look, it is a good little handbag project. I d I've never seen you with a handbag, Hannah. Apart from in the old days when you used to go clubbing with your Hannah bag. Do you remember your little round Hannah bag? Yeah. She's a lady, she says. She's not a lady of leisure. She's bu busy doing Steph's washing. Not. Right, so now before we go on to the next one, I just need to recap the book. The Little Things book. This is all about this quilt here. Beautiful, beautiful quilt here, but it, uh, but so much more, so much more in here. You've got, oh, that's an old photo. Oh, oh isn't it? John, I don't like that anymore. Oh, John, we're getting so old quickly. Why do we get quickly older at this end? Ah, uh, yes, no, no, and the days I mean? go quicker, the I years know, go quicker, know, everything goes I quicker. Know. Right, have a look. So you've got all the templates at the back. Now these are templates that you copy. These are templates that you copy. Then these are all the instructions for all the different sections of the quilt. All transferable skills. Beautiful. But then you've also got the little bit of pencil roll. You've got the poppy brooch. You've got the pin a pumpkin pin cushion. You've got the lavender bag. You've got the little keeper key fob. That's pretty, isn't it? With little flying geese on it. You've got the heart sampler. There's so much in here for few. Oh, look, missed out the little friends. Little friends gnomes. Oh, gnomes. Nice. Nice. Gnome. Uh, then you've got notepad. There's so much in here. Right? And then there's also all your stitch directory. All the different stitches that you're likely to need are all in there. Look. All beautifully drawn. Isn't that lovely? $15.99. Right, now, if you get the book, I think you need these as well, right? These are t uh, iron-on transfers of all the templates in the book, and you can use each of them up to six times. Who are you looking at, then? Oh, did it? Flashed up there. Ooh. So they're all back to front, these. Words that we don't know. Look. Here's all of the, so they're all back to front because you're going to iron them down then they'll be the right way around when you iron them. Yeah, don't throw them away because you can use them at six times. And then you can use them for tracing and then you can give them to your children for colouring. Yay! Oh. And they'll learn to read back to front. <laughs> That's a skill that only Hannah can do here. Beautiful. Charlie only looks at the pictures. How was your hotel last night? Oh, yeah, Charlie, you, you, I, I've, brought you, I've got a shirt for Charlie. Charlie's coming on later to do a bit demonstrating. Yeah, 12 o'clock. Right, okay, that's the transfers, 15 99 What we're going to do now is this, right? Now, Amanda's emptied the packet, so I can't show you what's <laughs> in the packet, but it's the tin pin cushion kit. This is, oh, sorry, that's what you make. Like, you, we even get the tin. Oh, which way am I going? You even get the tin, right? It's not sharp. Look. And I want you to know that it says tin can made using solar power in London. It then does say best before. I'll There's nothing explain, in it. No, I'll explain. What, uh, shall I explain to you what happened? Yes, please. Well, at Christmas, I, had to, I did, did advent calendars for everybody. Yeah. And I ordered these wonderful tins um, of chocolate, honeycomb chocolates from the Chocolate Tin Co Gift Company. Unbelievable right. graphics. Yeah. And then I thought, oh, they've got an empty tin. I'm going to be clever. Oh. And so I made their tin for the advent calendar also make into pincushion. Right. It was so popular. Everyone would say, oh, that's amazing that I've actually 
ordered and bought tins. They're all proper little little yeah, tins yeah, yeah, yeah. to make the pin cushions. Oh, I see. So this is one of the ones I chocolate. Yes, in. Yours yeah. Yours won't have that on. No. Yeah, right. Yes. So yes, yes. just go through what I get in the kit first of all, as you've tin, taken it all out. You get the tin, the fabric, the all the trimmings to make the decorations, some thread and some buttons and our lovely little faux leather. You do not get stuffing. You don't get stuffing. Right. That's what you need to find. Third, the stock's gone. A third, the stock's gone. You need to check out, though. Need to check out, need to check out, need to check out. 18.99. Right. right. So how, what do we do? What, how do we make it? This is very, very exciting. So let's have a look. The, I love, this is my forte, making little bits and bobs like that. Oh, it's your so, fabric. Oh, it's my fabric. Yeah. <laughs> so a, a square folded in half and half. This is how you make a circle, OK? Right. So it's a square folded in half and then half again. Yeah. And all those floppy ends these little, the raw ends, you're just going to cut off into a curve. So we'd, I don't mind what type of curve. Yeah, I'm quite good at these curves at the minute, but I don't mind what sort of curve you make, yep. but you're just going to chop off the corner so you've got a rough circle. A rough circle like that. Lovely. It's slightly longer than it. it that doesn't yeah. matter. You'll see not. Why not? And this is a gigantic Suffolk puff that you're going to oh, do okay. now. So you're going to... Um, um, you do need to find yourself some stuffing. Do you sell stuffing at here, John? Um, but you could also use, recycle some clothing or some woolly, woolly jumpers or um, uh, an old pillow and take the stuffing out of an old pillow and things so you don't need. So you're just going to gather round with a double thread, double thread and... Um, and Can you use normal thread? No, no, you can't, oh. John. You can't, John. You won't believe how many times in a work in a workshop I've seen people use single strand for yeah. gathering. I could smack their hands, John. Okay. It's very, very. We don't condone violence. No, we don't here condone violence. But it's very, very not piece. I'm not liking your dress. You know, I'm looking at it properly. It's got smocking on it and everything, hasn't it? It's lovely. What do you think? It's my Christmas frock. I saved it for today. You bought it for well, Christmas. I bought it for Christmas, Christmas it. Oh, right. and then I've worn it at Christmas and I saved it for today. Oh. It's very comfortable, John. Very yeah, it looks comfortable. It. Thank you, John. Thank you, John. But I thought it was a bit sort of grey looking, sort of wintry grey. No, it's lovely. I don't feel grey in my latte, body. Latte, I'd call it. Oh, okay. That's quite nice. I like a latte. It's beautiful. So you're going to gather all the way round. So you've got double thread, and I've put embroidery thread in your kit for you, so you're not going to be tempted to use ordinary thread. And we've doubled it up, we've knotted it, and we've cast it on. We know about casting yeah. on, do we? Um, and you're going to make a lovely little cup like that. So grab a handful of stuffing and you're going to pop it inside and put it up tight. Now what we're looking for is like a, a sort of a, a 50p piece hole in the middle. <coughs> That's the sort of size you need. Right. But this stuffing <coughs> needs to be Excuse me. gallons and gallons and gallons of stuffing. So yeah. put lots inside. You could, um, once you've got some in, You can actually cast off, leaving your 50p hole. Just check it's going to be 50p's correct, yes. The shape will be awkward and odd, and we don't mind that yet. We have yet to get the shape right. Where's your dress from? It, oh, it's, it's, it's from, actually, it's not from... A shop? It's not from the big supermarket that I saw the similar fabric in, which is oh, very yes, upsetting. Yeah. It's a little bit more... <laughs> At market, <laughs> yeah. but I, it's from a d b boutique. But it's Great Plains, do we know? Oh yeah, Great yes, Plains. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. So that's a really nice brand. So, so we've got an odd shape look. So don't worry. But all I want you to do is make sure you stuff beyond belief. Yeah. And we can't include stuffing in the kits. That would just make no, production no, no, lines no, ridiculous. Everyone's got a bit of stuff in it. Uh, hopefully home. they have, and they ever have them. As a craft lady, that you should, you yeah. should. So get as much stuffing as you can. So there's a, sort of two big handfuls. You need to. That was it. loads because yeah, I saw that no, great no, big yeah. amount on the yeah, table. No, Didn't really use all that. So I've, you know I've cast off that circle, didn't I? So that's yeah. sound. That's beautiful in sound. And you're going to get that in there, right? Okay. And then you're going to do this. I am slightly. I would take a bit more time to make sure the stuffing is around the corners. Even. Yeah. There's and no I'm, corners. It's a circle. Uh, well, yes. It, it vaguely feels like <laughs> a corner, but you're right. And a, a donut. Think of a donut. Oh yes, oh, please. Already looking good. Okay. So take the needle. I ha I have got ginormous needles. <clears throat> You can use for, for, for doing They're this. They're toy needles. They're toy needles or yeah. mattress needles, they're called. Oh, mattress needles. And yeah. what you do is you're going to come out the middle. Yeah. And you're going to go north up the, up the M1. Yeah. I was down like, you, like you do your mated corner, isn't it? Yeah. Up the more, up the more M1 to the north. And yeah. then down south to Eastbourne. Eastbourne. Then when, where should we go on the west? Which services, Han? 
Oh, she said she's going to stop at the services to get a donut. So let's go to Bristol. 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 Oh, Bristol, Dan. Is that a good Bristol? Yeah. Yeah, that's nice down there. And then we, let's go to Suffolk or Norfolk type where. So you're just dividing it in literally into four. I'll, let me do it first and then I'll show what I've done. Yeah. And you're going to make a good job at all of this. And you did need in your needle a really, really long length. Um, yeah, Longer thread, than I've yeah. done. Okay. So we've got a nice little. That's cute, isn't oh. it? That's cute, you see. So what we're going to do now is divide. I, I would go through them again to make sure that the same clear. four, the, the north, south, east, west, yeah. and then we're going to go north, north, south, and south, oh, south, okay. east. Oh, yes. okay. We're going again. Yeah, okay. we're going to go again. I might just run out of thread for that. Yeah. So I'll just You're do. Run out of petrol at this rate. Oh, Mandy's yeah. girls are absolutely brilliant. Mel and Harriet have sorted oh. me out with kits for doing the British Isles quilt, which I'm now working on for Margaret in West Yorkshire. Yeah, oh, that's lovely, Margaret. Who are you um, girls then? Uh, oh, Harriet is my own baby. She works now. She's Vicky's on maternity leave. You oh know yeah. They, you know they all left me, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Vicky's on maternity leave, so um, Harriet's taken over her role and is doing a wonderful job. Oh, she's, brilliant. She's a bit firm with me. Oh, we should. She's she's a bit sharp. Yeah, good, oh, good. Yeah. I'm yeah. Um, <laughs> that's nasty, John. And then we've got <laughs> lovely Mel, who's been with us forever and a Beth, day. Yeah. She's got a new life. Mel has got a new life. Oh, she, she's this is Mel, the one that makes the cakes. And Mel makes the cakes. Mel, Mel does everything. Yeah. Mel does everything. She is a wonder um, to behold. So where's Andy gone then? Uh, Andy's retired, but she oh. still come, comes back and does um, books and bookkeeping. Keeps us very sharp. Oh, good, yeah. Very sharp. Yeah. Um, oh, look at that. Oh. And um, Vicky's had a beautiful baby, Larry, and she's going to have time off with him, which she yeah, used yeah, to have. Yeah, yeah. That's beautiful. Oh. So there you are. Look, that's a quite a quick fix, but how sweet is that? It's gorgeous. Lovely? So what you do do, uh, you cast off, but I... Uh, have you haven't left off. enough thread. I have I just about, but I could, you could have gone a bit longer. So two great big long arm lengths. And what you're going to do is... Um, I'll take you there. You're going to sew your little button on in in the middle. Right. Okay, and that's a nice little pearl button. We've got pearl buttons here, John, or... Yeah, oh, well, this one's buttons. got... Uh, which one's button have you got in yours? Because I've got a covered button two. on mine. Oh, that's different because, yeah, they're, yeah, they're linen buttons. But these are shell pads. Yeah, I thought gorgeous. these were nicer. That's yeah. gorgeous. Okay, so that's beautiful. So now you get your glue gun fired up. So this, right. is, a, this is a quick thing to do at your lo local, um, say you had a sewing group. Yeah. Um, you could. You can't. You can't use safe yeah, tins. I've, on. Oh yeah. I've bought these tins. So you, these all safe and yeah. sound. But they. Um, but the original, original, one, original ones were recycled. Uh, so have we got? Have we got glue guns on the website, Sehan? Oh yeah, we've got glue gun on the website. Okay, it's beautiful. <coughs> and you're just going. I mean, you could have stitched this. There's no. I can't see any point why you would stitch this really. Yeah. But you, you could. My little glue gun is a bit clogged up. That's fine. Yeah, the glue gun man is using his own. It's not yes, our lovely one. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, and then you're going to put these lovely little faux leather flowers on the mess you've created, Mandy. Right. Short. You would hide that there, and then you're going to. Um, <laughs> it's a bit rough, Mandy. And then you'd get your button. You'd put a faux stitch in it. Oh yes. Yes, we like that sort of thing. We like all these little little weeny bit of felt um, uh, glue on there, and that's. That is, that's that. Lovely. Okay, it's cute. So I've covered the seam. Yeah, I've covered yeah, yeah, the seam. yeah. It's very, very nice. And what you're going to do is you're going to then, you're going to take a little gathered lace and you can actually stitch it round the outside edge of your a little dome. Right. Your, your little uh, yeah, yeah. pin cushion. Uh, there. You could actually, use, I'd quickly stitch it. So are we okay for me to yeah, stitch yeah, it? Yeah, fine for time, yeah, fine for time. Because it's quite exciting. <coughs> um, Excuse me. You watch me wreck, the, wreck this. Oh no, I did it right. Um, you could glue it, but that's, um, for me to glue that live Oh no, no, I'd stitch be, the frill would on be messy, It would be messy, would be messy. I trauma this. There's I'd, the glue I'd, gun, 10 99 I had, um, a trauma this morning in the, in the hotel bathroom. You can always tell a three star, two star, one star hotel from oh, a five star hotel. Yeah. Mirrors. Mirrors. Mirror and light. Mir mirror yeah, and lights. Yeah. And it's so upsetting, John. I couldn't see to put my. Uh, and then I was so hot and flustered because the heating's on being on all night because we couldn't turn it off. Oh. That I was sweating and uh, with a hot sweat, a hot, flashy sweat and a sweat. My, mis my, ma my makeup virtually. Peeled itself oh, I off. Why it looked I like couldn't that, see yeah. my eyes. Put mascara on or eyeliner on, and, I, and my husband's laying in bed snoring, and, and I was just thinking, oh, this life's just. 
But Dulcie's the same as that. Dulcie goes, obviously works on films and everything. She had yeah. to buy a little lamp because she likes to do EPP while she's away in the yeah. evenings to relax and everything. And you can't do it in hotel lighting. It's just... It's yeah. Well, I've just ordered um, our lovely native lighting Oh, yeah, girl. yeah, yeah, yeah. She's going to send me a box of samples that we're going to take to Jordan with us. Oh, brilliant. And test, do a little test run. Yeah. But it, it's crazy. A crazy, even a man can't shave. It's not just us that are suffering. A man couldn't possibly shave in those hotels. Or Hannah. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, John, she said it, not me. <laughs> she said it, not me. So it was a very tragic. Oh, goodness knows what I look like. What do I look like? What, you look don't, gorgeous. Don't look, don't look close. But it was a very upsetting thing that I couldn't see. Have you been to the hairdress as well? Well, I hadn't been to the hairdress. That's another upsetting thing. Jo. Oh, it's all no. bad. She, she can't see me till next week because I'm going on this Jordan yeah, trip. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so I had to go up the town to the Superdrug and buy a packet. Oh, I've done it yourself. Well, I, uh, I made such a big fuss that Harry, my daughter, did it for me. Aww. And got it all over my ears. Can you see my ears? No. Yeah, it's all over my ears. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, 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 so it, it wasn't, I wouldn't want to be in the Mandy Shaw household no, it, this week. No, it wasn't, it wasn't a good feel. So what you're going to do, look at this. Don't you love these things? You're going to glue that on there. Yeah. And let me just warn, tell you something. I filled that with tons and tons of glue. Let's try it now. And I could not, I wanted to reposition it and I could not get it off. So this just proves that these glue guns, even though they're a little bit old and defunct. Yours work. is. Yes. <laughs> but you need to keep these things going for a long time, John. We don't just, we're not a disposable society. No, exactly. And you just shove that on the middle like Shove, that. did you say? Uh, you shove, yeah. Look, look, is that not, oh. that, I worked that out, John, and that's just... I made a bit of a mess of the cook. So actually, apart from the glue gun, yes. everything else is in the kit. It's no stuffing. Oh yeah, stuffing. No stuffing. stuffing, no stuffing, yeah. stuffing. stuffing yeah. And that's it. Like, you've got no waste. A little bit of waste. You've actually got a whole skein of thread for something else. Oh yeah. And they. And so you just you just put in here. I was going to put in here things like. Um, I actually haven't got them with me, but um, I wonder clips. Will they be? Will they be in your um, bag that you thought you'd lost? They could be in my bag that I have with my porridge. Oh, wonder clips. Wonder yeah. clips in there, pins, yeah. and all sorts of things. You could put a little magnet in the bottom there, and you could put your pins in there. Oh yeah. So when you come to a workshop like this, you've got your pin cushion, and someone says, "Would you like a wonder clip?" I said, "Oh yes." Hang on a second, darling. You might have to need that. Oh. So how, how do you know if it's got wonder clips in or pins in there? You don't. It's a surprise. Okay. It's a surprise. But then the top's a pin cushion. Yes, but then you just, you, you, you use one clips for your sewing. Yeah, no, 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 no. So you could arrive with the pins in the top. Yes. As in already, you don't need the yes, pins inside. Yes, yeah. Well, I think it's safety pins, needles. And yeah, all yeah, sorts yeah, of yeah, yeah. Chocolates, little treats. Oh, but no. imagine a workshop of ladies. I could imagine them all now. They're all making those and they've all got them on the side where they're sewing. Oh, she's, I'm everywhere. Yeah, so that's, that's fun to make, darling, fun to make. Yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. Gorgeous. Done. All right, have you got any other sewing for me? Have I got, I haven't, have I got any other sewing for you on this, this hour? This no. hour? No? No, no, no. Uh, we also need to tell you, I'll do a recap in a second. We also need to tell you, Mandy's in for two other hours. She's in at nine o'clock and 11 o'clock today. All of her goodies are already on pre-order. If you want to go, and they're already going on pre-order, then the nine o'clock and 11 o'clock. Also, I've got a little treat for you at the end of this hour. Mandy doesn't know about this, so I'll tell you about it in a second. But um, I need to do a bit of recapping now. Oh, message, more message. Morning, message Mandy and John, just out of hospital, big operation. Ooh. Had my red work with me to relax. Enjoying the show in bed. Love, Isabel in Falkirk. Oh, Isabel, you get better soon, my love. Yes, yes, do, darling. Do. Yeah, yeah. How nice, though, that you, they're know, using your know, designs and your it, work. This is what you is fantastic about your ladies. We say ladies, but ladies yeah, and gentlemen. Yeah. Is they're true. Once you become a Mandy Shaw fan, they're loyal, yeah. aren't they? They're, oh, they're, gosh, my, yeah. fans are, my fans are so loyal. You yeah. won't believe how amazing they are. Oh, you won't believe. And the, le the letters and little little treats we get in the office and things. Yeah. And every every I've got to do this, John. Every eleven o'clock, every day in the workshop, we do a workout. What we do a little dancey workout. Look, dancing. Dancing to keep us fit and gorgeous. I okay, think. okay. And so Don't I was, do it like that. And I was going to think. I think everyone else on my little fan should be doing keep fit or chair fit. Yeah, or yeah, 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 yeah. At eleven o'clock in the morning. 11 Maybe you have to start it off and then we could do it at 11 o'clock on air. Oh, we could. We've got a really good, you know, the giddy out one. We've got a really good one. No. Anyway, <laughs> and, well, dance is a very big thing in Mandy's household because when oh, it was yes. your birthday, oh. must have been your 40th, was it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> and her daughter arranged for all of her family and all of her friends to do a bit of a dance routine. We were all in Zoom. Were we, in, were we in lockdown at the time? We were, weren't we? Sort of lockdown. Sort you could of see family people. Yes, yeah. So we all did a dance on Zoom and then the daughter edited it all together. So on her birthday, this is all, there's a few people want to say something. And uh, what, what did we dance to? I can't remember what we danced oh, to. Oh, Abba. Abba, Dancing Queen. Dancing Queen. And we all danced. John, and she John edited did it together. John did it. I did. I was in my kitchen. I'll find in the video in the break and I'll give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> right, Hannah, what do you want to say? Sorry, my love. Sorry. Yeah, so recap, recap, recap. recap. So let's okay. do the heart first of yeah. all. So this is brand brand new today. Folk birds hanging heart. Brand new. Let me just clear that. There you go, there you go, there you go. Uh gorgeous isn't it, folks. It could be for Easter, it could be for Mother in Sunday, it could be for anything really, but it's oh gorgeous. Half the stock has gone, half the stock of that's gone, and it's only uh five to eight. It's only five to eight in the morning. Message on my bottom. Oh, oh, oh. Hi both, love Mandy's ring. Oh, things. I, 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 hang on, here I sit doing my sewing street. Oh, hang on, trees. I don't mean... Have is I... that sewing street or is that secret society job? Oh, secret <laughs> society. So tell me quickly what that is. Well, then. actually, we've got our pages open. Um, I've got a block of the month runs from May for a year. Yeah. It's secret and um, and we always do something red work. It's called the Secret Society of Red Work and Crafty Loveliness. Right. And um, it, it's a, a year subscription, but you get, this was part of one of those. Yeah. This quilt was part of one of those years. And the new quilt we've got coming in is one of them okay. as well. That's nothing to do with ours. You need to go yeah. to Mandy's website, Dandelion Designs, to see about that. Yeah. Right, so check out, check out, check out on your heart. Then we had the tin. Here it is, le tin. Do you want me to do that, do me to do that way, Charvin? Oh, oh. Very hard wearing. <laughs> Message on my bottom. Uh, so excited for today. Bought the pink cushion kit and a Jenny, Jenny Jackson kit whilst nursing my Siamese. She went oh. to the doctors. She's got high blood pressure. They're very. Um, I grew up in Siamese cats. Uh, they're, they're very high maintenance and they're very uh, highly strung, aren't they? They're prone to things like this. <laughs> Eighteen ninety nine. This one. This is the. You get the tin in it as well you get the tin and the tin was made in london using solar panel so not solar panel solar power yeah they'd have to have a solar panel to make them get the wouldn't they i don't know how it works anyway i just know that brad next door but one's had loads of them put on his roof tin pin oh finish that one tin pin cushion kit lovely do i do the bunny next we haven't really done the bunny Brilliant, okay. So this bunny is gorgeous. You get everything you need in the kit, 32 99 apart from stuffing. Even the little dress pattern and everything. Look, I'll show you, I'll show you, show you, show you here, look. So you get the pattern, I'll, I'll go through that in a second. You get the boucle for the body. You've got the wool felt for the collar and the nose. Marigold Bear is on at 11. 11, 11. you can get it now. Go to pre-order now and buy it now and pre-order if you want to make sure that you get yours because I imagine we might get to 11 and some things will have sold out. You've got the gingham here, which is for the skirt and for the ears. Then in here, you've got your ribbon for the top of the skirt, your like webbing. You've got the uh, embroidery skein for, oh, not skein, uh, thread for the eyebrows and the whiskers. You get the pink for the stitching around the collar. You get the little buttons there for the eyes and then the button for the back of the skirt really cute She's isn't it right let me just go through this because yeah. you also here you've got the pattern for the actual uh, rabbit body legs head all of that right so then is oh and then there'll be instructions of how to make the uh, skirt in here as well because i imagine that's just a rectangle gathered, it, it, it? it is yeah. a rectangle but, but all the instructions yeah. and everything are all there everything you need touch you night out all you need to supply is stuffing yeah Lovely. And she could be made by hand or machine. She's very forgiving because she's furry. Oh, if you made yes. her chunky embroidery, th embroidery thread and sew her seams of that. She, you, and it, she's simple. She's, Sim she's lovely. quite simple Beautiful. to make. Yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah. Now, I said you were in for a treat. Here we go. The little things, right? The little things. This book has always been and should be 15 99 Now, do not worry if you've already checked out on it because... Mandy's offered you a birthday treat, right? <laughs> what does it say, John? It's just a heart. Oh! 7 99 yeah. Now, if you've already bought it, 
If you've already bought it, you still pay $7.99. Do not panic at all. At $7.99, it's half price. Half price. And that's all thanks to Mandy being so generous on the, on the birthday. Birthday treat. It's a birthday special. Birthday, birthday special. special. How, whenever, you don't even get one pattern for seven, nine, one pattern's no, nine no, ninety nine. No. The 10 pounds, our, our basic patterns are 10 pounds. 10 pounds, yeah, you see, yeah, 10 pounds yeah. for a pattern. This yeah. is seven ninety nine for the, oh, there we go. Loads of you there yeah. now. Yeah. Loads of you there. Make sure you check out. If you've Make, already got it, it's great to have a stash uh, for t as a present giver. Yes, yeah, yes, yes. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And at seven ninety nine. Yeah. You know what? You can't even get a box of chocolate. You can't get a bunch of flowers for seven ninety nine. No, can you, you, you know what I mean. Not. Even if you just yeah. go to a supermarket and buy tulips, yeah. they're eight pounds. Anyway, seven ninety nine. Cousin Susan says good morning, John and Mandy. Well, that's not my yes, cousin. Yes, the tin too. does come in the kit. Yes, Karen, yes, does, for yeah. that one, the tin does yeah. come in the kit. Okay, a hundred have just gone into baskets. Oh, yeah, a hundred yeah. have just gone into baskets. Do you need to check out? I'm not surprised. I am not surprised. Keep going through, keep going through the book, $7.99. Now, what, it, what the book is all about, really, is it's mainly how to make this quilt. So you've got your uh, pinwheels, you've got your embroidery, you've got your uh, bunting, you've got triangles, you've got all sorts of things going on in there. So if you look, they're all separate little blocks, right? All separate little blocks there. Right? That's what they are. So in the book for $7.99 are how to make all the templates of how to make each of those blocks. Right? But apart from that, so that's the whole quilt there, but you also get instructions for... It says uh, nine, John. Nine small perfect projects. Nine small perfect projects yeah. there. Pencil roll, poppy brooch, uh, pumpkin pin cushion, lavender bag, uh, key fob, Oh, I love this. Yeah, you normally cute. bring that in with you, don't I, you? I, I do, actually. I didn't today. No, yes. I didn't today. <laughs> Couldn't be bothered. $7.99. $7.99 for that book. Beg, that's going to sell out. That's going to sell out. If you've got a new basket, you need to check out. Right, now, last thing from the hour. Uh, if you bought the... Now, this is, makes even more sense now. If you pay $7.99 for the book, you've got half price. Get the transfers. What this is, all the templates that are in the book are there for you to trace off, right? You can trace all of those off. However, in here, all of the transfers you have to trace or copy. This is an iron-on transfer for every single template that's in the book. They are back to front, obviously. Now, you don't just use them once. Use them up to six yep. times. Use them up to six times. <coughs> Excuse me. £15.99. £15.99. So you've got the book for £7.99. Get these for £15.99. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. Right, are we done? We, oh, Ben's telling us to get off now. Now, we're going. We're going now. Jenny Jackson and... Um, but Rebecca Reed, thank you. I couldn't think of her name then. Rebecca Reed will be back here in my dream last night. I couldn't remember somebody's. I, I remember being in a dream, thinking, "Oh, can't remember the name. Can't remember the name. Can't remember." Oh no, it was. I know what it was. I was trying to remember the word Lent. Why? What was I dreaming about? Oh, darling. What was I dreaming about? Yeah. Anyway, we'll be back in an hour's time when I'll have Mandy and I'll have Lisa Lamb flip flopping like that right the way through till one o'clock. Uh, don't go anywhere. Rebecca Reed and uh, Jenny Jackson straight after this break. mindful i'm just on to say a massive happy birthday to sewing street you're three years old today yay hello everyone it's jane greenoff wishing sewing street a very happy birthday have a lovely day everyone bye the last day of the birthday week. It's Sunday and we have got such a show for you. We've got Lisa Lam, we've got Jenny Jackson, and we've got Mandy Shaw, all with gorgeous, fantastic projects. Now, I have to tell you, it is also Cat Floor's birthday as well. She's 21, but she's not coming to work. I'll see you, stop laughing, Alan. I'll see you on Sunday. Might be a bit tired, but I'll see you on Sunday. Thank you.
Hi Sewing Street, it's Emma here from Studio 77. Just wanted to pop on and wish you all a very happy third birthday. Many congratulations and I'm looking forward to seeing you all soon. Hi Sewing Street, happy birthday and I hope you have many more birthdays to come. Happy third birthday Sewing Street. Enjoy your celebrations and see you soon. Lots of love from me, Chrissy, and all at Collet UK. And of course, my email. This Thursday, the 2nd of March, is our sister channel, Hobby Makers, first birthday. And because of that, they're taking over the airways. So Sewing Street won't be on. But don't worry, on Wednesday, the 1st of March, we've packed twice as much into our hours, so you won't miss out. Adam Brooks is going to be there doing some amazing demonstrations. Your favorite products will still be there. So we will see you for a bumper day on Wednesday Wednesday the 1st and on Thursday we'll hand over the hours to Hobby Maker to celebrate their first birthday. Don't miss either of them, we'll see you there. Hello, I'm Emma Bradford from the Swift Quilting Company. I've been a quilter for 25 years. I began sewing and quilting by hand, but now I offer long arm quilting services and I run patchwork and quilting classes. You can see me regularly on Sewing Street demonstrating patchwork techniques. My top tip is there is no right or wrong way, only the way that works for you. There is no such thing as a quilting police. Outside of quilting, I am a qualified botanist and I enjoy riding my motorbike around the country. I hope to see you soon on Sewing Street. of Sewing Street, why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Welcome back to Sewing Street. Oh, I've had a little hour break and I bumped into the lovely Lisa Lamb out there. Look at this. Look at this. This um, is already on pre-order. It's on at 12 o'clock with Lisa and John, but I've just stolen it off her. It's all pre-cut pieces. You just hand sew it all together. I so want this. I said to Lisa, do you think if I put it, take it with me, you'll never remember? It comes in loads of colours as well, not just the red. But is that not just... Anyway, I just wanted to let you know I love it and it's on pre-order already. So 12, 12 o'clock just saying anyway this hour is all about me jenny and the epp it's a band it is indeed <laughs> <laughs> me jenny and the epp but first of all i've got to start off with our second early bird of the morning which is fantastic because we love a glue pen 
Do we, we love not? it. We love yeah, a glue pen. I shares in the company. And this is the Soline Bundle. Bundle. And it's a special price. What is it, Ben? Right, so the price normally for the Soline Notions Bundle, I'll show you in a minute what you get in it, is normally £33.99. So go on then, Ben, what can you do for me? Go low, how low can you go? How low <laughs> can you go? £19.99, oh. it's amazing. So in here, you get the fabric glue pen, which we love and always sells out. Oh, hang on, you want the overhead, aren't you? Um, and it comes with a free refill. You get the Aqua Erasable Pen, the gentle way to remove ink marks from fabric. You get the Soline Fabric Pencil. I love this because it's a ceramic lead and it comes in white. So if you need to mark dark fabrics without dragging, this is, nothing else does it better. It's just absolutely brilliant. And you get two refills for your pet for your glue pen and you get a set of pink fabric um pencil leads what a fantastic bundle i mean the pen the glue pen refill so you've got three real fills in total the aqua spray um eraser and the fabric pencil with the leads and honestly if you um if you like using like heat erasable pens like friction pens which i love they don't mark on dark fabric do they at all or sometimes some fabrics they don't come out of because you should always test but this is brilliant you mark on it you get a perfect line and it's so fine that you can even mark embroidery with it um and then if you just dab it with the damp cloth or wash it it just goes away but actually it's so fine to be honest if you mark stuff um it, it you don't even see it anyway what a brilliant bundle 19.99 now we've just got these in today Quart of the stock has already gone, and I'm not surprised. This is amazing. I mean, if any of you have used Soline, let me know. What do you think? What do you think, Jenny? I love it. Do you? Of, yeah, I should have um, shares in the company. You I should. So I should, actually, because I love yeah. all of those. Yeah, same here. I just use it for everything. <laughs> it's, they're just brilliant, aren't they? Yeah. Well, this is a lovely bundle. I think we'll have to gift this bundle to Jenny as our I birthday think present. Because so. I've lovely. opened it now. Exactly. You know. So TV's Jenny Jackson, I think, um, little I present, because so. I've opened it now. Half a stock. You see, and as you haven't got shares in the company. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> half, of the, half of the stock has gone. The other half is in um, baskets. So please do check out, because you can't have this one. Right. There is a sellout in the air for this. Uh, menu again. I did this at 6 o'clock. OK, we have to do it again at 8 o'clock. Right, so we've done the first two, done six and seven. Where were you? If you were here, thank you so much for joining Jenny and I so early at six o'clock. Um, eight o'clock, it's, oh, it's Jenny Jackson. Yes, she's here with me. Yes. Peacock quilt. Now, we've got a little bit of a thing about that. I'll talk to you about the word wall hanging. <laughs> Ridiculous. It's a quilt, but we'll go through that in a minute. The peacock quilt it's the price of a, it's the size of a quilt at the price of a wall hanging we did a little bit jiggery pokery in the break and i'll let you know and brand new kingfisher toe if you love the puffin toe it's back just saying but the kingfisher toe is jenny's new design so two brand new designs of jenny all epp gorgeous um john will be back at nine i'll be going to lie down in a darkened room then because i was up so early um he'll be um, on with mandy shaw doing her beautiful alphabet wall hanging which i've just been stroking it's oh it's so gorgeous um the lisa the lamb is on at 10 o'clock with the new city backpack gorgeous been looking at that as well then mandy will be back with john at 11 doing the new marigold bear and thatch cottage gorgeous and then um, lisa lamb will be on at john again at 12 which should say p.m doing the cute Cambridge satchel, which is that one I showed you. All on pre-order. This comes in a variety of colours. This just one happens to be my favourite. It's just divine, isn't it? Mm -mm -mm. No cutting out. It comes with all pre-cut pieces. Anyway, 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 let's... So, what I'm going to do to start with... Now, when Jenny was on last time and she did her puffin tote the puffin tote it sold out but luckily we've got it back now look at this can you see this is all epp 
Can you see the individual um, hexes? Are they hexes? No, they're no, funny they're shapes. Jewels. They're what? Jewels. 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 They're individual shapes. Can you see? Look, there they are. All EPP'd, when joined together, make this beautiful puffin. The kit, amazing, in the panel, comes with the back. Half the stock's gone already. Look at the back of it. I would, I love I it for the back. In fact, you know what? I'd make two. Yeah, with a plain I back. I would have a plain back. Hi, John. Hello. <laughs> have you lost something? Becky. Oh, she went. She went the same <laughs> way you've just come in. <laughs> oh, she went. <laughs> I would use my own plain fabric for the back. So I'd have one bag with that and one bag with that. What noise do puffins make? I, I have no, no idea. idea. Probably like, Is that a Ben question? <laughs> Alexa does it. You can go, Alexa, what noise does a puffin make? And it'll do it. Right, that's true. You so I, just set everyone's Alexa. Yes, Alexa, <laughs> Alexa, what noise does a puffin make? I hope all your Alexas are now making the noise of a puffin. <laughs> anyway, so that's the puffin tote. Shall I show you the panel? Because that's Kingfisher. So what you get in the kit is amazing. We're not going to be demonstrating that today. Well, we, I love the word, I like saying we. <laughs> I know, we are nothing to do with me, Jenny and I. But Jenny will be demonstrating EPP. So in the um, kit, you get the full instructions. You get the paper pieces, so you don't need to cut anything out. You get a meat of the blue fabric that's used to line it. And then look at the panel. This is the best thing. Da, da, da. Glamorous assistant, could you hold the other side? Always. Look at that. So look at all the EPP pieces here. They're all printed, and all you do is cut them out and sew them together and they make the puffing. But look at the back. The handles are there. Extra bargain bonus puffins. Indeed, yeah. And some day. extra puffins down the edge as and well. And puffin salvage. Look. I can't believe this is only $29.99. <laughs> only. And you get the paper pieces, so you don't need to do any cutting out. Right, just quick stop warning. We have way more in baskets than we've actually got in stock. And we did get loads in. So if you want this, you need to get it checked out. So that's the, that was last month. But please do get checked out because it's, it's going. We also have it, I'll just put that there, in another colourway. Because we did two. Um, so this is called teal puffin. So with this one, exactly the same. The only difference in this kit is the background is teal with orange puffins. That's beautiful, isn't it? And then look at the back, matching print. You've got the baby um, puffins there on this teal background. So in the kit for this one, you get instructions. You get the EPP paste pieces. You get, the, you get a metre of orange fabric, so that's used to do all the lining. And then this is the panel. Glamorous assistant. I know, I know my role now, don't I? Know, I? It's great. <laughs> there we go, look. And so there's the puffin with his little, little baby puffins all around him, the EPP pieces. There's your bag back, there's your handles, there's your free puffin salvage and bonus puffins. Yeah, and don't worry that he's got two eyes. Yeah. Part of the eye will disappear behind in the yes, seam allowance. Yes, there's a whole point to that. Yeah. So you don't need to do any measuring. You just need to cut around the edges of them. We'll see in a minute. Um, and it will all come together beautifully. So that's puffin number two. So we are oversubscribed on these. So if you've got it in your basket, just check out. Because if you check out today, every time you check out, you get entered into our prize draw. And one of the prizes in that is a brother sewing machine, just saying. Yes, a brother sew machine, a whole pack of creative grids, a Liberty Rainbow Fat Quarter and an Eclipse Ring Light. Now, every time you check out, you get entered back in. So you get another raffle ticket. And that is just for today. We haven't, we've had a different prize all week. So it's not like, oh, well, loads of people already entered. This is just for people who enter today. And every time you check out, you'll come into it. Morning, baby puffins are puffings. Pufflings. Pufflings. Oh, that's, oh, that's so a bit cute. cute. Oh, Pufflings. I'd like to be a little puffling. I'd like to be a puffling. 
Oh, I love that one. <laughs> Pufflings. I saw real puffins when I went to the Shetland Islands. Oh, yes. Yeah. Real ones. And I went, oh my God, this one, this one, this one. And then I looked around and went, there's two, there's three, and there were hundreds oh, see, of them. my mum absolutely loves puffins. Well, That's I was That's one thing that amazed. inspired me to do that one. And then my dad really loves kingfishers. So well, so let's them. talk about today's kit. So this yes. one, brand new. This is the National Bird of Redditch. Why is it the National <laughs> Bird of Redditch? Don't know. Yeah, that's true. The shopping centre's called the Kingfisher Shopping Centre. Is the uh, football team called the Kingfishers? Uh, Redditch United. Oh, I'll have a word. They should have called it the Kingfishers, shouldn't they? They should. Redditch United. That wasn't very inspired, was it? <laughs> but anyway, look at this. I absolutely love this. Look at it. So this is lozenges. Is that the technical term? Oh, oh no, I call them honeycombs. Honeycomb. Oh, yeah. well, they look like a lozenge. <laughs> If you can we get into close on this, Charlie? Because then you can, because you from a distance you can't even tell this is FPP, EPP. That's EBP. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> EBP. But look at all the pieces when joined together. You make this beautiful kingfisher. And then on the panel, look at the back, kingfishers amongst dots. The handles are kingfishers and then you've got lining so in the kit for this you are going to get you are going to get full instructions everything you need to know is in there um hand packed by jenny in a lovely purple striped paper by bag. mom and dad oh sorry hand packed by jenny's mom and dad yeah. all <laughs> the paper pieces that. that you need so you don't need to cut any out um, you get a metre of the grey fabric, that's Rose and Hubble proper quilting weight cotton, it's really lovely quality fabric and most importantly, most importantly, had to be done in a West Country accent that, most importantly what you get next is <laughs> the Kingfisher. So all the pieces look are pre-printed. And they're also put in the right order to make it easy. You've got the beautiful print of the Kingfisher back. And you've got the um, handles. And look, bonus. strip. Bonus Kingfishers. <laughs> 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 the Kingfishers only come from the West Country. Bonus Kingfishers. It's gorgeous, isn't it? It's gorgeous. Now you need to get checked out on that. You absolutely do. So, but also, yeah. you can make it into a yeah. cushion. So I mean, I was just thinking, if you've, had, if you've got enough tote bags, you could make a couple of cushions. You could actually make three cushions. So I've made one, just coming in, I'm joining you. Oh, coming in, coming in, because this is the other colourway. I'll show you that in a minute. The back, so the back of the tote bag for yeah. a cushion. The front, front. And then actually, you've got the straps and the spare strip. So yeah. you could actually piece another one you could and make a third cushion so if you don't want a tote bag or oh, i'm thinking two tote bags so from this panel amazing price of 29.99 oh no uh, sorry 34.99 yeah what was the other yeah yeah there's more paper pieces in this right one, that's why I i'm not reading remember. it properly i think so you can get two tote bags you three could. cushions yeah so a this tote bag and a cushion a tote bag and a cushion and it's just gorgeous, isn't it? Now, this is exclusive to Sewing Street as well. Okay. So that colourway that I've just shown you, um, again, you get the instructions. You get the paper pieces hand packed by Jenny's mum and dad in a nice paper bag. Um, you get a metre piece of turquoise. Indeed. Love the turquoise. And then this is the panel. So the metre piece did both of the cushion backs and the binding oh, as well, wow. as if, if, if that's what you wanted to make instead of a tote bag. So with bag. this one, you've got a really lovely gentle grey background. It's not a solid grey though, it's got like a wash to yeah, it, Yeah, it's the same as the blue, there's a slight, like, different... Like a wash. Yeah, a wash. To it. Then you've got the kingfishers on the grey background, you've got the kingfishers handles, and you've got the bonus kingfisher print down there. So all you need to do is choose between whether you want the tealy turquoisey background or the grey background. So for $34.99, you get absolutely loads. And a um, message from Lorraine Jenny, you are so clever. Oh, thanks. She is, actually. She is, actually. Amy is also clever. Amy got um, And then we're now going to, I'm going to do the peacock quilt 
next. Yeah. We've got another. I don't think we've got another colorway. No. Nope. We haven't. No. Nope. We've done that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we did do the great kingfisher, didn't we, everyone? We did. We did two kingfishers. Ben missed that one. Anyway, <laughs> he was clearly wasn't listening. So the other kingfisher, the grey version, um, which was. Yeah, that I just I used it we, on the cushion. Yeah, we just done the the, grey of the, tote, the patterns for the tote bag, but you just make it right. into a cushion the instead. The one that I just talked about is the grey one. So we did that one first. Okay. <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry, we're so confused. So there are two kingfishers and there are two puffins. We've done both of them, but I don't think we put the right codes in at the right time. So if you want the grey one, when you go onto the website, go onto sewingstreet.com and click on Watch Live. When you scroll down, you can choose between a grey one and a teal one. Yes. Why? We just missed us. I think that's because we were chatting and not making a lot of sense. Right, I'm going to just introduce the peacock now, after all of these, because this is Jenny's second product. So we've, today we've got the brand new Kingfisher in two colourways, the peacock. Now, when I came in this morning, it said peacock wall hanging. And then Jenny arrived with it. I went, what? That is not a wall hanging. That is a quilt. But it's priced at a wall hanging price. Yeah. Forty nine ninety nine. So what's the finished size of this? Uh, it says in the pattern text. I can't remember. Let me do you want me to have a look? No, one so I know where it is. Oh okay, you have a look. Oh well you can see it's behind Jenny. It's massive, that is not a wall hanging. It is. Oh it's approximately sixty four high by fifty three wide. Right. That is a quilt. That is a quilt, isn't it? Pretty much. It's gorgeous. Because you look at the size of it next to Jenny, it's beautiful. It's uh, amazing. So in the kit, you will get full instructions. Obviously, you get a massive pack of paper pieces. Yeah, so you don't get enough to make the whole peacock. So you have that to reuse. would have been really costly. Mm. But you get, there's half hexes at the top and the bottom. So you get all of those. And then my math genius dad worked out how many you needed to get so far down. And then you can reuse And then you them. just reuse them. Yeah. So you will still won't need to print out any of no, your own. No. But you will need to reuse some. You get a metre of the blue fabric, which is used for the inner borders and the binding. I don't think there's enough for the binding right, in okay. a metre, because I, I, oh, hang on. Has that, is it a metre? It is. Oh yeah, it is then. Okay. Yeah, because when I was discussing <laughs> it, I said if it's half a metre, it's only enough for inside. No, 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 two and a half, no, you get a, enough fabric for the inner border and the bindings to yeah. get a metre. You get a metre and a half of the green, which is used for all the other borders. And then I've left the best bit to last. It's massive. Camera's assistant, please. It's huge, this one. <laughs> I can't. We're always going to get that the wrong way. There we go. So look at this. So this is mega EPP, isn't it? <laughs> look at all of the hexes on that. It is gorgeous. And also on the so you've got all the EPP pieces, and then on the side near Jenny, you can see see all those squares. Those are used for the cornerstones. Yep, and then you just get two spare little strips. And at the two top. spare little strips. Don't like to waste any of no, the panel no waste. fabric. But isn't that gorgeous? And what's lovely, I think, is the hexes are really big. Yeah, they're one point five. So it's come together so quickly. Yeah, it does, and they matches so easily. And so if, if you love peacocks, you could put this on your bed. What a beautiful gift for a peacock lover. Ben loves a peacock. I'm not surprised. <laughs> ben, are you going to give us a peacock impression? Oh, that's awful. I that can hear right it. in my ear. I can hear it right through there. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that? You should have. That was right in my ear. Brilliant. It's gorgeous, isn't it? So that's a massive panel. I think for forty nine ninety nine, you're getting all the papers. You will need to reuse a few of them, but reuse. You don't have to print out any. Two and a half metres of the plain fabric to do all of the borders and the binding. And this massive panel, that's fantastic. So shall we, so we've done all the kits now. <laughs> shall we do a little bit of demo? Yeah, so we're just gonna EPP yes. both demos. There's no machining. So all beautiful sit in front of the box yes, set. Yes, my favourite. I'll be doing that later after my nap. Do you know what, it feels like it should be midday. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Because we've been it, it, on. Because <laughs> we've been up since four. <laughs> yeah, it does but it feel just like feels midday. like, yeah, because we don't usually do shows at this time. This would be my second show, which is usually 11 till 12 or something like that. So I'm so confused. Right, so I have started the, um, 
the uh, Peacock. One moment, I just got to mention yeah. the Sew Line Glue Pen Refill Set. We add hundreds. Just want to let you know because it's really useful for EPP. Obviously, we've got 30 left. So if you've got a sew line glue pen, you want some refills, and we did have hundreds, you will need these for, the, well, you don't have to, some people prefer to tack. If you like gluing with EPP, pop these in your basket. We only have 30 left. Right, sorry. I was no, that's fine, again. don't worry. It's, <laughs> it's a very relaxed hour now, because it yeah. is hand sewing. So what I tend to do to keep my pieces in the right order is I tend to cut out in rows. Oh, okay. And then clip them together. And what I tend to do is have, because I've only got one cut right now, I would have a little got one clip. <laughs> only got one clip. Um, I would put a little note on there saying row one. Oh, and okay. And then, like, just a sticky note. And then on the next one, I'd write row two. And I, I tend I to cut, with like... Was it Susie Duncan? And she prints out little labels for her clips. Oh, that's way too much effort. And, because she would... I don't know what she'd cut for a quilt. <laughs> she, on, on her label thing, so it said... And she had a label on her clip. That's brilliant. No, I have a sticky note. And I try to use it, though, as many times as I can <laughs> before I get, get rid of it. <laughs> or lose it that's usually what happens so do you cut out the whole panel no in rows? I, I tend to cut about half okay or maybe seven rows and then fold it up and right okay clip that so when you're cutting out as well you do not leave any white round it I roughly cut a whole row first mm. like in between okay, the white, just, in just between. roughly yeah and then I'll cut them and then pile them up right so okay. they're in the right order um, and yep, yeah, so you cut around, there's a, a, a little black line around the shape, so cut on that line and then that's that. So it's really easy to do, you can take, a, there is a, a photo of it in the, oh, okay. uh, so you in the um, I pattern, would have but I would still take a photo because then you can zoom in on your phone. Because if you lay it flat on the floor and stand on a chair, you can yeah, take a photo take with your a phone, photo, and, and then, then if you know. do drop pieces or get them yeah. mixed up, then you can zoom in on your um, phone to have a good look at just, where yeah, it's meant to be. Case. I'd, for some reason, when I was making that one, I clip them all. I always put the clip on the top right. of the hexagon, so I know that's the top. Mm. And somehow, when I was basting, it's never happened before. I must have twisted some round. Then when I went to sew them, I was like, hmm. But I just had to turn the shape round yeah, and so see it's where it matched. So it's worth so it was checking out first. Yeah. So the top row has some half hexagons, which you can't really see because it's pattern matched. So, but there's half hexagons there. Um, so your first row, you'll do hexagon, half hexi, hexagon. Okay, half hexi. to get a straight edge. Yeah, to get the straight edge. It just meant that we weren't wasting as much fabric. Mm, good point. So with, because it's large pieces, so I'm just going to show you how to baste. So don't worry about these templates we're using. These I've used probably about eight times now because mm. I never cut myself a fresh Well, I set. have bought many of Jenny's templates <laughs> in, the FP, in the EPP Scrappy Kexi group and I've reused mine because I changed my mind. Yeah, yeah, you did. So you? <laughs> they reuse beautifully, I can assure yeah, you. Yeah, so I've used these loads. So when I'm doing whatever project with 1.5 inch, I won't mm. cut myself a set. For that i'll just find my old ones and just keep mm. using them until they can't be used anymore so what i tend to do, i have i'm very organized with these is i would flip this over and i would baste from the back pile right and then put them and then put them right way okay so then i'd have the top one on the top again but that is because i sew from the left to the right um. if you're right-handed you might find it easier to sew from the right to the left Oh, I don't know, actually. It really depends. Because, I mean, mm. I'm always from the left to the right. But that comes natural to me. I think I'd sew left to right just because in my brain that would make right? sense about reading. Right, because I sew clockwise. But I know quite a few right-handed people sew anti-clockwise. Oh, I don't know. So, you know needle turner plique? Yeah, no, I sew anti-clockwise. Yes. I sew from right to left. Yes, I do. So, actually, needle turner know. plique, mm. I've written that in my patterns. I'm bringing one next month. I sew and, uh, clockwise, but if you're right hand, you need to sew anti clockwise. Oh, you know, I do find actually. It easier. Yeah. There we go. You Full what, of what? information. Which way do you sew? Which way do you sew? You have to think sew? about it. Prove me wrong. Yeah. <laughs> right, so I'm That's actually, because I'm only going to base the first two shapes, I'll just take the top one. And what you want to do is if you're, oh, I've just moved that, haven't I? <gasps> Um, did you take a photo on your phone beforehand, Jenny? So you can no, check I did it. not. 
Luckily, you've got a one Never behind my you. my own advice, I know. <laughs> you can just check it. Um, if you're new to this, what you can do is actually draw a quarter of an inch in around the template, and then that will help you center it. I am just going to eye it because... So I you're a gluer. I am a gluer. See, some people are tackers. Do you know you can do either way? And some you people can. are gluers. I glue for timing, but also I find that the larger the shape, I find that you get really uh, crisper lines using the glue. Okay. And also yeah, when the shape true. gets bigger, when you're hand tacking it, it's easier to manipulate the card and get it a bit tight and bent. Okay, right. So I glue onto the fabric, not the card and you only need a smidge. Then you fold that round and then just go round. My advice is get in the habit of always going the same way round a shape. So it doesn't particularly matter with hexagons because you haven't got dog ears. But if you've got dog ears on shapes, if you sew all the way around, uh, sorry, base the same way every time around the shape, your dog ears will like fold into each other. Oh, okay. Yeah, so not opposite sides then, round in a no, circle. No, so go round in a circle and always start in the same place. But that also means for me, when I'm doing pattern matched ones like this, that's my last side. And I know, she flicks it, that is going to be that way. Okay. My last bit, because I started here. Yeah, and I guess once you've done two or three rows, then that will all... So then it's just clear. my little way of making it quicker in my brain, knowing that I've always started on this particular bit mm. and I know where I'm going to finish. So I know where that's going to be when I'm matching it up. So I'll just go around another shape. You really don't need much glue. And this panel fabric's lovely to EPP with as well. So look at that, 49.99, it's amazing. How are we going with stock though, Ben? Mm. <laughs> I love that. Ben says he smells disappointment in the air. <laughs> Which think means that we might be a little bit low on stock. Mm. Just warning you, because whenever we get Jenny on, they sell out. Right, so half of the stock is gone already and loads of it is in baskets of what we've got left and we did have loads so i am just warning you now that to avoid disappointment check out and remember every time you check out you get entered into the price drawing you that new brother sewing machine may well be yours by the end of the day yeah because you imagine the disappointment of missing out on a peacock quill and not getting mm. the brother sewing machine wouldn't be the one. No, no. So just warning you, over half of it's gone. Loads of what we've got left is in baskets. So if it's in your basket, you need to check out. Right, Jenny. Right. So I just wanted to show you as well is I've removed some of the shapes already here. Okay. Because it makes it easier to handle. Once one side of the shape has been sewn around, sorry, all sides sorry. of the shape, <laughs> not one side, all <laughs> sides, you can remove that um, paper. It just makes it easier to handle when you're using making a bigger piece. Right, so I thought I'd show you from scratch. I'm using my 80 weight thread. Oh, we have got that. Have we got Which that? Which is my favorite. So Jenny's brought out a new, have we got the box? And what I do it was is I still run it through my... Um... Yeah, so Jenny has developed um, a box of 80 weight or a fill thread, who knew? Um, the thinner the thread, the, the, the low, higher the number, the finer the thread. 80 weight is perfect for EPP. Yeah, it's absolutely perfect. I've converted quite a lot of people already. It's so, so you know when you're sewing with normal thread by hand, after a while, unless you look with really short lengths, it starts bobbling and knotting and breaking. Yeah. And also it just shows through more. I had a lot and of people through. saying, I hate seeing my stitches too much. It's nice seeing them a little bit because it is a hand sewn project. But um, I did a workshop and I gave them all like a length of thread and I said, try this and see if it's better, which I did, which they did. And now they're converted to AU weight, which is brilliant. <laughs> so with 80 weight, I still um, use my um, thread wax. Mm. This is just so that it's easier to get out any knots. 
because it's still not. So use your not. 80 weight. So this this pack of 80 weight thread, these I've chosen, Jenny has worked with Orophil and chosen all of her favourite colours. There's some neutrals that you use for mixed colours and then there's all the bright colours that you use for single colours. Only for like 49.99. You have got so much thread in there. If you do EPP, you will love that. All general hand sewing. It's perfect. Indeedy. So I've run it through my thread wax. 69.99. So you wax your thread. Yeah, just because it helps um, strengthen, just helps and then, um, everything. Needles? No, they're not them. <laughs> not them, they're wrong. Who put these on? <laughs> you don't it's do my needles every single time. Every single Milliners. time. Yeah, and I don't use the mixed ones We know either. that. You know that, it's all right. I've got them. <laughs> milliner's needles. So I use uh, Milliner's 11. I'm a mm. massive advocate and I'm just going to show you. A lot of people say I can't thread them because the eye is so fine. But you need a fine needle again to stop your stitches being seen. Mm. So you're not going to see it very well on the cat eye. Oh, hey, look at this. No, that is not bad, is it? So what I do is watch Those it nails. go wrong because I'm on TV. But I have my thread here and only a tiny bit sticking out from my fingers. Then I get the eye of the needle and I literally just pop it straight on, like that. That's amazing. So if you've only got a tiny bit of thread sticking out between your fingers, it can't really flop around. And then you just put the needle eye straight, straight on. onto it, okay. And that is my top tip. That is a very good tip. And um, Viv says, I'm left-handed and I sew clockwise. There you go. Yeah. There you go. See? Mm. Then I knot my thread a couple of times. It's very thin thread, so you, I find that I do need to knot it twice. Because the knot's so tiny. Okay. Because the f thread's so thin. To make it That if you thin. don't knot it twice or sometimes three times, then it will just go straight through the fabric. So I also use quilters clips to hold my pieces together to lessen the strain on my wrist especially handy when you're using big shapes. So, what you do is, where's the edge? Do I need to, I need to move over a bit, don't I? There we go. So this is gonna go here and here. So it's right sides together. As you can see, that pattern's matching nicely, even though I uh, basted that super quick without measuring. You go right sides together. And what I tend to do is I pop a clip the side that I'm not sewing from, just so I don't have to hold it too tight. I've said this a million times, <laughs> so funny. And then you're going to start right at the corner. You're not going through the card at all. You're just picking up a little bit of the fabric. I seem to have another thread there. And then you are just going to keep going along. You don't want your, uh, your stitches too far apart, but again, you don't want them on top of each other. So you go straight through. I go straight forward with my stitching and I stitch away from me. Some people stitch together, to, to together, towards um, themselves. It makes you start thinking, I bet how you watch, I bet you're thinking about this now. Do you stitch away or towards yourself? I know, I've had a few people say they find, um, Right, EP I stitch from right to left and I stitch towards myself, so I work in a completely ah. the opposite way to you. So I've had a lot of people come to me saying, um, hand sewing makes their wrists hurt. And they're <laughs> people that actually stitch towards themselves, and I've suggested trying to stitch oh, okay. away, because it's actually more of an actual movement than that. Oh, yeah, see what you mean. So if you're doing it too much, yeah, then so, that makes yeah, sense. yeah, that's less of an actual yes. than going like that. Oh, okay. So, and... Um, even though like it takes a while to get used to those said yeah but you do after have started while, don't you? sewing and it's not hurting their wrist yeah. and now they oh, feel okay. like an uh, EPP which makes me super happy so we're just going to go all the way along I don't know if you can see my stitches I can yes can you see them on there but it, it's worth with things like that learning a slightly new technique if you are having problems with your fingers or your wrist. Definitely, just to, make just a to give it a try. So I've just unclipped it now. And you don't use a thimble end. either. Well, actually, I haven't. But now I found these. I've seen them before, but I just hadn't given them a go. Um, little leather stick-on ones. Oh, leather I stick know what you mean. Yeah. And I'm actually obsessed with them. I oh, can't. Okay. I can't get thimbles to go over my nails. Yeah, you would have to cut your nails because I use a thimble, but I use one that's got like a rubber 
sleeve no, so and a metal end. I so found it fits that nicely. the place that always hurt my fingers were just here. Yeah, it's just and that, I yes. had like some. I had awful skin on there. So oh, I I've started, got really hard skin. I started using these stick-on things. Oh, okay. And after using it for about half an hour, I got so used to it. And actually, when you take it off. I've, I can stick it on at least okay, 10 or yeah, more times. Yeah, because I think the skin on the end of my third finger is just permanently solid now. Yeah. I think I've done so much damage to it. I've just gone to the end here and I'm not going to cut the thread mm. off. I'm just going to add the next shape. So this shape's going to go here. And what you do is right sides together. Yeah. Like before. And just going to clip that away. So I'm just going to carry on now from this corner and just take up that tiny bit of thread of, of the fabric. And just keep going along. See, we're very relaxed now, aren't we? I can hear them in the green room. Can you? They're yeah. giggling. Yeah, they are. Don't know, <laughs> don't know what they're giggling at. They're always giggling. It's because we've got it's the two there's boys It's because so many in. of us in here today. Hannah's gone home and we've now got Ben and Charlie. And they just, honestly, they, they're they just a bad influence they're on each so other. They're so naughty. They're like, they're like having, you know when you've got a class and you've got those two naughty boys you have to split up? They yes. are like that. Unfortunately, we're not allowed to split them up otherwise we can't go on air. Exactly. But really... They should be split up because they just egg each other on, and they they, they do. But I definitely feel like Ben is the bad influence. It's, yeah, no, I think yeah. you're right. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think he is actually. He'd be if he was in my class. I'd have him at the front of the class, yes. standing with his hands on his head. <laughs> <laughs> I would definitely have him. He'd be outside actually, wouldn't he? Yeah. He's so naughty. So naughty. And then they just giggle all the time. There we go. So I've just come along this shape. I did want to try and sew another um, another uh, side of the shape so that I could show you how to remove a piece of card. So the technique to do this is exactly the same when you do, whether you do the Kingfisher cushion or this. So Jenny's yes. just, just going to demo the peacock quilt only because it's the same technique. I mean, I've exactly got the same the, thing. I have got some. Okay, to do. we'll have a look at that on in a minute. time, doesn't it? Um, so. Ha does it go through quite how long did it take you to do this is Not it quite quick all, because they're because so big it's all kind of matched and the, the hexes are big yeah and it just it came together so quickly i was really surprised myself actually mm. and it's, it's not too wide it's I mean, gorgeous it's absolutely gorgeous what i love about it although it pattern matches so beautifully you can't really see it is when you get close to it it yeah. has a texture exactly yeah. a feel to it that it wouldn't if, if it you weren't doing yeah, exactly that so when you go to the next one, you need to fold that template, but don't crease the template. You only need to like flip it over so mm. that these two sides meet. But you really don't need to. It's John Scott that I can hear. I can hear Isn't John it? Scott. Yeah. I think the problem is he's out there with Lisa Lamb and Mandy Shaw, and can you imagine exactly. the laughing going on? Exactly. In fact, we should just move the TV program to out there <laughs> exactly. because all you can hear is those three just laughing. <gasps> So you're just going to carry on again. I have not knotted my um, uh, thread off because I will keep going now until my thread runs out and then I'll go back and stitch in between the hexagons afterwards because it also means you can remove um, the card and then you, the less you fold the card over, the longer they're going to last as well. So I really suggest once all sides have been sewn around to Oh, move take it, it out. Yeah. But it isn't paper. I mean, this is card. It's it's really nice to work with as well, yeah. isn't it? So I find that a lot of the templates that you can buy um, are too thin. And they, that's yeah, when yeah. people say, my hexagons won't sew up properly. Mm. They're different lengths. It's because when you've been basting them, you fold the paper over. Yeah, and if the paper's, the paper's too bent thin. slightly. But actually, these are, the, these are the sizes that I've got. They are, they? yeah, you did buy one. Because I've bought yeah. several packets. Because <laughs> I didn't want to reuse them. I wanted. Well, the reason is because I'm doing this scrappy hexy quilt and I'm making flowers. It's the only way I could vaguely go scrappy. 
is I'm making flowers in one collection and then I'll sew different sorts of flowers together. So therefore She's I need to trying. make loads of flowers. I've done a whole quilt there. Have you? I've yeah. got loads of flowers. I'm on my second one now. But I'm not going to sew my flowers until I've got enough so I can get them in a random order. See, I've sewed them together every time I've done one no. so that they're random. Can't even know that's too, it's you too much. It's too much. Too much for me. So I've got loads of them and they are beautiful to sew with and I have got that size. Yeah, I did my first one, um, my first scrappy quilt out of 1.5. I'm still doing another one now out of ones. Hannah, you're supposed to have gone home. She's still here. It's because John's here. They're probably having a good time. Oh, old see, there. Hannah's had to stay to keep those boys in check. Yeah. Right, mm. I've just come to the end of another line now. I'll keep knotting this now, don't I? Because I'm faffing. There we go. So now all sides of this hexagon have been sewn around i just thought it'd be great yeah to no, show it's you really nice how to remove it so if you're not a gluer and we have converted you to gluing exactly and because the next happens. line i want to sew here down okay. here and if i remove that then i've not got to fold that template it's going to be gone so it's a bit easier easier okay. yeah so it's as easy as so this has probably been glued about two weeks but it doesn't matter if you've glued it oh, okay. 10 Good minutes job. ago Seems minor, or mine will two, be about five two, years, three years worth of gluing. Exactly, it really won't make a difference. If you are struggling to get it off at all, you've probably used too much or you just press it slightly. But as you can see, it just comes off absolutely fine. And oh, it is amazing though, isn't it? Because it's true cause that you can keep them on like forever almost and they yeah. still come off. Yeah, they will. You can always press them. But you don't use Pritt stick because I've done that because I ran out of hemline and if you other glues are available, that sort of thing. Um, it doesn't come <laughs> off. No. It doesn't come off. Right, okay, so that's the peacock. That's yes. the um, code that's, I can never do that. Up there, up there. 49.99, you get full instructions, all the paper pieces, you will need to reuse some, but they're very easy to reuse. There are 10 kits left. And there are, I haven't got enough fingers, 25 in baskets. That's going to be 15 people who are disappointed. You get a two and a half metres of plain fabric to make the whole of the front of the quilt and the binding and this massive, massive panel. So for the 10 lucky left people, or the 10 people lucky who are left, this is what you'll get. It's enormous. And you know, not only are you paying for a fantastic price for a lot of fabric but the um the instructions the design the quality everything that jenny's created for you and this beautiful panel well worth it um right kingfisher next now the kingfisher is available in two different colorways so we'll start with the gray now you can make this the design the instructions are done for a tote bag but jenny's made it into a cushion so you can see so this is the grey one. This is EPP. So can you see the background? It's not just a solid grey. It's got like a kind of a grey wash to it. So it's got a very natural effect. So that's the grey version. In the kit, you will get the full instructions. You will get all of the paper pieces, every single one. And then you get, this is the grey panel. Oh, do you need me? I'm just not um, here. Yeah. Not in my thread. She's just not in her thread. It's not in my thread. There we go. The grey panel. So there you've got the kingfisher all in his pieces, in his little jewel lozenges. You've got the back that you can use for the back of a tote bag, the back of a cushion, or the front of another one if you want to. And then you've got the two pieces for the handles. And bonus kingfishers as well. <laughs> so that's the grey version. Now, if you would rather make the turquoise version, teal sorry this you the instructions are to make it into a bag but because Jenny had done a puffing bag last time she decided to show you how to do a cushion but look at the background it isn't a solid it's really natural looking isn't it it's sitting on a branch and then this is the back beautiful with little spots in amongst it and smaller kingfishers then you've got the handles and then the lining is all in grey so in the kit it's beautiful, I love this bag, I would quite like this. Um, you get full instructions, you get all the paper pieces, you get a metre of grey that is more than enough to line the bag and the handles, and then this is the panel. And I just used um, H640. Yeah, I was going to just say, how much do you need of that? A metre, right, so we have of the size, yeah. So there's the panel, how beautiful. Actually, I need to come that way, don't I? Look at it, isn't that gorgeous? I love, I mean, I just love the background as well. <laughs> They're so cute. 
And if you decide to make it into a cushion, once you've sewn them together, just trim them down to like a, well, I would say baste it and quilt it if you want to quilt it, then mm. trim it down to about a 16 inch square. Mm. You so could just probably a bit, go yes. a little bit bigger, depending on the size. But it's a lovely project to do, um, sit in front of the telly in the evening. It's a great thing to take on holiday with you because it's so easy. You don't need a lot. You just pop it in a little bag, yeah. take it away. Great to do on the train or if you're sitting in waiting rooms. You know when you're sitting like yeah, dentists, I literally doctors, take mine everywhere. hospital appointments, all that kind of thing. Lovely if you are, you know, if you're always sitting down in a chair. You know, if you've got somebody who's got a lot of time on their hands and needs something to do. Yeah, and yeah. And you don't need any special equipment. My car, so. The kit? Not when I'm driving, obvs. Not when you're driving. <laughs> yeah, not on the motorway. That's really not a good idea. Um, and then... That's those the two kingfishers, and I just wanted to show you as well again the um, Aurifil box. So, the it's always nice to have the right equipment. And obviously, you can use any sewing thread for this. But if you love English paper piecing and you really want to get the right thread and to make it easy, this is the box of colours. It's all 80 weight, which means it's finer than your normal thread, so it won't bobble and break and snag and fluff in the same way. You've got um, three. Now you've got four neutral colours that can be used if you're piecing together different coloured fabrics. If you're piecing together the same colours, then you can use the bright colours, which is Jenny's sort of signature colours. Perfect. Um, puffins, do we have any puffins left? We're just going to check the, <laughs> so many. the puffin oh, situation. There's a puffin and there's a puffin. Jen, Ben. Right, we have a few puffins. I've got um, the seaside puffin. Right, so the seaside puffin is... Oh, underneath the table. Oh, sorry, I wondered where I put him. So there's the seaside puffin. So this was last month and we sold out. So we've brought you back. We have a handful left. So there's the front of the bag on the seaside theme um, scene. There's the back with all the baby puffin pufflings. And then you've got the fabric for the handle. Now remember in this kit, the same as the Kingfisher, you've got all of the instructions. You have got all of the paper pieces and you've got the lining. So for this one, you get this color, you get a meter of blue for lining it. And look at the panel. If you love a puffin, you will love that look. It's beautiful, I love this print. I know, it's so cute. They're gorgeous, aren't they? That's uh, 29 99 And then we've got the teal one, Over which, here. here he is. <laughs> <laughs> we have a few left of this one. This is the teal one. Gorgeous. Now, obviously in the kit, you get the full instructions, you get the fabric and you get the panel. Um, lovely message from Katie. Hello, I was thinking I'd love to see the green room show. I was telling everyone, John, that all we could hear was you and Mandy and Lisa Lamb laughing. Oh, I know. I was, was it working the... with Hannah. No, oh, I, I'm sure I we heard, heard you voice. at some point. Yeah. And I said, it'd be great. We should take the camera out there. It must no. have been hilarious. <laughs> it is really, really it cold out there. out there. Really cold. Anyway, Jenny, thank you for today. Thank you. We've run out of time. We have run show. out of time. But thank you for today. It's been such... Thank you. It's been such good fun. It has. It's, and been, it's been brilliant. Really it's been lovely nice. to be back with you as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, he's just he's saying, could you just go? <laughs> could you just no. go? Because I've got to get on. Um, thank you for joining Jenny and I so early. Don't forget, um, coming up for the rest of the day, we've got a Mandy Shaw Lisa Lamb sandwich. It's going to be really good fun. And oh, you're going to love the alphabet quilt that's coming on there. Um, I'll see you back here tomorrow. And Jenny, March the 20th. March the 20th on a Monday. With the next day FPP. Indeed. And the next animal. Some more surprises. Fantastic. Anyway, I'll see you very soon. Have fun with John and Mandy and Lisa now. And we'll just have a couple of minutes break. from So Pretty So Mindful. I'm just on to say a massive happy birthday to Sewing Street. You're three years old today. Yay! Hello everyone. It's Jane Greenoff wishing Sewing Street a very happy birthday. Have a lovely day everyone. Bye. Happy birthday, 
Stunning Street. How can it be the last day of the birthday week? It's Sunday and we have got such a show for you. We've got Lisa Lamb. We've got Jenny Jackson. And we've got Mandy Shaw, all with gorgeous, fantastic projects. Now, I have to tell you, it is also Cat Floor's birthday as well. She's 21, but she's not coming to work. I'll see you. Stop laughing, Alan. I'll see you on Sunday. Might be a bit tired, but I'll see you on Sunday. Hi Sewing Street, it's Emma here from Studio 77. Just wanted to pop on and wish you all a very happy third birthday. Many congratulations and I'm looking forward to seeing you all soon. Hi Sewing Street, happy birthday and I hope you have many more birthdays to come. Happy third birthday Sewing Street. Enjoy your celebrations and see you soon. Lots of love from me, Chrissy, and all at Collet UK. And of course, my email. This Thursday, the 2nd of March, is our sister channel, Hobby Makers, first birthday. And because of that, they're taking over the airways. So Sewing Street won't be on. But don't worry, on Wednesday, the 1st of March, we've packed twice as much into our hours, so you won't miss out. Adam Brooks is going to be there doing some amazing demonstrations. Your favorite products will still be there. So we will see you for a bumper day on Wednesday Wednesday the 1st and on Thursday we'll hand over the hours to Hobby Maker to celebrate their first birthday. Don't miss either of them, we'll see you there. Hello, I'm Emma Bradford from the Swift Quilting Company. I've been a quilter for 25 years. I began sewing and quilting by hand, but now I offer long arm quilting services and I run patchwork and quilting classes. You can see me regularly on Sewing Street demonstrating patchwork techniques. My top tip is there is no right or wrong way, only the way that works for you. There is no such thing as the quilting police. Outside of quilting, I am a qualified botanist and I enjoy riding my motorbike around the country. I hope to see you soon on Sewing Street. of Sewing Street, why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! For ideas for the perfect gift, why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping. We're back, she's making lots of noise, but we're back, we're back, we're back. Say hello to everyone. Hi ladies, hi. There, there she is. Yes, yes. There you go. Uh, now, if you weren't round at seven o'clock, where were you? Me and Mandy did our first show at seven o'clock this morning. Now you've got me, <coughs> oh, excuse me, you've got me, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve, no, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 
Yeah, five more hours. So it's got Mandy, Lisa, Mandy, Lisa. Four more hours, four more hours. Four. So let's get straight on with it. Now, if you missed the seven, everything of Mandy's is on pre-order, but also all the things we did at seven o'clock are on show deals now, show deals now. So please, please, please go and have a look at those if you don't. I'll bring some of them back during this hour, but just in case you weren't here, uh, you can go and have a look at what they've got. Now, the thing about pre-order is they're not all together. They've all come up all random all over the place. So you do need to scan all the way through the whole of pre-order. Right. Oh, hang on. Ready. Your mic, where's your microphone gone? Oh, it's hanging. Oh, yeah. it's got time in it. There it is. No, there it is. Look, it's just hanging. But Becky, sort that out while I go through what's here then. Okay, right. So, uh, the first thing I'm going to show you is this the alphabet quilt. Now, Mandy put this on her Facebook page this week or on her social medias. It is gorgeous. Now, this is for the whole kit £100 for the whole kit. Uh, so there's the web image of it hanging in a tree. I've got it hanging here, but you've got to wait for Mandy. Oh, no, don't come sh cut now. Mandy's got her, her skirt lifted above her head at the moment. Anyway, what you get here is you get this huge, huge, huge bundle of gorgeousness, right? So there's instructions all about what the letters represent and everything. And then these are all transfers. Now, the transfers you can use up to six times. So you, once you've made the quilt, you can then make another quilt or you can use them to make a bunting. You can do whatever you want with them, basically. Look, there's all the different letters. U from picker, T for tape, R for rotary cutter. Beautiful. Uh, you can do cushions for your workroom or anything like that. That is just stunning. So that is the instructions. Then inside the bundle, what you get in here. Oh, oh look how much, oh, you get so much in here. Look at all this thread, first of all. Look at all that thread. Beautiful. You get all of that. Then you get these fabrics. Now, these are all Mandy's very own designed fabrics. They are indeed. <laughs> they are. In is that one yours as well? I've not uh, seen yeah, that. Yeah, they all are. So there's one dot that's not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I didn't recognise yeah. that one. Yes. Anyway, so you get all of those fabrics for all of your applique for your letters and things like that. Then you also get your red. Oh, that's nice. Well, that's, that's the Macau. Macau, yeah. that's beautiful, yeah. isn't it? Macau red. Yeah. yeah. So that'll be for some of your sashing. And, oh, no, the they're back. for your letters, are they? Uh, that's for your letters. So that's, that's for your letters, letters, yes, letters yes, yes. yes. All What's those, all the other fabric for, then? All the other fabrics are for the backing, and I'll explain. Oh, yes, yes, yes. oh, oh. it's, it's quilt as you go. Hang on, hang on, then. So you get your backing. Yeah, look. Oh, oh, my word. So you don't need to buy any backing. You do not need to buy any backing. <coughs> Excuse me. This is what happens when you have an hour off and you end up sitting chatting to Hannah and I've gone all froggy throaty. Right, so then you've got your calico. Is this calico? It is calico. Beautiful, Beautiful calico. calico. We love Beautiful this calico. Beautiful calico. Yeah. Then there. Oh! Loads of this. Now, is this bond web or heat and seal or something like uh, that? Yeah, it's, it's a but It's a yes. fixing. It's fixing. a fixer, yeah. right? So, right. So this is brilliant, right? For £100 on split pay, look, £50 twice, right? You don't have to buy any fabric for the back. The only thing you have to buy is the what? It's the wadding for the middle. Yeah. It's the wadding for the middle. No, no, the lights flashed at the same time as you were making that noise. Right, hundred pounds, hundred pounds, hundred pounds. Uh, let's have a look at the quilt. It's hanging on the wall. Yep. Oh, you can see it there. Yeah, hang Very on. We're just lovely. coming into it now. Yeah. yeah. So look, isn't it lovely? Look at that. All the letters and what they all mean. It was strange. Some of them, John, were very difficult to find a, a, a letter. Like, like what? Like X. So we called it cross, cross stitch. Cross stitch. Yeah, no, I think that's a good that's one. Right. And what about weaving? We don't normally weave when we no. sew, don't we? There was another couple that we were wobbled with. Um, oh, organise. Ah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, oh, uh, girth. Girth was very difficult. What, what is girth? It's, it's, it's gin cotton the cotton gin. gin the cotton gin which is the machine that invented um was invented to make cotton into fabric oh okay but not could, gin you were drinking in the no well you could have been that yeah. would be most appropriate for a quilters wouldn't it exactly <laughs> so for your 100 pounds you get all of your instructions all of your templates uh, iron on transfers everything you need your sealer your calico your macau red fabric your backing fabric and look how many of these you get a hundred pounds, a hundred pounds. Beautiful and really, really gorgeous. We're going to show you, we've we got a demo. No, yes, no we're going to do, yeah. oh, we've got a bit of yeah, demo for yeah, that. We're going yeah. to come to that later though. Yeah. But now if you're thinking, that's lovely, but I don't want it, I don't want it in red. I want it in different colours. You can buy the pattern on its own. The alphabet quilt. 
Thank you. Ignore that for now. Because, let me just hold this one up. For, oh, sorry. 20 pounds. Right, look. Oh, it looks nice. And he made this. Oh, did she? Yes, she did. Oh, her F's a bit wonky. Oh, is it? She's a bit wonky in parts. Gorgeous. So that, now, we haven't got the kit for that one. That's just an example if you want to do it in different colours and different fabrics and everything. <clears throat> so there you go. There's the pattern. 20 pounds. Now, look how many transfers you get in there. What, do you get 26 transfers? 26 transfers. 26 yes. transfers in you there. You can make your name. You could easily Well, yeah, you name. don't. And the thing is, you can use those six times. So you could then do a quilt with somebody's name on it. Yep. You could do whatever you want. Bunting really. with people's names on. Bunting with people's names on. And then you don't have to actually um, embroider machine. And you could write Mandy. You know what I mean? M for Mandy. Yeah. A for Andy. N for... Have you got an N in your family? Nerdy. Nerdy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, needy, no. needy. No, my new baby's called Nell. Oh, there you go. Yes, Nell, yes, Nell. Yeah. D for? Denny. Denny. And then Y? Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Youthful. <laughs> Youthful. Anyway, £20. £20. Oh, now we've got an image there. So Tracy in Suffolk sent in. Oh. Oh, of course, because it was the Secret Society group. Oh, yes, okay yes. then. Wait. Here it is. Where is it? Oh, stunning. Look, look. Oh, Very beautiful. Lovely. Who's that from, do you say? Tracy. Oh, no, she's, she's done this a bit different to yours. She did. She, she didn't. She, I think she's applied them to a background. She's applied Yeah, because look at yeah. T, U and Z are all on one. Yes, yes, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh very nice. Yeah, interesting. Yes, so you can do yes. what you want with it, really. Oh, absolutely. Anything goes, doesn't it, really? Yeah. You know. Anything goes. It's your quilt. You do it as you want. But if you want the pattern on your own, you can make it any colour you want. You can do rainbow or you can do it in lovely uh, rustic colours like you've Mandy, yeah. uh, Andy did on hers. £20, £20, £20. Right, what else have I got this out? Oh, this bag, this oh, bag, yes, this, this bag, bag, this bag, this bag. There's a demo on this coming up. <clears throat> now I've got the kit for the... Have you, oh, no, it's the weekend bag kit. It's got the pocket on the front, John, that's it. It's yeah, got a yeah. pocket on the front yeah. there. It's lovely, isn't it? It's gorgeous, right? So let me put that there. Oh, I'll go and stand next to her in a minute. Who said that? Oh, 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 oh Hayley. Hayley. Oh. Hayley, have you got those names for Ben yet? Yeah. Here you go, I'll go and stand next to Mandy then. Oh, what's that? What, what, what's up, darling? What's up? Oh, this is nice. Here we go then. This Let's put the nice. graphics in. 40, is that all it is? £42. Yes, it's... it's got I can't do it like that. You do that side and I'll do this side. <laughs> Just try to do it one-handed, Johnny. <laughs> you the this top? ain't working. There you go. Pull, pull, pull. <laughs> pull the bag. Well, oh. why is she lonely? She thinks we're lonely, does she? No, she thinks we look lovely together, that's oh, all. Right, okay. right, we'll do this then. Go like that, go sideways oh, yeah. like that. That's it, that's it. So here you go. Right, so <laughs> let's get it in the right place. Oh, hang on, look, let's get it in the right place. So, instructions for the weekend bag. What smells like Yeah, move your iron. Yeah. Uh, calico, gorgeous. Oh, I love this fabric. What's this? Oh, isn't it stunning? It's 100% linen. It's an upholstery weight fabric. Oh, it's, but beautiful. it's beautiful. Oh, yeah, sorry, I just nudged yeah. your booby then. Oh, did you? Did you, <laughs> oh, did you, did you, did you, you know, notice? No, no, no oh, okay. it's so firm and solid. Oh, that's good. Yeah, Madonna. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Uh, then, so I've done, oh, hang on. That's mine. No, that's yours, that's <laughs> mine. Then in here, oh, this is where it gets pricey. <laughs> right, here, yeah, so look. Try not to lose anything. Yeah. So, Rick Rack. Rick Rack. Big yes. from France. Yes. Bias binding. Oh, sorry, let me move oh, that later. Bias binding. That's for lining the inside. That's yeah. Later. Then I've got uh, webbing. That, Beautiful that, yeah, webbing. Stunning, stunning. It's from France. France? Yes, yes. Then you've got another bit different trim. kind of webbing. Trim. 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 France. Then you've got uh, rustic, uh, um, what's they called? Mag Magnet. Magnetic snaps. China. They're from China, yeah. thank you. <laughs> well, no, we're honest, aren't yeah, we? Yeah. And then a lovely taupe zip with a zip pull. Industrial, industrial weight, yes. Industrial yes, weight yes. zip with a zip pull. I'm going to show how to do that later. <clears throat> Brilliant. So all of that, it's only £42. You just need to use your wadding. And I'm still thinking that wadding scraps would work wonderful in and this. And what kind yeah. of wadding did well, you actually, say? Well, actually, did you say 860 earlier on? Which no, I said 8640. 640. So the iron-on bits of wadding work really well. 8640, yes. yeah. 8, but 6, you 40. could use any wadding and use spray adhesive. Oh, okay, perfect, wadding, yeah. perfect. Or even pounds? foam interfacing, but it makes a firmer, firmer bag. Oh, like a bosal. Yes, but we were th looking for a bit of a more soft Yes, feel. yeah. If you did bosal, it would be more like a little vanity case, yes, wouldn't yes, it? Whereas yes, the yes. 8640 will just give it that lovely yeah. bit of body. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm going back over here for a minute because I've got to reach. Re yeah. oh. 
I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Right, so that, 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 that. We've also got uh, Home is Where the Heart is duo of purses. It actually makes three purses. Oh, it where's the third one then? Well, it's oh, yeah, three. Yes, oh, yes. there's duo. Oh, it says there's pictures of three. It actually makes three. But you oh, okay. So you make that yeah. one, yeah. you make that one, and then you make a middle sized yeah. version yeah. of yeah. that. Yeah. So is that FPP? Yeah, no, 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 that's uh, that's foundation. Yeah, foundation paper. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry, I thought you meant over papers. E -P -P. No, e -P -P. no, no, no. Yeah, so yeah. that's foundation yeah, yeah. paper, very simple foundation paper piecing. Plus your little red work there, and there's another one you can yeah. make in there. And you get all your fabric, look. Yeah. So you get your zip, you get your denim, you get your red white spot on red, you get um, a ribbon, embroidery thread, and then your wool felt for the heart. You get stripes. Oh, what are the stripes for? The door, door, the door, door. Yeah. and then you get the gold for the house. Beautiful, twenty-five ninety-nine. You can make three, make three. What lovely, what lovely gifts they'd make. And and these purses are well made. Do you see that, John? You're looking <laughs> They're well small. made, are they? Meaning, look, we've we've gone to uh, quite a lot of. Um, so the technique is very good. So you get a good-looking purse. Oh right, see yes, what you mean. Yeah, what I mean. So got, Fully lined. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. So yours will be lined in red spot then, is that what you're saying? Yes, it is? yes, yeah. indeed. Yes. These are my own personal purses. Oh, I'll, I'll better yeah. not open it then. You can, but I don't know what's in there. What's, what's in there, John? Some Panadol. Yeah, some headache pills. Yes. There's Lipstick. some sort of mirror. Oh, we're going to show the latest mirror because that's very nice. It's yeah, we haven't got it for sale to. <laughs> no, oh, no, sorry, no, put it back in. Quick. Put it away. <laughs> uh, I won't show you what else no, is no. in there. There's a ring. Your wedding ring's here. Oh, it's broken. Look. Oh, oh yeah. no. And then. Oh, that's what, headaches. Oh, is that a headache pill as well? <laughs> Anyway, $25.99. Three purses you can make out of that $25.99. Right, now, exciting, exciting, exciting. We've got Mandy Shaw panels. Right, we've got Mandy Shaw panels. So this one, first of all, is the big panel. Yep. We're wait, making room pardon, for new pardon. fabric to arrive. You're making what? We're making room for new fabric. Oh, look. New Christmas fabric. Eight pounds this is. Now, yeah. now the first thing you're going to notice when you open your box, when you get Mandy Fabric Home, this quality oh, yes, yeah, of this yeah, cotton yeah. is sublime. It's, it's Henry beautiful. Glass. That, is, that yes. is a good fabric, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So there you go. Yeah. So now this is a look. panel, right? Yeah. yeah. You could make that into a quilt. So you just need some extra fabric to go around the edge of uh, any sort. Look. Yeah. It's a lap, a little lap quilt. Yeah. A little but that quilt. with no piecing or no, 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 stitching. no, no, no stitching. So have you stitched over anything? No, it's literally just yeah. a. Um, it's actually it's strange. I had that machine quilted Mel, our lovely Mel, yeah, yeah, machine yeah. quilted that. But I had meant to hand stitch over the design myself. I didn't have the time. Oh, okay. And it would okay. look stunning. Oh, hello. If you hand stitch. Hello. Never done this before. Hang on. Let me oh, move. I've never had a split oh, screen before. Hi. Hello. If you're I go you're like hocking, that, you're hocking. You see, do you do that, John? Do that and hold hands. Go back and forth, down a bit, up a bit. <laughs> South Bank show. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I've never done this before. There you go. Eight pounds. The panel is eight pounds. Now, this is really. Shall I tell you something really bad about the panel as well? Very, oh. very good, bad, good, bad. Good, bad. So of course it's a panel. Okay. Yeah. So it's made, but you could chop the panel up. Oh! So you could cut off all the borders and yeah. then you've got border strips. Right. You cut the shapes outside and you'll see the cushion. Or you won't see it on um, this the cushion. You, you, uh, well, this is part of the other one. But you oh, could okay. actually make a hanging heart out of the large heart. Oh, yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. yes. So look, look, you look, look, make, look. You make a hanging yeah. heart out of that bit And then there. you could actually, the little weenie heart motifs on the side here, the little red ones, you could actually applique them. So if you don't want to use it as a panel, you could use it as a motif sample. Yeah, but also, I'd cut those out a little bit bigger. Yep. And hang them from my feng shui tree. Absolutely. It's, so there's. So I've actually. Seems a shame to cut stuff though. It, it does, but just in case you're thinking it's a bargain, it's a nice. We can buy two. Thing. Yeah. Buy two. Um, I and also you. You'll see later on what I've done with them. Yeah. You'll see. It's very quite exciting. Right. Oh, okay. So that they're they're from the other panel, they're, aren't they? They're from the other right. panel. But so yeah. that panel is the big panel, yeah. right? But we also have the panel. Don't worry, Ollie. Don't worry. It's nice to see different things. Are you out of order? Huh? Is he upset? No, no, because he said it's there. I should use it. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Right. There you go. This is the small square one. So this could be potentially made into uh, 
eight cushions, yeah. a quilt. You could use them as quilt blocks. This is about could, to sell out, by the way. Or you could cut them up and use them. Look, there's a hanging heart there. Look, you see the one? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Okay, so if you yeah. use this one here, yeah. that one there, right, you could make this. Right, and then what have, what have you used Keep here? looking, yeah, look at their little, uh, little place Life mat. is sweet, where's that life one? Sweet, there's there's yes, Life is yes, Sweet yes. at the bottom there. Okay, you can make this. There's two left. There's, oh, it's about to sell out, so I'm not oh, carrying okay. on with that oh. one. About oh. to sell out, that one. That one's finished with. Uh, that's, now, that's it for yes. new projects this yes, hour. Yeah, yeah. So shall we do a demo on the... What are you ready to do a demo on? I, I'm ready to do a demo on the bag or the quilt. Let's do the bag first. Let's, Let's do, the do the bag first. first. Yeah, right. So the bag yeah. is the kit here. Yep. So what you get is you get your beautiful 100% linen, you get your calico, you get your industrial zip, you get all your rick rack, you all, in fact, you get every, so do I, need to, do I need anything else apart from H640? No, no, nothing. And I, I'm thinking you should be recycling your, your squares of wadding. This is yes, the ideal yes, yes, thing yes, yes, to yes, do, yes, yes. it's the perfect bag to do that. Brilliant, right, okay, okay then, right, you get on with that right. then. Okay, so let me just tell you some little tips, and you might be crossing me about this, is that um, I, uh, I, the, I have quilted the fabric before I started. Right. So what I did is, this is really naughty, but because I've obviously rushed off my feet and things, I asked Mel if she would long arm quilt this piece of fabric. Right. So she, Mel got a big piece of fabric and quilt it. So if you've got a long arm quilter or you've got or you've got a big machine and you want to quilt it in strips, just strips, yeah, just yeah, free yeah. strips, it makes your life much, much easier, right. well easier. And I had Mel at hand and she, you know, that was lovely to do. But so when I came to make the samples I'm showing you now, I had to do it by myself. I did each individual bit and it didn't take two seconds anyway. Okay, so brilliant. So it, it was quite convenient. Lovely. But we love that look. We love that quilted look. Look, I use, we use calico as a lining, wadding in the middle. It can be any wadding. I love you to use up your Okay, so do we make this, is it one big piece? Well, it was what Mel did for me. So if you've got, if you're a long, if you've got a long arm quilter in the village, give your fabric and the calico to the long arm quilter. Right. And she'll come back with a big piece of fabric oh, and you just chop it up. Oh, I see. So basically you've put the linen the wadding and the calico yep. all together yep. and quilted the whole yep. thing yep. and then you cut out yep. any pieces yep. you but need from that. That would be too much for us to do, um, I think. On, on a, a domestic? Or, or, we, we, you can do it, but so, so for it's me... It's straight lines. I know, but it's quite, it's quite a long length. So for what I did when I made it up again, I cut the pattern pieces out and just quickly did the individual bits and that was very lovely it was no problem at all Brilliant. doing the whole sheet would be a bit daunting but it's uh, it's viable and it's a good fix if you've got a long arm quilt yeah okay so what so that's that was and i use old wadding you can't even see there but i've okay. got lots of different are you standing things. with your tummy on the mark yeah there you go perfect <laughs> tummy, Ollie was just a little tummy bit pokes concerned. the mark before anything else uh, uh, mm. so anyway so what i want to show you this is um the the quilt the bags put together very nicely in squares right. so there's no problem with curves and things that's that's easy that's easy but we've got some little decorativeness that is very lovely to show you right. just to take it down so um when we use rickrack, we use it in different lots of applications in mandy's work my work i love doing using it but there's things you must do now watch this okay this with this kit you get this wide rickrack so if you put the uh, rickrack to the edge of the work and you sew through the middle that's sort of I've sewn it in that color for you to see that will keep your um, rickrack in place beautifully and and it, it will give you a little guideline so that when you put your binding on you've got just the hump showing right which is really I'm nice. just gonna stop you yeah. one second because we haven't done the, or the, the main, I've just got to do yeah. uh, some homework. If you buy today, if you buy from the show today, right? If you buy from the show today, your name will go in a virtual hat. Now, the amount of things you buy, if you buy 20 things today, your name goes in 20 times. Look what the prize is. Look what the prize is. It is a brother sewing machine, oh a creative grid ruler, Liberty Rainbow Fat Quarter, an Eclipse ring lamp. Oh All of that. One of you will win that tomorrow. At 10 o'clock tomorrow, they will announce who's won it today. At 10 o'clock today, I'm going to be announcing yesterday's winner. But if you don't buy from us and you buy off the website, right, you buy from the web shop, three of you, three of you, wait till you see this. Th three of you, Watch this. Three of you. Yep. Yeah. Sorry about this. 
Basically, you put £150 worth of a credit. Three of you will win £150 worth of credit to go onto your account. Sorry, we should have done that right at the beginning, so people were asking. And at 10 o'clock today, we'll announce the two winners of yesterday and the day before. Right, sorry, Mandy, carry a on. Second. So, so this is how you put rickrack on in an edge. You, you're going to put, put the humps to the rickrack, humps to the rickrack to the edge, sew through the middle. That sewing line is a tacking line. Right. Just to hold it in place. Yep. That there is not on your piece of work. That's just me demonstrating, okay? And then what you're going to do is, we, we've got some lovely binding in your kits for you. You are just going to, let me just show you. Put the binding over the top of your rick rack, fold it under, give it a, a wonder clip. That's they're very gorgeous with zippy making things. And you are going to stitch on this line. Right. You're going to stitch, and that will take you right through to the back, and it will even take you over the back. Right. We don't mind that because you hardly see that is yep. inside. Okay. So that's looking very lovely. I've just left that open there for you to see. So you just literally. Put it over the top now this is interesting watch this space the next little saga is this on this piece of the bag which is the top of the bag you're, yeah. you're stitching down here you need to um mitre that corner right so what we're going to do um, because that edge you'll see in a second you go right to the end you sew right to the end on the machine you sew right to the end okay and then you take it out of the machine machine completely and open out your binding look yeah and fold it over and it mitres it. Oh, wow. I'll do that again for you so you can see again. It's clever, isn't it? But that creates a very, show them on the bag, John, where the, what I'm doing. There you go, you have Oh, answer. sorry, darling. Yeah, this is the way. I just want to show you what I'm doing. It's, it's this bit here. Hang on, just hold that for Becky. She's going to have a look at it now. That bit there. Perfectly mitered, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. And so I'll show that to you again, okay? So you're going to sew down your binding. You only need to mitre both ends both ends not the other side yeah, yeah. So one two end. and this is how it works you just fold the binding in half you I want to clip it on beautifully I sew right down to the end so that's the other thing I'm not stopping a quarter of an inch or anything I'm sewing right down to the end pretend that's a sewing line and then you take it away from the machine and then turn it round and just open so it out so clever and so simple and just plop it back over yeah. it, it tends to go beautifully in together and that's why we've got your binding a wide binding wider than normal so that we we cover all eventualities yeah and there you are look okay so you're going to sew down here and actually I sewed zut zut as well you sold the, the mitre as well yeah I did yeah. actually sew zut zut so that's Brilliant. the two tops lovely so those two tops will, ha will house the zip in a minute lovely okay right we've got continuous zips on this baby girl show here and what we want to do is um, just join it with a zipper yes okay so you just open out a little bit cut off some of the teeth cut off some of the, the oh you actually cut off the teeth some metal teeth oh oh they're not metal uh, no they're not metal yeah you can say those uh, scissors went through that quickly. Yeah, it was no. metal. Uh, you can um we're lucky because it's plastic but then um, and you're just going to do this watch you are going to um put your your little zipper on one side yeah. that goes on easily where you've chopped off an inch yeah. half an inch put your teeth inside the zipper right hold the two together oops oh here we go here we go live tv hey Ooh. and there you are it's joined brilliant so i should do that once more are they okay with that john no you're all right with that you're one okay. uh, now, Patricia says, Mandy, it's lovely to see you. Crazy Rain said, it's fabulous to see you, Mandy. Julie says, how lovely Mandy's in. Uh, Pam Minihani says, thank you, Sewing Street, for a wonderful week. Jan says, Mandy, morning, love you. Low Reed says, morning, John, morning. and the very lovely and talented Mandy. Love you too. Uh, Pauline <laughs> says, uh, a bit, yeah, there is a, Pauline, I've just done that. There, you can, there is a web shop today. She's off to see her dad because it's her birthday, his birthday. Oh, right. right. Okay, so now to, to make the bag beautifully and things before we put it together, you're going to put a bit of uh, tape on the end right. as a stopper. And this is, I'll just demonstrate it with this piece here. This right, is what right. I do, watch. This is what I do. I will trim that off nicely with my best scissors. I'll just trim that all off nicely. This is uh, you. There will be. There is a precise measurement, but yeah. you don't have to worry about that precise. So measurement. what you're using bias binding at your I'm end? I'm using bias binding because 
um, and it's a, it is you have it in your kit. It's the same bias binding as you have in your kit. Oh, okay, but okay. It's, but it's just that um, I haven't got this red. Oh no, so the, yeah. you do it in red in yours. Yes, in, yes, yeah, you'll yeah, do it in yeah, red yeah, in yours. And you're just going to fold it around your zipper, yeah. and you are going to um, sew down that line. You're going to sew down that line, and then you've got a little a little cuff that you can turn inside out and place over the top. Perfect. And that's, that just makes a really nice finish. Zip end, yeah. And you're going to put a magnet on that side. Oh, are you? A little magnet, because it magnets down. Do you see that, John? It's very Look, nice. I'll do it on my side, yes, this one. Yeah, yeah. Look. No, no, I'm doing it from upstairs. Sorry, I'll do it from upstairs. So oh, sorry, Ollie. Can you see? And look, that just look, look, hang gives on, hang the bag on. Oh, hang, nice where are you shape? going to? Yeah. Hang on, we're not doing the overhead, we're doing the side here. Look. So you get a magnet there and a magnet on the end of the zip there. And that just creates a very nice little shape. Beautiful. So that's, 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 the, that's, that's the bit that you need me for. That's yep. great. We've done that. And, it's, and the zip will be sewn in. Oh, so when they put the zip in, this is, easy. This is the best bit. When you put the zip, you've prepared all these sides and you okay, put the zip in. Okay, move back to your dot. There your will dot. always be an overhang here. Yep. Overhang here. You, um, you all worry about zips, but because you've got the big chunky zipper and you've got the bound edge, they, yep. they sit together beautifully. Just put a few pins in and with a zipper foot, just sew down this edge down here. the edge and it, and it honestly it so doesn't that's it because you've got two finished edges you don't have to worry about turning through no, anything nothing. like you it's, literally top yeah. stitch and into it's place. so easy you'll, you'll love i yeah. make most of my zips like that yeah and then i just for decorativeness i then sew on there again right and it holds the uh, the other lining in there Brilliant. so that's all beautiful fantastic and, and it, honestly that's easy and the other thing to say to you is when you come to put the bag handle on there is a measurement and a there will be a a diagram and things for the distance and things but um, you are going to have the bag handle going up and down but with a spare bit you've got left and you must cut it accurately to the cutting plan because yep. it's pretty yep. tight mm -hmm. um, you have some spare bits left you can use put a little pocket and you'll put it between the two handles right so you'll make it the same way as oh you so you that. cover the raw edges the raw edges with are the webbing there. Yeah. and that other spare piece of webbing will be at the bottom of the bag just for decorative so you've Perfect. got and you should you might have another another piece to enough to do the other side right you might just have that. Yeah. So that's all easy. It, the bag goes together beautifully, but you're left inside with um, raw edges. Raw edges. So what we do, we've got some narrower binding in the in the kit, but I've just got some here. When you come to sew the bits together, you are going to be sewing with binding on each seam. Oh, good. Show the girls. Now you can do it on yeah, your side. Yes. So you're going to bind all the seams. You don't have to do them ever so neatly. Um, <laughs> well, well, meaning I did it with the machine. Yeah, yeah, so okay, yeah. But if you want to hand whip it on, you could do it. You can. Okay, so yeah. I, I, yes, you can. I didn't. I did I did the top edge because yeah. it's going to look really nice when you open the bag. But the inside edges, I didn't. They're going to take a bashing as well, though, with you pushing yes, things yeah. in and pushing uh, things if out. If you didn't want to put the bind, you could do a zigzag. I was zigzag yes. or, or overlock, <laughs> overlock it, but it just makes a, a lovely finished inside. No, I think, yes, I yes. think, no, no, I please do not do a zigzag inside. Oh, that's good. This is yeah. me. This is me, right? Because look how gorgeous that looks, just with that binding in there. I think, I think a zigzag. Yeah, really? but yes, you can yeah, do yeah, a zigzag yeah, or an yeah. overlock. You want to, but I just think you've put the binding in there. Yeah. Use it yeah, because yeah, it looks yeah. so gorgeous, doesn't it? Yeah. So that's the bag kit, forty-two pounds. Yeah, that's let me the just bag put, kit. Let me just put that back in there. Got to move on to the quilt in a second. Mm -hmm. well, I've got good right, instructions okay. for that. Put that back up there. Yeah. Right, I'll just re. I knew I was going to do that. Delayed mm -hmm. reaction. Mm -hmm. Do you see Stuart yesterday tried to kill me yesterday? Ooh. He threw, took something off the shelf and the whole painting, Delphine's painting. Got you. Oh, you didn't tell me. You wasn't. It wasn't that. No, it wasn't that, yes, but that's yes. quite good. That's quite You're good. You're so dramatic, too. John. That's quite good. That was the yeah. cat. But anyway, right, right, right. Look, 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 look. So the kit, there's only 20 left, and it's half past, and there's 34 in baskets, right? So you get instructions. Oh, there we go, Ollie. Thank you. Ollie, Ollie. I just want to say, you do a brilliant job, so don't beat yourself up about it. Ollie works next door, right? And he just comes in to help and cover sometimes. He's a brilliant director. He's a brilliant director. And he got all upset because he couldn't find the upstairs camera and he couldn't find the slide for £150. And I just want to say, he does a brilliant job and you shouldn't beat yourself up about it. Oh, no, don't. don't, don't. And he's a good... And I, I'm not going to go into his personal details, but he's a good man. He's a really, really, really good... He's lovely, isn't he? He's oh, a we good, love he's him. A I don't know who he is, but he's, he's Oh, no, he's, I'll tell you later. He's a good he's man. He's a lovely he's man. He's a good man. Right, OK, so you get the linen... 
which I adore. I absolutely yeah. love that. It, that's that make a lovely shirt. I know it's kind of it's it's, it's like, it would do, wouldn't it? It's make, white, light enough, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. Anyway, so you get that, which is going to be easy to sew as well. You get your calico for your lining. You get your instructions. You get your zip, and then in here you get all the sort all the stuff you just saw, Mandy. The rick rack, the bar, the webbing, the magnet. Where's the other magnetic fastener? That there's one on the zip. One either side. Oh, one either one side of the zip. Yeah. Brilliant. And you get the uh, the uh, the pull the the. the Slider for the zip, the slider for the zip as well there. All of that for £42. Please be careful, way too many people have got that in their basket than we've got stock of. Before I go on to the quilt, I just want to remind you about the uh, trio. <coughs> it's called duo, but you can make three. The trio of purses here. £25.99. Uh, uh, yeah, £25.99. £25 Beautiful. And the panel, now one panel sold out. Oh, both of them sold out now. Both of them are sold out now. Oh. So that goes there, that goes there. Right, now let's go then to the quilt. Okay, oh, pattern on its own first. If you want to do the pattern on its own, you get all of, you get 26 um, iron-on transfers, which you can use up to six times. What, there's 26 letters in the alphabet, aren't there? <laughs> oh, and there's 26 patterns left. That's weird, isn't it? Number what's oh, it? And how many oh. baskets? 26? Oh, 37. Oh, yes. 37. I still have a number 37. This is well. the first time we've ever launched this. We, it's been dormant for over a year. Because your secret society have seen yes, it before, yes, yeah, but nobody yeah, else has, nobody seen, it has seen it before. Yeah. Okay, so that's a pattern on its own. There's 37 of you got in the baskets. Right, and let me just show you very quickly. This was one that Andy made in different kinds of fabrics. It's lovely, it's really lovely. Right now, it's now now it's a. I, I, we haven't told them the secret yet, have we? That's big, of how you make it because no, because it's it's, it's, it's yes. just 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 yes. Cheers, woo, 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 woo. <laughs> so the pattern will sell out uh, now. If you want the bundle, the bundle is hundred pounds. You don't need to buy anything apart from the wadding, and. You could use your scraps of wadding for this. Yes. Oh, no, absolutely. That's another thing. Yes, yes. I'm into being frugal. Use your scraps. Use, use your scraps. Scrap. <clears throat> yeah. So, you know, when you bought your half meters of wadding or whatever, or you've bought like uh, one that's a king size or a queen size, and you've got the bits left from the side, because you're not going, you're not doing it, you're not doing it like a, like a normal quilt. You're not making a top and a bottom and a sandwich, are you? No, it's quilt as you go. Quilt as you go. Oh, so, oh. in the kit, you get the, all the instructions and all the templates, right? Right, hang on, where are we up to? So many in baskets. Well, we're going to show you how to make it now because it's so easy, right? So you look at all of these you get, first of all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, is it? Yeah, yeah. Fourteen of those to start with. So now you see this fabric here. This is all Mandy Shaw's designed fabric, right? All of, one of them isn't hers. That, that one. That yeah, one's not yeah. hers, but these are all hers, right? They're not even for the front of the quilt. They're the back of the quilt. That's the back of the quilt, right? And then the front of the quilt is this gorgeous Macau red. Um, it linen it's called linen texture, this one, isn't it? Yes, but it's it not is, linen, yeah. right? Then you've also got your calico. Then you've also got, it's not Bonder Web, but it's a fusible. You're yeah. going to see Mandy Fusalite, in a second. Fusalite, it's called Fusalite. So all of that for £100. Now, there are so many people got it in their baskets. Ben was like, oh, we've got loads of these. We'll be fine with these. Please be careful because there's so many people got them in their baskets. Right, OK. So Mandy's now going to show you how to make a letter. Uh, pass me a little letter, Danny. I'm, I'm oh, OK. You want yes, a letter yes, to? Yes, I'm on transfer. OK, what letter do you want? Um, should we have John? John? Oh, no, we're not. We're going for B for Ben. Oh, but, oh, yeah, that's yeah, nice. Yes, it, it or we should yes. do O for Ollie, really. Or yeah. Becky, or yeah. Becky. Oh, yeah. Hang on a second oh, then. Well, they feel so jealous. all of the blocks are different sizes. Aren't they? Oh, they're not even in alphabetical order. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, there, no, no, there, go, there go again. Is. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Right. Hold the line, caller. B for buttons. There you right. go. Perfect. Well, that's it. Oh, yeah. now you'll remember that you've used that one, won't you? Yes, yes, because that's my sample one. Oh, okay, that's fine, yes. that's fine. Right, okay, so this, this is, these are just delicious. Um, um, they're just delicious. They are quilt as you go. They will have a backing on as you've, um, once you've finished the embroidery and the applique. Um, but it's even easier than that. You are going to trace your uh, letters from your iron-on transfer. You're going to trace your letters from your iron-on transfer onto fusible webbing in a second and you're just going to place your um, 
template down uh make sure it's so make sure it's not skew if you woo to the fabric grain yeah so that's a good thing Have you cut say. the piece big enough yeah just just <laughs> I was using scraps, John. I now, is your iron hot enough this time? Uh, hopefully, my iron's Why haven't you put the pins in this time? I, I, I didn't. <laughs> Honestly. So I will show you that. At 7 o'clock, we did a demo of this, and yeah. it was like, you put the pins in, you never do this, you never lift yeah. it up, you never do that. Now she's just... Sorry. So you would put the pins in, but I'm, pr I'm pressing it quite well. Look, I'm just yeah. checking all the time. Before I lift up, I just check that. When she gorgeous. says before she lifts up, she lifts up the corner. She, Mandy lifts yeah. up the yeah. corner to check, but you don't take the whole transfer off. No, you never take the transfer until off. Until you really... Yeah, finished. You, you, you won't do that. I don't need that for a while. I'll put that downstairs because um, that gets in my way. So, so I've transferred the design on. You're going to trace the um, the uh, the letter onto your fusible webbing. Onto your fusible. You've got yeah, fusible webbing there. Yeah, that as well. Yeah, I don't need that here, but you've onto your fusible webbing. Yeah. There's lots of instructions for that. Yeah. And then you are going to uh, applique your letter over that. That's nice. Oh, oh so you're going right. to applique it over that. So when you cut out your um, fusible webbing, you make sure you cut it on the outside of the line. Yes. So it's yes. a little bit bigger. Then yeah. you applique that down. Because that B won't, that B doesn't disappear, does no, it? That, no, no, So you no, want, no. don't want yeah, it yeah. smaller because you'll no. see the line. Yeah. yeah. So you just make sure you cut them a little bit bigger. And we've given you plenty of fabric. So if you do make the odd mistake, you can go back and have yeah. some more. Yeah. And then we've actually, um, I've actually here um, appliqued this on with machine blanket stitch right uh, but you can do it with hand stitch and that's why you've got all the lovely threads oh okay no I'd machine that on yeah, machine yeah, that. Yeah. and so um, I what I did also do use is the wool thread on the machine right uh, the wool lana or the orifil right. lana yeah. and I put a 16 needle in and reduce my tension slightly. And what do you put in the bobbin? I put ordinary thread in the bobbin. Right, okay. Ordinary thread. But make sure colour matches. Yes. Yeah, colour yeah. matches. But um, that's quite a little, sort of little We don't practice. sell that wool thread, but you do, do you? Yes, we, yeah, do, yeah. we do as well. But um, So you get a beautiful little shape. But um, if I'd had time, I would have done it by hand. But when we make the samples, we're rushing. Yeah, yeah of course. Um, and, and so then, then you put your wadding on the back. So your wadding must be consistent throughout the quilt. Right, so, you're using so, so you scraps. can use your scraps, but don't use polyester in one and 80-20 yeah, yeah. in another and no, bamboo in no, another. No, no. They all have to be the same. Yeah. And so you can embroider it beautifully. And then when you've finished embroidering, you can cut to the outside line. You can cut your shape to the outside line. Okay. So what'd that's... you say, Ben? Sorry, what'd you say? Okay, way too many people got in baskets. There's more people oh. going in baskets than we've got stock of. Please check out. Please check so, out. so that's what you will be finished with. You'll be applique letter, your little and the designs of that P sounds for patchwork and S sounds for snip snip and But you but, but but you can check now in here then yeah. are there are there oh look no, it's all you it's all on the it's all the letters are all on the um yeah, the transfer, transfer, aren't yes, they? Yeah. So you never have to worry about doing hand uh, like you have to write anything yourself. No, 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 nothing at all. And also, don't forget these work up to six times. So yes. if you've got, you you might want to just check cut the letters well, the out. Well, B. If, if I was making yeah. a quilt for Ben for his birthday, yeah. I just want B E yeah, 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 yeah. Just yeah. cut those little bits out and yeah. use those as transfers. Yeah, that's absolutely perfect. Brilliant. So, so that will be what you're finished with. Okay, that's what you're finished with. Yes. Okay, when you're, and then you can put the backing on it. Okay. Oh, okay. No, I thought you. Put, oh, okay. You're gonna put the backing on it. Now this is interesting. I always spray starch my backing. That's fine. We've <laughs> sold that <laughs> in yeah, birthday yeah. week, but, but spray. Best press, yes, yeah. yes, yeah. Um, and because you get a, a nice, a thick, um, a, a firmer feel. Right. And this, so you've got your block, your finished block. Yes. Yeah. You then get your piece of what, whatever of this you're using. You cut a square of your backing. Yeah. Yep. Spray best press on it to make yep, it. That, yep. But how have you attached it to? Right. The hang wadding? on a second. I, I, well, um, oh, aha. Uh -huh. Uh, I quilted through the wadding. Not wadding, not wadding, backing, sorry. How have you put oh, the, the oh, main... Oh, 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 wait, wait oh, for that, oh. wait for that. So just to say to you, when, when you're choosing your backings, you've got five backings to choose yeah. from. They, have to, they, ha they will, you have to make sure they don't touch each other. You don't have to, but you have to make sure that they're all... Different. Different. Yeah, so different, don't, yeah. S, S and T can't have yes, the same yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so what you do is this. Um, you turn it over, and it's, yeah. the measurements are all exact. They're all fine. You turn it over again. Oh, I see. And then you want to clip. You need one to clips, John. Yeah, got one to clips. What one to clips? Oh, they need one to clips. Now, I saw them on a trolley earlier. Oh, we love one. Oh, they're on 12 o'clock yeah. trolley. They're on the 12 o'clock yeah. trolley. Okay, perfect. Yes, please. Yes, okay. So you do that. You could give that a little press just to make sure, but as it's been spray starched in your life, um, it should be sharp anyway. You know, it should be loving sharp. Um, and then what you do this, watch this, and it works beautifully. You take that corner down. Brilliant. 
Yeah. Oh, look at that. Just love it. They take that corner down. Look, I'm just going to turn it. But I'll tell you what makes it even better is the quality of your fabric. Oh, gosh, And yes, if you tried yeah, to do this yeah. with an inferior quality yeah. fabric, it wouldn't do it, it as well. Do it. <coughs> okay. I've got a bag of 100 clips here. Ollie, upstairs. Oh, no, wrong one. Well, wrong clip, John, or wrong Ollie? What, what, no, uh, Ollie, <laughs> Ollie's looking for the camera. Oh. Aren't you, Ollie? Am I in the right place? Oh, he has to wait, place? he has to wait. Come on, time is money, Ollie. 14 99 for 100 clips. Millwood clips, 100 of them for 14 99 So, John, it's so exciting. Did you see what I did? No, do it again. Yeah, do it again. I love do it doing again. it again. Yeah. So you're going to... Oh, I'll do a whole thing again. You're going to roll... So I'm doing this really neatly as well. And finger That's pressing... You know, so too, you're the yeah, expert. Yeah, I'm the expert. Finger pressing, turn over. Yeah. OK. And it all matches beautifully. And the instructions are all there. So not to worry. That you're going to then turn this corner down. Yeah. Not, not too tight. Nice and loosely down. Yeah. Fold it over. Yeah. Get the old wonder clip in there just yeah. while it's staying. And then tuck. Oh, I'll have another little pin there, please, Mandy. Sure. And then what I'll do is we're going to tuck this under. Pin it. Yeah. And just take that clip out. Just tuck that one under. And then yeah. Go and look at that join. Hey, I'll just wonder clip it quickly. Look at that lovely join in there. Yeah. Look. Lovely. See? I'll put a pin through it. And you oh, you put do, a pin in now? Yeah, I, only just so you can see because the wonder clip holds it for Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. <gasps> see? And that's what happens. Lovely. And so I'm just going to quickly wonder clip that. And then what you do, you do it all four corners, okay? And then what we you, you do, you, you sew. This is a hand sewn. Yeah. Um, you sew uh, little weeny tiny running stitches along this edge. Along this edge. Right. Here. The whole, okay. Around the whole way. Around, around the, whole the whole thing. Way. Now, some people did it by machine and it was a bit distorty, a bit too tight. Oh, okay. Yeah, I did it all by hand. Did you? Yeah. Did I? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah. Did I? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Don't look too close. Yeah. yeah, I did. And I just think machine was too distorting. Yeah, yeah. I know what you so mean. No, you no. just, you up and down, up and down in through this edge Lovely. here. It holds it in place. So, so basically, you make all of the blood. So you could do A one week, B another week, C a yep. Wednesday night. Yep. You yep. can just make it yep. go because you're only ever working. The of biggest one square at time. is your R, isn't it? Yeah. That's the yeah. biggest square. Yeah. Now, before we go any further, as it's the week, birthday week, as it's birthday week and it's the last day of birthday week, we're going to do something very special. Not 14. Now, you're getting 100, remember? 100. And if you already checked out, don't worry, you pay the final price. 10.99. What's the matter? Okay, Wonder Clips are a brand. They're, I'll show you, I'll show you, I'll show you, show you. Okay, we always call them that though, don't we? Quilters Clips. Who Quilters said? Clips, yeah. Okay, they're not Wonder Clips, they're Quilters Clips. I don't know what the difference is. Beautiful, there you go. They are Quilters Clips. 100 at 10.99. Brilliant, right, carry on then, man. Right, so one lovely little thing to say to you then, you're gonna love this next bit, right. Okay, so that's all stitched down, so it's a lovely little project, folds away nicely in the, the, in the handbag, can't be put together until you've got the rest done. But when you do join them together, you're gonna to join them together with a, um, a stitch called glove stitch. Oh, oh, that was a close fit. <laughs> that was close. So we uh, hand sewn them together. Yeah. Oh, oh we're going to love this. Now, unfortunately, yeah. I have to pretend because I want to show you the difference. I have to pretend. Okay. Uh, okay, let me oh, show you. Oh, you did make one then, another one. Uh, well, um, no, no, I didn't. No, I John, know. I didn't. <laughs> it's not like you've had anything on, you know. Yeah, yeah. So let me just, so you're joining us, we're pretending we have got two yeah. wonderful little blocks made. And this stitch is just my favourite stitch. And it's actually a stitch used to make gloves. So if you've got um, old vintage gloves in your collection, um, you'll see that this stitch is on there. But why I love this stitch is because it, um, it joins the two together, but opens out and yeah. it lays flat. And it creates a nice effect on the back. Where's, where's Mandy, um, Andy's quilt? Here. I can show you the yeah. quilt stitch. Uh, Casey says, Mandy Shaw, this quilt has been my favourite ever quilt. I did it in navy. Oh, nice. And just said, love you two together. Always a joy. How did you get on the lottery, John? I did say, I, I got an email yesterday when he said, won the lottery, right? And yeah. if, I was, if it was millions, I wouldn't be in today. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Five I pounds. won. 
Seven pound forty. Oh, I know, I know, John. I don't so know. So Stuart wanted a house in Spain. Wanted me to buy my house in Spain. He's not getting that. I texted him saying seven pound forty doesn't buy a house in Spain. He was like, "What are you talking about?" He's forgotten <laughs> completely about what we said. Um, so let me just show out you. of sight, out of mind. Oh, yes. so, so Andy's done it here. Look, I don't know if you can see the stitch. Can we see that, Ollie? Can you see? But I'm going to show you anyway. Yeah. It's got a, it's got a strange. It'll have a strange shape to the stitch, but you'll you'll, you'll love it. Yeah. I, lo I love yeah. it. Right, can we see we it from the front or only at the back? Oh. Then? Well, you will see it from the front. But you'll see it's a little weeny dot potentially, oh, wow. which is quite nice as well. I, you, you can actually see little dots in there yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's lovely. So I'm I'm off. Ready for this, guys? Yeah, go on. Right. So two squares right sides together. We're doing it from the back. Cast on embroidery thread, and you're going to do um, two stitches on top of each other. One, two. I love this needle, I love this thread, love this stitch. Then I'm going to move on to the next stitch, about a quarter of an inch away. So it doesn't have to be too close, or a little bit close. One, two. So that's all it is. But that, that movement there gives it an overhang. So I'm just catching the top of the, um, the very top of the, uh, the fold. Right. So unfortunately I've done it in the right colour, so you can't see it. Can't see it, it yeah. yeah. The, so yeah, because that looks like handmade gloves up the fingers, yes, isn't it? Yes, it does, it, it does, yeah. John. So can we see it closer? Can we get in there closer? I think he's very, very close oh, already. Oh, let me, let, oh is he, is he, oh he's is, coming is, even closer oh, now. Oh, watch this. I'll do it on here then. I'll just show you on here. <coughs> okay. So you can see this is good. This is better. So you cast on somewhere, okay? Oh, yeah. this is, I should have done this before. Yeah. Ready, ready for it. So I've cast on. Yeah. Lovely thread, lovely needle. Yeah. Just what grab What needle the, is it? Oh no, don't get excited. It's a sh I always use schnills, but okay. I found that one in the... Thing. Okay. Yeah. Um, right, over and back. Should we say those little words? Over, over and back. So I'm just catching. You only want to catch the fold. You don't want to go deep into the fold. Yeah. Over, look at that. Don't we just love sewing? Is it not just the loveliest thing to be doing in your world? Look at that. Do you see? So over and back in the same hole. So it creates this lovely little stitch. Oh, that looks, <laughs> looks like that. Beautiful. And from this side, you get little weeny dots, dots and it lays flat. Fantastic. Stitch, glove lovely. Stitch. So right. that's it. Let me remind you of the quilt kit. You get everything you need for the front and the back. You don't need to buy anything and we suggest because it's all in little squares we suggest using all your scraps of wadding because you're going to do it as quilt as you go the only uh, caveat is that the word is don't use like one in polyester one in cotton one in oh, 8020 no, no, yeah, yeah. they all need to be the same wadding but you do each one as a little square as i just shown you so in the kit you get 14 of these Right? You get all of this, these fabrics. This is your backing fabric, all designed by Mandy, all created by Mandy via Henry Glass. It's good, fabulous quality. You get your Macawa uh, linen texture, but it's not a texture, it's a called linen texture. Red fabric for your front. <clears throat> you get your calico for your squares. You get your Bonder web. It's not Bonder web, but the equivalent of Bonder web, heat and seal, whatever it's called for that. You get all of your instructions. <clears throat> I haven't even shown you this little bit at the beginning, look. So it tells you how big the block should be, how big you have to cut the backing fabric and everything like that. And you get all of your 26 iron-on transfers, right? Iron-on transfers, which you can use up to six times. Oh no, so it's not just one quid, you can make loads of these, or you could just write letters, you could do whatever you wanted to. So now it's 100 pounds, split pay on 50 pounds. Uh, how are we, stockwise please. There are 27 not checks out and 40 in baskets so it's up to you it's up to you it's up to you now oh 45 in baskets now check out check out check out right what about the pattern on its own we were very limited a minute ago we'll just check now 15 left and how many in baskets 42 in baskets so please, 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 please check out if you definitely want that. Right, let me just recap the bag from before. The weekend, oh, it's sold out, sold out, yeah. sold out, sold out. Let me just do the three purses. I've got things from seven o'clock. If you weren't here at seven o'clock, I've got the things from seven o'clock as well that I can run through for you as well. 
So you got your three, you make three. It says duo, <clears throat> but you make three. Oh, sorry. <coughs> oh, I've gone all. <coughs> oh, all time. Might have to Ooh. go home. Oh, I'm off tomorrow anyway, I'm off tomorrow. Right, so you get three, you can make three purses. FPP, foundation paper piecing, or a bit of just red work there. Beautifully made, exquisitely made. You get everything you need in there. You get the zi zips, thread, uh, fabric, denim, door, window. No, it's not window, heart. Beautiful. 25.99. 25.99. Right, let me recap things from seven o'clock now. We had a hanging heart, which is brand spanking new. Folk birds hanging heart. Now remember, if you want to go all this, when you go to Mandy's website later on, there is a free download of another another heart that is all for people. Um, it was all about the heat energy crisis, the heat, I think. The heat, the heat, well, we've also got another free download for uh, Turkey and Syria. Turkey? Uh, Turkey and oh, Syria. Oh, I think you meant Turkey, Christmas Turkey. For, oh, yeah, they're charities. Yeah, yeah. Charities, yeah, yeah, right. yeah. So, yeah, there are free yeah. downloads yeah. Uh, uh, on the thing. for You can yeah. make and sell them for, yeah. for to raise money for Turkey yeah. and Syria as well. You're very good like that because you did Ukraine as well. Yes, you did all yeah, yeah. Like that, don't uh, you? Uh, yeah. Eighteen ninety-nine. Now the only thing that you have to supply up, apart from this kit is a bit of stuffing to go in there. Yeah. Eighteen ninety-nine. So that's a brand new, brand brand new collector's uh, hanging heart. Now I've also got the uh, tin pin cushion kit. Oh, these are lovely. Which, if you watch the seven o'clock show, Mandy did a demo on this one. I'll do this from the front so you can see it from the front. 18.99. Now, you do get the whole kit, right? You get everything. You get the tin, you get the fabric. The only thing you don't get again in this one is the toy stuffing, but she used it all. She I used it all in the kit. used it all in the demo, so it's not in here anyway. So you get the tin. <clears throat> now, the tin was made... Oh, dear, excuse me. <clears throat> the tin was made in London using solar power. Yeah, exactly. And you get the tin, you get the tin, and there's nothing sharp in there either. So you get the button, you get the ribbon. Oh, you need a glue gun. You'll need a glue yeah. gun. And you get the thread and everything like that. £18.99 pence is that one. Then, what else do we have this morning? Oh, the gorgeous uh, little rabbit. We've got Honey Bunny. Here's Honey Bunny. Again, you get everything. You get the boucle, you get the gingham, you get the felt, you get everything. Uh, the eyes and everything, it's all in there. The only thing, again, you don't get is your uh, toy stuffing. £32.99. Cute. Uh, now, I've also... Oh, now! Now, 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 now. I don't know if there's going to be any of these left, right? This book, right, is meant to be £15.99, isn't it, Mandy? Yes. Mandy's done you a special, special, special treat for the birthday week, right? Ta-da! We've got a drum roll. Go down, yeah. What's the matter? No, you got the wrong code in. You got the wrong code in. There's one with, there's one with, and one without. I don't know. Uh, you, you can't. It, it went seven ninety nine. If you buy it, you'll be. Yeah. She's. Have you found it? There you go. There you go. Oh, it sold out. That's why it wasn't oh, there. Oh. <laughs> so, that's all right. Don't worry. Don't worry. Now, if you when you buy the book, you see. You've got all of the templates in here that you trace off and draw. Look, here they, are. here they all are, look. All the templates there. But if you want the iron-on transfers to go with this, here's the iron-on transfers. They're £15.99. The iron-on transfers. They were in at 7 o'clock. They were in 7 o'clock. Right, so that bag sold out. Exciting, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there you go, there you go, there you go. That was the graphic that was yeah. wrong before. 15.99. In there, you get all of the iron on transfers for every project within that book. Right? There they all are. All back to front, obviously, because you're going to um, put them over and iron them down. Yeah. Thank you, Ollie. That would make a lovely cushion, wouldn't it? That would make a lovely there, cushion. Yeah. Actually, what's on that cushion there, then? Oh, that's a... Uh, well, yeah. Where's that one? What's this well, one that's from? That's from the panel. Oh, that was from the panel, panel that sold out, so we don't want that yeah. one. Thank you. Um, and, right, coming up in Mandy's next hour... Oh, look, 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 look. Oh, look. yeah, Marigold. In oh. an hour's time. Now, Marigold's already going on, on pre-order. Beautiful. And look at this. We've got thatched cottage bag as well. Needle case, needle case. Needle case, yeah. bag. Okay. 
It's got a little bag in it. Well, sort of. Can't, won't hold much, John, will it? I fall well, I haven't got much to put oh, in. No, 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 you haven't. <laughs> <laughs> now, yeah, remember it's last day for the big 780 sewing machine. Uh, today, the deal, we're going to be doing it at 12 o'clock, but just in case you want to check it out now. There is, put the graphics in. Are you put the graphics in now or is it for 12 o'clock? Okay, show us the price then. Let's have a look. I can't see it. Can I see it on the big telly, please? Oh, there it is. Right, now look. It's ha it was 2,789. This week it's 2,289. I'll talk to you more about that in the end of the 12 o'clock hour. Last, off, last day of the offer. Right, don't go anywhere. Lisa Lamb's up next. Thank oh, you nice. Lisa nice. Lamb. Yes. Whoop. Doing this gorgeous little backpack. Gorgeous little backpack. We'll see you back here in four minutes from now. This Thursday, the 2nd of March, is our sister channel, Hobby Makers' first birthday. And because of that, they're taking over the airways. So Sewing Street won't be on. But don't worry, on Wednesday, the 1st of March, we've packed twice as much into our hours, so you won't miss out. Adam Brooks is going to be there doing some amazing demonstrations. Your favorite products will still be there. So we will see you for a bumper day on Wednesday Wednesday the 1st and on Thursday we'll hand over the hours to Hobby Maker to celebrate their first birthday. Don't miss either of them. We'll see you there. Hello, it's Cara here. I'm just popping by to wish everyone at Sewing Street a happy third birthday. Three years, that's incredible isn't it? What a wonderful three years and thank you all so much for supporting us over that time. Happy birthday Sewing Street! Hi Sewing Street, this is Dewey from Dewey Jumbo Craft Tours. Wishing you a many happy returns for your third birthday. We're hoping there's many, many more. Hi everyone, I'm Sandy Milichit Masaki from Family Comforts and I'm a guest designer and demonstrator here on Sewing Street. I've been lucky enough to be with this fantastic team for over this last year and I'd love to wish them all a really happy third birthday and continued success for the future. Happy birthday! Happy third birthday, Sewing Street! And many more to follow. Hello, this is Emma Bradford from the Swift Quilting Company. Just wishing Sewing Street a very happy third birthday and many, many years more to come. Happy birthday! Hi Sewing Street, it's Fiona from Sew Girl here. Just want to wish everybody a very happy birthday at Sewing Street 3 today. How amazing is that? Um, it's time's gone so fast, I can't believe it. Anyway, look forward to seeing you all at studio very soon. Take care, lots of love, bye! Hello everyone, my name's Cara Ackerman and I'm absolutely delighted to be here at Sewing Street. Um, I actually originated from Hertfordshire, then went down to Hampshire and then it ended up in the East Midlands. I've been in the East Midlands for about 40 years now, which seems crazy. Um, but 36 of those I actually worked with DMC Creative World, um, which was wonderful. I really, really enjoyed that. And then um, I decided to go freelance and that's how I got introduced to Sewing Street. I love doing anything to do with um, textiles. So embroidery, cross stitch, patchwork, done a bit of quilting, bag making, toy making. Oh goodness, there's loads and loads of things. Um, what I love doing is just trying something new. And I think one of the tips is don't be frightened of trying something new. Um, you always learn from it. And you know, don't be scared of making mistakes either. We all learn from the mistakes that we make. Um, little bit about me that you might not know and that's a bit of a surprise. Um, I once went to the garden party down at Buckingham Palace, the Queen's Garden Party, for some work that I did with Marie Curie. I was so, so lucky to go there and just a wonderful time. Um, so I hope to see more of you on Sewing Street and I hope to try lots of new crafts with you. So see you again soon. Bye bye.
If you're a sewing street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. and many more to follow. Hello, this is Emma Bradford from the Swift Quilting Company. Just wishing Sewing Street a very happy third birthday and many, many years more to come. Happy birthday! Hi Sewing Street, it's Fiona from Sogar here. Just want to wish everybody a very happy birthday at Sewing Street. Three today, how amazing is that? Um, it's time's gone so fast, I can't believe it. Anyway, look forward to seeing you all at studio very soon. Take care, lots of love, bye. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost 
twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Sorry about that. There was a bit of a hold up, bit of a hold up. We've got a bit of an issue with the sewing machine. Anyway, before we do anything, before we meet Lisa Lam, we have got competition winners to announce. <coughs> now, yesterday we didn't get the name of the day before, so I've got yesterday's competition winner and I've got the day before's competition winner. So which one will you do first, Ben? Friday's winner is... There you go. It is Jeanette Staplehurst. Jeanette Staplehurst. You have won the mannequin, you have won the fabric, <coughs> you have won the little box. Oh, I'll just take a glug of water while we all congratulate you. Oh. There we go. <coughs> <coughs> and then yesterday's winner. Oh, boom, straight in. Christine White. Christine, look, you've won a native light, one of those really expensive native lighting lamps there, and a sewing machine, and all those goodies. Nice. They will be on their way to you at the beginning of next week. You're right over there, Lisa Lamb. We poor old Lisa, wave, say hello, say hello, Lisa Lamb. We've had a bit of an issue with the sewing machine and her height as well. Anyway, Constantly. so whilst <laughs> I take you through the bundles and the bag, we, uh, I'll get you, get Lisa sorted that size over there. Okay, oh, hang on a sec, get a close up of that. And then Becky will have to leave to go to do the block. There you go. Gorgeous, gorgeous bag here with the flap on it, with the drawstring inside. Oh, Dan's back from his break as well. Beautiful. Oh, he didn't have a break, he went to go and work next door. Are we short staffed today or something? Oh, we're short staffed. Anyway, look, 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 look. Beautiful, beautiful bag. Now, you can buy well, I'll show you, I'll show you, I'll show you, right? So the kit for this one is the tan one, right? So we have got it in the full kit, full kit, right? If you want to make that one, so you get half a metre of each of these fabrics, right? Half a metre of each of those fabrics. Beautiful, isn't it? That floral fabric there. Then you get this. I'm not going to open this one up, but you get everything. And the zip should be inside that bag as well. You get the flap, you get the straps, you get the hardware. In fact, I am going to open it. I'll open it so you can see. All of them are the same, but just different colourways. So, inside here, there's the main flap to go over the bag. There's the base of the bag. These are the straps for the bag. That's the drawstring pulley for the inside of the bag. And then what's in there, Lisa Lam? Uh, lock, um, a tongue lock and a key clip holder. Cool. Um, so everything screws. you need, plus the zip, plus the zip. So everything, you can get all of that for four, and the instructions, obviously, the tan instructions for 49.99. Look at the instructions as well. So, 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 so thorough. Now, 
If you're thinking, oh, I'd love the tan flap, I'd love the tan straps, but I don't want that fabric. Well, we've got it. We've got it. Take the fabric away. Take the fabric away. We have got the whole of the tan kit plus the instructions. £44.99. But you are getting everything. Everything, everything. Yeah, that, there's a mistake there because that means the fabric was only £5. And this is half a metre of designer fabric. This, this one on its own is 3 55 That's ruby star. The flower's ruby yeah, star. So that, yeah, but they shouldn't be, it should, that, and that shouldn't be £5. Uh, no. No. £44.99 for the bundle of the goodies and the uh, instructions. Beautiful. I'm not going to open all the others because I'll show you, but I'll show you the colourways. Which one are you demoing? Is that one there? Uh, teal. I asked everyone what colour they'd like me to demo in and they chose teal. Oh, perfect. So Matilda. that's the colour we're going to demo in. Uh, no, you've got three. You must have three colours. You've got racing green, black. Oh, sorry. That's called blue steel. Or blue steel. Steel blue. Steely blue. Steely blue. blue. Steely blue. <laughs> Steely blue. Beautiful. Full kit. Full kit. Full kit. So that, that, that and that. Becky, can you get the little bags off the 12 o'clock trolley? Oh, brilliant, well done. Uh, 49.99. <coughs> Thank you very much indeed. Lovely. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Uh, so you get all this in this, what do you call it? Steely what? Steel blue. Steel blue. Wasn't that Pierce Brosnan back in the day, I'm telling you. <laughs> Blue steel, I liked him. Blue. <laughs> I liked him as James Bond. You like what? I liked him as James Bond. He was Bond. my James Bond, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, so all of that in the steel blue. Oh, you've even got steel blue on the pattern. And as you say, in the wrong colour. 49 99 so you get the fabric, the zip, all of the things I just showed you, but in the steely blue, plus the instructions. Now, if you want it without the fabric, take the fabric away. Take it away. There we go, for, again, they've only charged you five pounds for the fabric. And that is, Lisa Lam. Tilda. Tilda. Yeah. Well, we know that that's 7 99 that that's 7 99 that's on its own. That's brand new Tilda as well. Huh? It's brand new Tilda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we know that's 7 99 on its own. So you've got, you've got over 10 pounds worth, 11 pounds worth of fabric there. They're just, right, anyway, it doesn't matter because they're not in the kit. 44 99 that's for your steely blue. Then we've got it in racing green that's lovely dark dark moss green they're racing green or rac green or the aa <laughs> right again now tilda gore fabric zip 49.99 beautiful 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 would you like it without the fabric there's the one without the fabric I was going to say, you might as well get to get the fabric, because the £5, pounds, you're getting all that fabric, even if you're not going to use it to make the bag, put it in your stash. 44 99 And then, last but not least, we have the black. <coughs> so you've got your black, all your furniture there, you've got your zip, and then you've got your... Uh, they're not mosquitoes, John. Dragonflies. They're not coffee beans. <laughs> they're dragonflies. 49.99, there they are, the coffee bean dragonflies. Yeah. So that's it with the fabric. Would you like to have it without the fabric, with all just the black? Now, what's it made of? What's all this made of in PU. here? PU. It's all PU, so there's no leather in no, there whatsoever. No, it's super hard wearing PU. Super hard wearing PU. So there's no animals have been no, harmed in the making no. of this bag. 44.99 now you can have the pattern on its own if you don't want but then where are they going to get all the bits and bobs or could they make them out of fabric on their own uh, uh. i don't think so because the the the, the, the okay pattern. let's not do the pattern on its own let's not do the pattern on its own then uh now you are going to need some embroidery thread yes. actually should we start the demo and then when you get the embroidery thread bit, yeah. I'll introduce... Is that all right? Yes, of course I'll it is. Yes. Now, I need to apologise because Lisa needed a, a walking foot on a machine. We had an issue with the walking foot, so she's had to do it without the walking foot. So we could have some complications I in a minute. I feel quite naked without a walking foot, I have to say. Oh, do you? Yes, I, I use I use walking foot for everything. I'll even for this dress. I was going to say, nice leading, now somebody's right? asked about your dress, Jan, asked about your dress. Is that your new dress, she it says? It is. Can I, can I do a slinky shoulder? I'm wearing this because it's freezing. Oh, so when you wear a cardigan, it looks like your shoulders are a bit lumpy. Yes, well, 
Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Pierce is filming in Belfast. Any hints to where he might go on his day off, says Anio. Steph says, morning, John and Lisa. It was Remington Steel. Uh, oh, Sewing yes, Nuts says, I'm here, Lisa. Let's have a twirl of your dress. You've had that already. <laughs> and uh, Jan's bought a red bag from the 12 o'clock hour already. Oh, thank you very much, Jan. And Dewey Jumbo says, hello, Lisa. Hello. Right. There's only seven of these left. There's oh, only seven. Of, thank do you, know you what? very much. Thank do, you. Do you know thank what you. I'm going to say? Buy the full bundle. Yeah, and I'm not fabric. trying to get you to spend more money, but you're obviously getting like £12 worth of fabric for it, £5. Pounds. current range stuff. Yes, 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 yeah. yes, 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 yes. Why would you not? Yeah, yeah. Please be careful, though, because they're all quite limited now. Right, OK. Oh, uh, the other thing I should say, you'll need some H640, won't you? Yes, and some fusible. Oh, right. H640, I'll do that quickly. H640, 5.99. That'll be enough to make the bag, won't yeah, it? Yeah, plenty. Now? Yeah, plenty. And then you'll also need some of this iron-on interfacing. 3.99. At 3.99. 3.99. Okay, right. Off you go then, Lisa. All right, quick things. First things first. Oh yes. One for the studio and one for the table. You get to choose which Oh, you're, they're already open. Huh? They're all open. No, that came open in my bag. It's not Ooh, funny. Oh, honeycomb caramel. You choose, John. Or chocolate salted caramel. Because they, in, the, in the gallery, they ate them all last time, didn't so, they? they? So what? they ate them all in the gallery they last did. time. They did. So we'll keep them all in here for now. Then. <laughs> no, no. That <laughs> they can have those later when they've earned them. When okay, they've earned well, them. Fair right, you start. Okay, right. First thing I want to say is it's a very... Um, Thank you, by the way, for our lovely chocolates. Pleasure. Absolute pleasure. I hope I do get one. Becky bought me some of these for my birthday, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Or was it Christmas? Christmas. Or was Good it for the brownie points. The anyway, bag, you carry the on. bag is, is, is polished looking, but I promise you it is much easier to make than it looks. I think it's the PU accessories that make the bag look very fish, but the sewing itself really isn't that complicated at all. And I'll show you what to do. So I have zipped ahead and done a few things to try and get as much done in the studio as possible. So for starters, I've, I've put in a what I like to call a letterbox zip, and I'm sure you've seen this quite a few times uh, on Sewing Street and in my book and elsewhere already. So um, the zip, as I said before, comes in the kit. I like my zips to open from left to right. You can do it whichever way you want, and that's just lining fabric, which I've interfaced. So this is the back of the bag. And I've also gone ahead and made the lining. So the shape for the base is at the back of the pattern. Um, and then and the lining fabric has got some H640 ironed onto it. But before you iron it onto your pieces, make sure you trim the seam allowances away. Oh. The seam allowances are one centimetre. Excuse all me while I just come in on you. Where's your microphone? Oh, oh. I'm on my fold. Yeah. My Excuse me, everybody, while I just fiddle. We're family, it's fine. <laughs> He's got warm hands. Well, it's Could funny Charlie said that in Could the break. Everyone else's hands here are freezing. There, there we go. Is that all right? Thank you. They're better. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was your thrill for the weekend, wasn't it? <laughs> That'll do me. <laughs> and inside is a simple slip pocket, which is interface as well. So the lining, very easy to put together. Um, now I'm going to turn intentions to the front of the bag. So the front of the bag is very simple. It's just a rectangle fabric, but we are going to put in the bottom part of the clasp the male no the female part of the clasp which i will show you it comes in your bag brilliant here. i want to do that uh two says it's lovely to see you she's having a sneaky watch at the service station on her way home laurie <laughs> says hi lisa great to see you uh, hi. your kicks are always great got the lie that cambridge bag oh. carmella says gorgeous dress thank you Attract carmella says hello lisa it's nice Bye, to see you again i'm excited to get my backpack kit oh thank you very much ladies right okay so the, so the clasp you'll get in your bag looks like this. This is the male part and this is the female part. Oh, yeah, hold so them the, still. Oh, yeah, the yeah. male part yeah. goes onto your flap. So here is your flap. I've gone ahead and done it already. You just find the bottom centre and then it gets, you slide that onto the edge like this and there are two little screws that come in your kit. You just need to make sure that... Um, use a crosshead screwdriver, a small one, preferably a jewellery size if you have it, and make sure the heads are flush so that when you run your finger across the back of the I lock, can't feel it's yeah, smooth. 
very easy. Lovely. So the, the, fem the female part of the lock gets put on your bag front and you need to find the bottom edge centre and then make a little dot. I appreciate you won't be able to see, but it's eight and a half centimetres up from the bottom edge. And that's mentioned in the pattern, do not worry. And then you're going to get your lock and then you're going to eyeball the bottom centre of this curved part here because this is the bottom edge of the lock. And you're going to place it onto the eight and a half mark that you made and then draw around the bottom curve. Be reasonably firm because you want to see this later. And I don't advise you using a disappearing marker unless you're planning to do it pretty soon because you don't, you don't want to do some bag making, come back to it tomorrow only to find that the marker's gone. So yeah. you might want to use a bit of chalk. So I know you might not be able to see that well, but I can see that quite clearly because uh -huh. I'm going to need that for later. Right. Um, at the back of the lock, so there's going to be three layers of interfacing all together because on your outer pieces, you interface with interfacing with one centimeter seam allowance removed. And then the lock area, I've taken, I think that's like, this is, uh. yeah, it's about <laughs> eight centimeters. Doesn't need to be exact. As long as it's much bigger than your lock right. square. Two layers of. Oh, two layers. So you've got three layers yeah, of interfacing it, and one of fabric. Make it nice yeah. and strong. Mm -hmm. You see, I like, I like to add interfacing um, rather than use bosal. Bosal's brilliant. I do, I do love Bosal. I do love Decaville, but I appreciate that it's not the most easiest thing for beginners to use. So I've tried to make widen the skill level yeah, 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 yeah. by not using it. So anyway, that's why I've put in loads of layers of interfacing on the back of the lock. Okay, so the next thing you'll need to do, because your lock is going to arrive flat like this, because that makes it easier for packaging. You're going to need to lift up the prongs. And what I like to do is use some pliers. So I've right. got some jewelry ones here, but you can just as easily use domestic size ones. And I'm going to lift up the prongs. And I want to make sure that when I lift up the prongs, they are at 90 degrees to the back of the lock. Oh, just been put it. I'll, I'll just do the yeah, top yeah, set yeah, yeah, and then yeah, I'll yeah. show you what yeah, I mean. Brilliant. So when I say 90 degrees, yeah. they, are, they are perfectly upright. So they're not wonky. Yeah, brilliant. so you've got, you've got 12 o'clock and 6 o'clock. And you do that for both sets. Oh, it's four prongs on there. Yes, there are, there are yeah. Oh, yes, and I forgot to say. Oh, yes. When you're cutting your interfacing squares, make a pair of matching fleece ones as well oh, okay the you're going to use ones, the, yeah. yeah you're going to use those on the back of the lock right right so ideally you might have um a surface that you can press the lock on because i don't want to dent the table is it okay to push it yeah. into that oh yeah. cheers john okay so if you hover if you hover directly above it because you, you appreciate the locks now on prongs and it maybe if it, it helps if you Use squint. just one eye, yeah. Yeah, okay, I'll take squint, but you I'm do one eye. I'm squinting a lot these days. Shall I just do it? Look, I thought this is the first day I'm going to have to. Wear. Oh, these new. I've joined the club. Yeah, I've got mine on all the time now. <laughs> Honestly, they're a revelation. You see, when you turn 35, that's what happens. Yes, I know, 25, yeah. Oh, 25 now, <laughs> not even 35. <laughs> Oh, but it's so. But nice you know, you've just the done lock. the fatal mistake wiping them on your cardigan. Why is that fatal? You're only supposed to use your microfiber cloth that comes well, why, with. Why is that fatal? Because you scratch, scratch it, it with other fabrics. Yeah. Oh, I see. No, I, I did it for years, and then suddenly realised why my uh, glasses ran out so quickly. I, I confess, these are cheapy ones from. Um, All right. Uh, a shop. Yeah. Beginning with T and ending in R. And uh, I bought three pairs. One by my. One by my bedside table, one by my craft table, and the other pair to lose, which TR? I have lost. Tiger. Never heard of it. Haven't you heard of it? Oh, no, oh. it's Tiger. The way you can, <coughs> when you go to the shop, you have to follow it around. You can't turn yeah. back on yourself. Yeah, that yeah, one. yeah. But it forces you to <coughs> put stuff in your basket. Yeah. It's brilliant. You can yeah, never go in there. Birmingham in the... Station, I Oh, think, I love, it? I love. Yeah, yeah so I, I, these are cheapy ones. But yeah, I think I'm going to have to go to Specsavers and make it official soon, you know. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you've just been out and bought t t t times two and a half or times yeah, three. Oh, no. Yeah. But I'm finding that I'm yeah. doing that. <laughs> I'm doing yeah. that. You do that anyway. <laughs> <laughs>
Right, so what okay. you're doing, you're so pressing. So I'm, I'm just, I'm pressing hard. And this is why it was important to get my prongs 90 degrees, because if they're wonky, oh, you're going to find yes. that these, these pattern markings... Now, are just, you going, are you trying to pierce the fabric or are you just making I'm a mark? I'm making an indent, yeah, because yeah, I, for me, I find that that's the most accurate way right. of positioning your lock. Yeah. So I can see, I know you can't see, but I, I can see indents from those metal prongs yeah. there, and I'm now going to use my seam ripper to go into these indents. Could you use an awl instead? Uh, I, or is an awl what, not big to, enough hole? What, to make, to make the make prong? Make the hole, yeah. Um, no. No, no okay. because the nice thing about the seam ripper is you can, you can... <laughs> I, I Doesn't matter, I've thrown it away now. <laughs> we do need the awl. We do... <laughs> we need, we'll need the awl with the embroidery fabric. Fine, got it. And it's super handy to have, honest, honest. Also, we should have an all anyway. Yeah, I'm finding it's really, really nice now that I've started on a dressmaking um, journey yeah. that a lot of the tools I've got from bag making are pinched from quilt making, but I'm using a lot of the tools that I have for, so dress for dressmaking. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I've got like a pattern wheel and stuff like that. Oh, I love I love my pattern, oh, my tracing wheel and my tracing it's paper. It's fab. It makes you feel really professional. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm, the technical side isn't... isn't too difficult for me because I've been sewing for a long time. Yeah. But the pattern fitting, oh, it's still Martian. Too. Oh, I love it. Oh, you'll have to give me some yeah. some some tips, honestly, because I I know I'm, I'm I always always tell people off when they say, look at my blob, but it's this is wrong with it and that is wrong yeah. with it, and I say, look, she create a swear jar and she'd never do yourself down. Yeah. But I, I, honestly, these boobs aren't quite, you know, because I just don't have the wherewithal, don't quite know what to do with the darts. I can sew a beautiful dart. Yeah, but you just don't know where to put but them. But the positioning's not quite. I can't. You know. Okay. I think I'm going to have to take lessons. That's you not. You need to go. You need to get your go to a class where they teach you to make a basic block. Okay. Right? And that's where you do a technical drawing of your body. Right. Right. So it's exactly where yeah. the shape. That's it, it, it's only on a flat. But it's the exact shape of your body. It's like a map of your body. So the darts are in there. And then any pattern you do, you can manipulate it because you know where your bust points are. What you need okay. to do is you need to measure nipple to nipple. That, so that's where, so you can work out where your darts are. That's called your point to point. Would that be with bra or on a work that? With bra. Well, with if you're bra going to wear, on. Of uh, course I'm going to wear a bra. <laughs> well, no, no, no. But, but also, 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 um, it depends if you're making like a wedding dress or something for a special outfit. Yeah. You go for that fitting yeah. with the underwear on the because imagine if of I course. did a bride and yeah. she had a, a favourite old bra on which is a bit saggy well, they can do and then she bought a things, brand new they? Rigby and Pella for the day her boobs yeah. are going to be in a completely different place aren't they oh, I'd love to have a bra by Rigby and Pella when, well, I, grow up, when I grow up one day yeah <laughs> when you grow <laughs> up up <laughs> right uh, so what I'm doing now is I've got a square of interfacing and I'm making little slits just to match the prongs. It doesn't need to be absolutely perfect, but what this interfacing fleece is going to do is act like a little bit of a washer, and it's gonna help prevent the lock being felt on the front of the bag. Right. So I'll just put that on there. And then I'm gonna put my washers on. Lovely. So you'll get two washers in the packet. Uh, Pam Mini Hines says, could you use some washi tape to get the prong position? Pierce the tape and then lay it on the fabric. Ooh. If you wanted to, is Pam, is that because you're worried about fraying? Um, if you are, then yeah, if you cut the washi tape small enough, I don't see why not. It'll add oh. a bit of um, strength, I suppose. Uh -huh. But if you use a sharp, if you, if, if, if you use a sharp um, seam ripper and you're very steady and gentle, gentle yeah. you should be fine. Julie says she voted for this, the teal fabric demo. She loves it. Oh. June says, oh, Lisa, just imagine those hands have also hand handled Pierce Brosnan. <gasps> no, get back on there. <laughs> okay, so I've slipped washer over, yeah. over both parts of the prong, and I'm just going to use my pliers again to put the prongs inwards, inwards. Because yeah. I don't like the idea of them being, being felt. So just you just need to make a starting off bend. Yeah. And then one goes down first. Yeah. And then the other on top. There. And that's what you'll be left with. Lovely. Easy peasy. Uh, please be careful if you've got any of the kits in your basket because they're all about to hit sell out. 
Oh, thank the tan you, everyone. Has sold out already. Oh, tan's gone. Tan with the fabric, but tan without the fabric. Okay, so the tan with the fabric is gone. But as I say, right, and I don't want, I'm not, I'm not saying to you, spend more money, because it doesn't matter to us if you do or not, but you're getting a, a metre of fabric for like five pounds. It's In all the bundles, you're getting a metre of fabric. It's even if you're not going to make the bag out of those fabrics, you know what I mean? I'm just saying, I'm just saying. And, want, you'll, be I, left, and you'll be left with spare. There's enough to make a little pouch afterwards as oh, well. Oh, well, there you go. Even, yeah, well worth it, I'd say. Once the fabric bundles have gone, they've gone, I can't replenish them today. Okay, so that's that's front. Yeah. That's back. Right. The next thing to do is to put them together at the sides. Lovely. Okay. Is it just a square then? It's, it's just a rectangle, rectangle at the moment. Oh, oh, at the moment. And then um, and then you add um, then you add your base, and right, I'll okay. explain about the base. In Lovely. A I've got moment. some messages while you pin that. Oh, sure. Lisa, you're a joy and so talented. Who's this? I've got your last heel <laughs> bag, really easy to follow, thank from a collector in Bristol. Oh, thank, thank you, Dan. Thank you, collector. I saw him on his phone a minute ago. Did you, you send that message in? Uh, so lovely to see Lisa. I bought the Cambridge satchel. I missed the last time. I'm so happy. Loving your shirt, John, from Sue in Kent. Thank you. I bought this thank one. Thank you, Sue. Of, of Mandy Shaw's bags, because when she sends things out, they're in yes. plastic bags like this. Oh, oh, it's cute. Yeah. Well, it feels a bit weird. What feels a bit weird? The shirt. Why? I don't think the cotton's that good quality. Oh, I see, I see. It is cotton, it's definitely cotton, but yeah. I don't, I'm not sure if it's, I don't know how many washes it'll last. <laughs> I'll let you know. That, that's the thing, once you know about the quality about, of something. Yes. You know, yeah. like, if, like if you can cook, you can kind of. Yeah. I was having this conversation, well, we, we went home, um, all of the kids, to my mum and dad uh, for um, half term. And they're brilliant. In Hong Kong? No, 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 no. Oh, they no, home, home. Oh, well, that, that's, we were meant to be going on Easter, but that's been cancelled for very boring reasons. Oh, no. No, we went to, back to Paul. Oh, OK. And they're amazing chefs. And you can never take them out for a meal because they just wreck the meals. It's not oh, it's like... Meat's not very fresh. When I, when I take out with film <laughs> friends to watch a film, they go, yeah. oh, that wasn't a very good camera angle, was it? Or, <laughs> oh, did you see that quick change? Or, oh, I didn't think much of that graphic. And it's like, oh, just let's enjoy the exactly. singing. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm as bad, though. I mean, I can see continuity mistakes in costumes like that. And I'll go... And then I suddenly realise that I'm the one that complains. So I think, keep it to yourself. <laughs> Don't <laughs> say, did you see that handbag was on well, the other hand a minute ago? You know, this is bliss, isn't it, sometimes? Yeah. OK, right. I'm just going to sew the side edges yeah. uh, with a one centimetre seam. Lovely. Just a normal straight stitch and back tack at the top. Uh, front and end of your stitches. Oh, it's really weird sewing without a walking foot. Yeah, it's very quiet. Because the timing is slightly different. Yeah, yeah, totally, it? yeah. Oh, it's so You'll be strange. Right, Lisa. You'll be all right. <laughs> keep going, keep going. No, June, it was the cat. It's the cat's fault. I haven't fallen. What did um, the cat do? Oh, Which one? Ghost this time. So oh. Ghost has had this bald patch on his bottom. Why? Right, and well, and a, and a lump on his head, right? And I thought, oh, he'd be fine for anyway. The lump got bigger and bigger, and oh, I had no. a day off on. So off on Thursday or Friday, my vets are so brilliant. I ring up and go, yeah, bring him in. <laughs> you again. Yeah, you again. <laughs> I, and I, they're so big now, they won't fit into the box that when I first got them, I can't put them. So I have to go and go to the vets, get the Kyrie box, come home, make sure the cat's there, cram them into this box. Bring to... Anyway, he'd been bitten on his bottom and he'd been oh, bitten no. on his head, right? By what? This is Luther. This is Ghost this time, not Luther. Luther's always been bitten. So, um, so... The, 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 the hair coming, the fur coming off the back is the proof that it's getting better. But I have, oh. he said, when you get home, eighty-eight pounds worth of injections later. But when you get home, Holy. you have to bathe his hair, right? So I was, I hope nobody's eating their elevenses, right? So he got home and I thought, I won't get him out of the box. I opened the box, got my cotton wool ball, was just mopping his head, this great big, well, it was horrible, all came off the top of his head. He panicked, oh, he leapt out to get out of the box. He's so big now, I went like that to oh, get no. out of the way. And there was a pillar in my kitchen there. And, I wa oh. and at the time, it just, I just thought, oh, it hurt a little bit. And then the next day was a little bit darker, and then today it's bright red. But it's you, not sore. Did you see birds and things flying no, around nothing, your head? No, nothing, 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 nothing. Anyway, I just thought, oh, I'm getting old. I hate getting old. Don't, and, all. Don't. and then I didn't mention it because everyone all thought I'd think I've had another fall. But oh. I haven't had another fall. Morning, everyone. Wonderful guest this last birthday show. Lisa, you're so bubbly and enthusiastic about <laughs> everything you do. Or oh, you should you. see her on a real day. <laughs> She's not bubbly when she's on that bike down around the streets of Brighton. Hopping a bubble. Um, 
everything you do and keep on with the clothes making you'll love each item you make oh thank you yes i do i mean like um and as i said before you shouldn't you know when you make something you shouldn't point out your faults but no i was thinking about it in the car yeah aim for progress not perfection yeah, exactly bet says i've got a proper tailor's dummy measured exactly to me Ooh. and the clothes i make it fit the only trouble with that is every month i'm a different shape I confess, when I when Why I did like that? when I <laughs> when I did the back seams on this, this was a few months ago. Yeah, yeah, because this has just been on the on the you know. Yeah. I, I've rush finished it, but yeah, I've lost a bit, a little bit of weight since oh, I have first you? tried it on. Yeah, I have. Um, and then Steph says, please more dressmaking tips. Oh yeah, we'll do. When we do dressmaking shows, I will do. A trip, it was not a fall. Exactly, I don't fall. Not no man, I tripped over wires over there. Anyway, keep going. What are you doing now? Right, so I've um, I've sewed the front and the back yeah. together. Now bottom gonna, still open. Bottom still wide open. Yeah. Now gonna turn our attention to the base. Right. And the base, the outer base is your outer fabric and it's got interfacing. Oh, so hang on, so there's a base of that and a base of the PU. Yes, absolutely. So you can just about peel away Oh, yes, look, 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 look. Thank you, Dan. Look, so there's the base of the... Oh, we've gone on the over. Oh, which one are you going on? Uh, there's the base of the bag and the fabric, and then you put the PU one afterwards. So from whatever angle, you're not looking at lining fabrics. It's not really no. nice to do that. So you have your... What I've, I've gone ahead and I've made some fabric loops yeah. for the... PU straps. Yeah. So the PU straps, they'll arrive with all of the metal wear attached. Brilliant. All ready to go. You just it's such need good to... value, really, isn't it, when you think of everything that you're getting in this kit? Ex exactly. You just need to know, you just need to know the, the dimensions of the fabric bits. And, you know, I've based, I've based all of the pattern on the PU bits. Yeah. And it's nice not to have to screw, you know, screw this or find the rings for that because yeah, it's yeah, just it's all already there. Yeah. there. So that the fact these these fabric loops are very simple. It's basically a binding fold yeah. and interfacing, and uh, but the interfacing is half the width because uh, it's too chunky if it's not half yeah. the width. But if that doesn't make sense, it's all explained in the pattern. Lovely. And that's folded over. the 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 handle loops go on the back of the bag. So uh, you, if you if you can see on the base, the top edge of the fabric is facing me. Does that make sense? Yeah. Now, it's going to get a little bit unwieldy because you need to attach the PU straps at this stage. Right. And when you do attach the PU straps, by the way, make sure that when you lie the PU straps from bottom to top, the PU strap is wrong side up. Right. I do yam on about that in the pattern a Good. little bit, so I don't, you know. Yam. Uh, yam, yeah. Wang on or yam on. Yam on, okay, <laughs> fine. It's something that we do a lot. I do a lot. Yeah, yeah I'm on. Okay, so what we're going to need to do now. So that's how you that's how you treat the outer base. Yeah. Now it's time to bring the bag to the outer base together. I've made little notches at the front and the back center, and it's obvious what the middle of the um, side edges are because yeah. that's where the seams go. So the first thing to do is to <coughs> marry. So make sure you've got your back of your bag. So the back of your bag has the zip on it and make sure that the bag is not upside down because yeah. that's, you know, always important to do these little checks first because I still catch myself out all the time. There's only so, three of the teal left, I'm afraid. Oh, wow. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. It's super pretty, honestly. I asked, um, I asked them to, what did I ask them to choose? I think it was a toss up between, yeah. I, I was given some extra tilde and they gave me a lovely mustard tilde oh, okay. to go with the blue. Yeah. So people wanted tonal rather than contrast. Yeah. Right? I think they chose well. Okay, so I'm going to now match up the back centre of the base to the back centre bottom edge of the bag. Yeah. And uh, use pins or clips. We had the um, bag of wonder clips earlier, didn't we? Yeah, I, I found that I used We're clips and I found I used a mixture of clips and not one uh, now what are they quilting clips they're called quilting clips super handy yeah are you and i and i use sewing i use sewing clips or um pins yeah. and dressmaking it just kind of depends so first thing you need to do is match your side seam and side edge points of both pieces yeah and the front and back and then you kind of and then you kind of match up everything else 
And yes, I know these, you know, it's all a bit octopusy with the straps everywhere, yeah. but I could honestly think of no other way of putting the yeah. bag together. I think that's actually the most awkward bit of the bag making. But, but if you sit quietly, at yeah. your desk, don't be standing up, don't no, be having it, other people. Exactly. And you'll, you'll, you'll get moments where you go, oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. Yes. if you get a moment that, walk away, yes. go and have a cup of tea, go and do something, and then come back to it, you'll be fine. It's not, it's not hard, it's no. not technically difficult, it's just the straps are just Going kind all of, over the place, it's a yeah. bit like a wiggly toddler when you're, in a, when you're busy in the supermarket. It's not oh, impossible, okay. it's just a bit awkward. <laughs> You've taken Charlie shopping then, have you? Really? Does so, he like, oh, yeah. if I take Mabel shopping. Oh. If I take her shopping, oh How my. How old is she now? She's nearly 11. Oh, 11! <gasps> and she's, she's up to here well, on me. Well, that's not difficult. But she's got a very tall dad, doesn't she? She does, yeah, yeah. he's 6'2". Um, he's so, yeah. So yes. she could be taken after him, not you. We, in many ways. Oh, mm. no. <laughs> well, at least she'll be clever and have a proper job. What's sold out? <laughs> the teal bundle is sold out, but I've still oh. got the grey, the silver grey hardware, haven't I? Black one in now. Next in line to sell out is the black one. Ooh, yep, black goes with everything. Yeah. I, I want the pins at this stage. So when you are, um, when you're sewing curves onto the straight, it's always, always a good idea to just pin loads. Right. And um, when I'm at home and I'm sewing for myself or I'm sewing a sample for Sewing Street, I usually don't bother with the pins. I'm, you know, reasonably confident. Yeah, yeah, but you want people... But when it comes yeah. to curves, just, you know, yeah. be generous with the pins. Yeah. You'll be you'll be grateful to yourself yeah. that you did. And, and um, also, you have been doing it for hundred years, haven't you? You know what I mean? Yeah, so, no, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think I think you know that's part of the reason that I've gotten into dressmaking is to to mix things up. Yes. Yeah. Because bag making is something I can do without really thinking, thinking about, about it, it. Yeah, yeah. and I still love it. But, you know, to keep things but fresh and exciting. In, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I confess, you know, I, I'm, I'm the sort of person that likes challenges. I yeah, mean, that's not me to too. say I don't get as frustrated as everybody and turn the blue as much as everybody else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, sw I still will keep, I don't like being beaten by no. stuff, you know? But also, I think it's good every now and then to throw a new challenge into the mix I of things. I think so too. And even though yes. you're still in your comfort zone of sewing, yeah. you're sewing dresses now rather than. And you've always made Mabel little things, haven't you? Yes, I have. Yeah, and um, you know, and she's still luckily still at the age of where she appreciates them. It's so cute taking her to the charity shop, and yeah. she's like, "Well, I won't take anything you've made, Mummy. Um, you know, I just I, I can't take anything that you know." You, so oh. she kept all of her yeah, small. Yeah, you wait. I'm, yeah, Eighteen right months now. time, I'll be <laughs> stand, we'll be standing here, and you'll be like, "Oh, Get you'll never guess what she room, did. Yeah. <laughs> you'll never guess what she's done this week." <laughs> oh, don't, oh, don't. Yeah. I've, I've well, seen there's the there now. Then Sewing Street, there's an idea for a teaching session. What's Putting that? on the idea. Oh, hang on. I don't understand what that means, Margaret. There's an idea for a teaching session. Putting on the idea tip, John Z. Scott has just given to Lee. I don't know what you mean, Margaret, that one, but anyway. Suzanne says, morning, Lisa. Hello, I bought Suzanne. the bag in steel blue and can't wait to make it. Oh, thank you very much. And Julie Vaughan says it's good to challenge yourself. It is, yes, it is, it even is. if it's a little challenge. It, yeah, exactly, it, exactly. It's good for your, good for your mind, it isn't is it? It is good when for your mind and the satisfaction yes. is, you know, yeah. just makes you feel like, hmm. Yeah, exactly. And it doesn't matter what, you know, how long you've been doing anything. No. You, you need that, a little yeah, exactly. bit of that all the time. Exactly. I just wanted to say yeah. um, that in, it, I'm pretty sure that in the instructions, I've put the date of when I was demoing this. Today? The, it, yeah, can you have a quick look? I'll have a quick look for can you. Can you have a look at the front? It should be in the first couple of pages. See me demo this bag on Sewing Street, yes. 26th of February, 1923. 19, 2023. <laughs> On the Sewing Street YouTube channel. Me. I wouldn't have put past me to mention that. And at the back, I've, yeah. I've written how people can contact me if they didn't understand anything I said on the show, yeah. or they just want to ask me a question, yeah. or they just want to show, oh, show it, their yeah. bag. Tag me on Sewing Street fans page or so Lisa Lamb page. Yes. Tag, but ta uh, yeah, tag, tag, tag. tag yeah. Don't send, don't send, like, like um, when Joel Landall says this, don't send a private message, because if you don't know the person, yes, exactly. uh, you don't, we don't open them. Like, I got one, I've got a few this week same, that, that people I don't know, and I've just deleted them, because I don't know what, that, I haven't even opened because them. Because sometimes you know they're I mean? scams, so yes, you yes, don't yes, open so everything. Careful, yeah. But yeah, just do, just do the at sign, yeah. and my name, on either of those sites mentioned, and, yeah. and I will always help. 
And sometimes... Or I could give you her address and you could pop round. <laughs> uh, yeah, get in the queue. Yeah. <laughs> And sometimes it's really nice. You are you you get other fans tagging you, saying, "Oh, so and so needs somebody's help." Yeah. Oh, yes, yes, yes. It's really yes. nice. Yeah. yeah, but sometimes people put a thing on going, "Oh, or someone goes, oh, I've made this lovely Lisa Lamb bag day, but they haven't managed to tag you in it." I always then tag the person, like you or whoever it is, so you can see it. You yeah, know I mean? which is lovely. Yeah. Morning, Lee. Gorgeous Lisa Lamb says Christine. Thank you, Christine. And uh, Carmela says, I'm a dressmaker and now made some she quilts is. for my grandkids and Carmella. made myself one of Lisa's handbags and halfway through a basic pack, pack, backpack. That's Carmela. Nice. Do show it to me, Carmela. Yeah. Oh, she's made some fantastic clothes. Oh, actually, do you she know Carmela? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, funky sewer. Definitely a funky sewer. Oh. She's funky been, she's sewer been giving me tips. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I, I do sometimes ask the fans for sewing tips. Yeah. Because there's a, it's a wealth of knowledge. Yeah, exactly. For we free. all learn, but we're only all of us are only where we're at by our, you know, by exactly. somebody teaching and us. And you'll you'll get a response ever so quickly as well, which is really, really nice. Yeah. So this is taking me longer than usual because yeah. I've got those octopusy yeah, straps. We, we to have do got with. to go home at one o'clock. Yes, I know. Well, yeah, just like congratulate yourself for an, uh, a fantastic week. Yeah, it's been amazing. Couldn't do this every week. Could you do this every week? Uh, I couldn't do these hours every week because we've been starting early at six o'clock, yeah. So how many more hours is that than usual? Because you, well, no, you've no, got no a, we've split it, we split it, it, but oh, it's, yeah, just yeah. Been, it's just been, like, like most days we've had like either three or four guests, do you know what I mean? Yes. It's kind of, sort of the prep and getting ready and dealing with temp temperamental guests, you know. <laughs> oh, but I was saying to the girls in the green room, from the viewer's point of view, I think it's been ever so smooth. Oh yeah, You've no, done, it has. has, has, has I yeah. think they've done a great job, yeah. haven't they? Apart you know? from your walking foot. Yeah, yes, well, yeah, but I've got my step. That's yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm your happy step. to have my step. Right. Okay. So I've got millions of pins and yeah. things. Now I'm going to sew do, it now. I'm going to yes, yeah, sew it with one centimetre seam. Right. As you sew around the curves, you absolutely are going to get wrinkles. That's absolutely fine. But just as you do it, try and space out the wrinkles rather than making them bunch up to one side. That's not not so good looking. But as I said, don't worry about the wrinkles. Right. While you're saying that, I'm just going to go through what bundles we've got left. Okay. So I've got what's one you got in at the moment? Black, 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 black. So what you get in your black bundle is you get your instructions, you get all of the hardware that you need, you get a little zip, and you get half a meter of cream and half a meter of your dragonflies for forty nine ninety nine. Okay, we're all right on stock of those for the time being. And how many? Okay, more people got it in baskets than we've got stock of. More people got baskets, so please check out. Now, I've also got it without the fabric, but as I keep saying, you're getting, the, you're getting all this fabric for five pounds, because look, the, the, the hardware and the pattern on its own. 44.99. Don't make no sense to Ben. No, no, me neither. Oh no, it's the new fabric's new. not in it. It's, it's new stuff. Pardon? It's new. It's new. It's new. Okay, so that's the black one. Then we've got the uh, racing green one. So this one here, you've got your racing green PU hardware. You've got the instructions. You've got the zip, and then you've got Tilda, which we know that's seven ninety nine already, don't we? Right, and then that there is three fifty five, but you're only paying five pounds for it. I don't know what's gone on. To avoid wrinkles at the base, could you? Could you put in an E stitch before sewing it in? Says What's the tractor. An e stitch? Uh, you put it's like a gathering stitch around the edge, and you just slightly pull it in so that it makes a slight curve. Yes, you could you, if you're very detail orientated. But you're never yeah, going to see you, it because it's going to be covered. Yeah, with because the PU. it's going to be covered with. But then, if you're an uber perfectionist, I don't see why not. No, a tractor's a an amazing bit. sewer. She does fantastic sewing. She is sewing. an amazing sewer. Yeah, yeah. and the tractor's been one of the ladies who's been giving me sewing advice. So oh, is I'm she? I'm not going to argue with her. Emily says, "Morning, John and Lisa, and everyone. Just ordered four of the sat, four of the satchels, oh, four wow. of Thank the satchels." You. Uh, to make for my best friend's birthday throughout the year. I'm oh, sure they will love them. You'll really enjoy making those. I, 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 it's very hard to gift those. If you, like, you're making one to give, you'll make it and then you think, 
still are really hard yeah. to get. In the 12 o'clock <laughs> hour, Lisa's <laughs> doing the sat satchels. <laughs> right, we've got them in. Oh, four colours. They're in red, lilac or lavender, green and bluey, silvery blue. Half the stock of every single one is, has gone. Half oh. the stock of every one has gone. And uh, now, um, your last time you were on, uh, yes. Charlie made one for his girlfriend. And really? he was, yeah, and he was supposed to bring it in today. Oh, amazing. But he's saying hotel, forgot to bring it, forgot to bring a nice shirt, so he can't come on next. He'll have some branded <laughs> shirt on. <laughs> Flowers. That's it. I don't think I've seen you yet this morning, ever, Charlie? Yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry, Merlin, we're trying to sort the same machine out. Oh, that's really cute. Oh, hang on, I haven't done the black one without the... So, hang on, I haven't done the green one without the fabric, have I? Need to do the green one. That's my, my fault, my fault, my fault. There you go, it's the green one without the fabric. But again, you're getting £12, £13 worth of fabric. Oh, now Catherine's bought the lilac satchel on pre-order. And I'm telling myself, no more purchase purchases. <laughs> Uh, and then you. said that. Uh, I might also have bought a Mandy Shaw item as it's been such a good week and I've ha I've decisively... Oh, I think spell check's gone a bit weird with your message, Catherine, today. I have been decisively items from Monday and Tuesday. Happy days. Julie Vaughan's bought two satchels on pre-order, Sage oh. and Grey. I don't want to miss out again. No, Thank don't. Thank you, Julie. Oh, sorry, that's not in there. 44.99. Uh, Charlie says they're so fun to make. All you need to do is learn how to do saddle stitch. Yeah, Which we're going to show you at 12 o'clock. Yes. And he made, had to make it in secret because he didn't want Hattie to know. Mm. And they live in this, well, they live in a house together, so he had to keep it That's hidden. That's so there. nice. What so when she really... was on night shifts, because she's trained to be a nurse, she was on night shifts, he'd do it then. How mega thoughtful. Oof. She oh. loved it in the end. <laughs> but Charlie used it mostly. Oh. <laughs> well, next to Charlie, it looks quite big, you see. He's only little, with his little legs. Takes him to the gym with his PE kit in. Well. A little bit of lycra rolls up the, and his shoes are, did he little shoes? They, they tend, males tend to carry less because. Males? Yes, males, they, they tend to. And then if it gets too much for the back pockets. Yeah. Because the circuit back pocket is not a brilliant. No. Thing, woman ends up ha holding it. Oh, you're very traditional, aren't uh, you? Well. <laughs> it's different at uh, them. They arrived at um, Stuart's birthday. Yes. Right? Uh, she didn't. She arrived just in these very torn jeans. I thought she had come. Oh, thought she forgot to put her bottoms on. Ooh. And Charlie <laughs> had the bag with everything in it. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, look at the time. I didn't realise it went up at the time. Then. How are we doing? For uh, time? We're about to run out. We've got about three minutes really? left. Oh my goodness. Yeah. All right. Okay. How much do I have left to go around? Keep going, and okay. then we can talk through the rest of it. Okay. Yes, we haven't even got to embroider. Well, I tell you what we should do, uh, Ben. We should run the embroidery thread through because yes. uh, we're not going to get to that bit and we'll need to talk it through because you do need yes. embroidery thread to attach your bottom and your flap to yes, the front, right? We do. These are bundles of lots of different colours we've got here. Which one do you want to do first? Is that LK6668? Yeah. Right, so in here. Beautiful. 7 99 Now, these are not just for the bag making. These are brilliant for your stash. You get six skeins in there in all the lovely bright colours because you're going to need the colour... You're going to need embroidery thread to stitch your flap and your bottom on. Yes. OK, so that's the bright one. YW6661. YV, sorry, YV. This is pastels. Again, you've got six there. It's because it's the end of the week, that's why. It's been a long week. But a good week. Beautiful. Then I've got the, um, I've either got neutrals or metallics. Neutrals now. Oh, now this one's slightly different because you've got the thicker, do not, oh, I'll tell you where these are from. These are from Cara's, these are from Cara's show this week. They've just thrown them in. Do not, do not try and split the perle ones. Yeah, the, um, there's no splitting needed for them. Oh, for any of them? Yes. No splitting needed for any of them. No, and then I've got no. the metallic -y ones here. There you go, metallic and white and black. 
That one's nine ninety nine. Six pieces there. Right, Lisa Lamb, talk me through the rest of the bag, please. Okay, Sorry. Okay, right. So I've now stitched the fabric base on. Yeah. And the next thing I do is turn attentions to the PU base. Right. So that's so this is the right side with the bottom. Obviously, on, the feet. Uh, and that's the wrong side. I would get some um filters. wonder tape. Yep. Got one to tape, prim one to tape, nine metres of it. And then, oh, it's sold out. Sold and I've put a few few strips along here. Yeah. And in pencil, I've marked the long edge centre, top and bottom, yeah. and the side edge. And then I would marry the fabric base to the PU base like that. So that's yeah. wrong side to right side fabric. Right. And you might find the tape isn't quite enough gumption on its own. So it's absolutely fine to match center points and then use one wonder clip like that you'll find that that's really helpful so the tape and the wonder clip yeah. put a wonder clip here will be really useful then you're going to get your tailors all put your hand inside the bag and then every sew hole that you see here punch a, a decent sized sew hole using your tailors all right got that tailors all super useful item yeah. to have and then you're going to um hand stitch the base to the base yeah and I'm going to you you would use uh, using double thread right does that make oh, sense double so, yeah double yeah. embroidery thread. So don't you, split it don't, don't split it and dub and double up as well because right. I think that the sew holes are a little bit too big so a single a single thread looks a little bit mean oh, okay but double looks nice yeah it's double the strength oh, as you well you put two different colors in oh yeah that'd be, be nice cool. wouldn't it in yeah, that one be, you could do a teal and a yeah, pink and or a teal pink, and a gold that'd yeah that'd be really yeah. snazzy absolutely okay so that would be your base stitched on and then you would put uh your lining bag and your outer bag right sides together there is a, a gap in yeah. the lining side edge for turning out lovely by the way mm -hmm. so that goes into that yeah spaghetti straps and everything and all come on uh, come on uh. did yeah. you ever watch um a film um uh, called edward uh and it stars bella lugosi in it no it's very very funny johnny depp and um i've seen adverts i've seen adverts right yeah but it's very seen. funny but bella lugosi has to fight with a rubber octopus and it's so naff and it's hilarious. So oh, and that's what your bag, think you're thinking your bag is, yes, right? Indeed. Okay, so you've got, you put your lining inside. Yes. So now I, I've got my, um, I've got my uh, drawstring band. Yeah. The measurements uh, are in the pattern. I've got a double layer of interfacing inside and I've got eight eyelets. Right. Which is basically- Eyelets available on the website? Two pairs at the front, two, um, a pair at the front, a pair at the back, and a, um, a pair at the side. Yeah. That goes in, that goes on, upside down and right sides together. Okay, this is all in the instructions. All in the instructions, around the bag yeah. and a key clip as well. Right. And then the, the metal wear is also in the kit. Yeah. Goes anywhere you like. So I like to have it on the, the back. Side. On the so back, okay. On the, yeah, yeah, I like to have it on the back. You can have it on the side if you yeah. want. And that gets stitched yeah. on at the same time. And then sew everything around. Brilliant. The base, oh actually I forgot to mention, on the back, on the back of the um, drawstring band, right. I know you cannot see this, but I've actually taken the PU flap, I've laid it on top of the um, drawstring band, and I've done the same thing with the awl, I've right. made stitch holes. So you do that readiness. before you stitch yes, it in? Yes, in okay. readiness, sorry it's all disjointed, That's all right. but all of the steps are in the pattern. Uh, and then the flap is actually the last thing that you stitch onto the bag. So it's basically the last step that you do. And I, I instruct you how to do that in the pattern as well. Fantastic. Lisa will be back in an hour's Ooh. time with her little satchels. In the meantime, don't go anywhere because we have got four minutes and Mandy Shaw will be back with even more goodies for you. We'll see you in four. This Thursday, the 2nd of March, is our sister channel, Hobby Makers, first birthday. And because of that, they're taking over the airways. So Sewing Street won't be on. But don't worry, on Wednesday, the 1st of March, we've packed twice as much into our hours, so you won't miss out. Adam Brooks is going to be there doing some amazing demonstrations. Your favorite products will still be there. So we will see you for a bumper day on Wednesday 
Wednesday the 1st and on Thursday we'll hand over the hours to Hobby Maker to celebrate their first birthday. Don't miss either of them. We'll see you there. Happy third birthday, Sewing Street, and many more to follow. Hello, this is Emma Bradford from the Swift Quilting Company. Just wishing Sewing Street a very happy third birthday and many, many years more to come. Happy birthday! Hi Sewing Street, it's Fiona from SoGar here. Just want to wish everybody a very happy birthday at Sewing Street 3 today. How amazing is that? Um, it's time's gone so fast, I can't believe it. Anyway, look forward to seeing you all at studio very soon. Take care, lots of love, bye! Hi, this is Rebecca from Sewing Street. Just to let you know, we've got the Crafters Companion Takeover this Tuesday from 9 till 12. Sarah Davis will be launching the brand new Gemini Junior cutting machine. Plus, anyone who buys anything from Crafters Companion that day will get a free gift with every purchase. And of course, it wouldn't be a takeover without a few special bargains too. So, join us for the Crafters Companion takeover this Tuesday from 9 till 12. from So Pretty So Mindful. I'm just on to say a massive happy birthday to Sewing Street. You're three years old today. Yay! Hello everyone. It's Jane Greenoff wishing Sewing Street a very happy birthday. Have a lovely day everyone. Bye. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker.
Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Now, remember, if you buy anything from today's show, on the show, right, if you buy anything from the show today, your name will go into a virtual hat. And one of you, at 10 o'clock tomorrow, Rebecca Reed will announce that one person has won a Brother sewing machine, Creative Grid Rulers, Liberty Rainbow Fat Quarter Pack, and a Native Light and Clips Ring Light. How brilliant is that? All you have to do is buy something. Now, your name goes into the hat the amount of times you buy something. So if you buy 10 items today, your name goes in 10 times. If you buy one item today, your name goes in once, right? Now, the next thing is if you buy on the website, right? Uh, now, I've got a slide to show this one, but if you buy on the website, three people will win £150 credit to go onto their account. Oh, no, brilliant, isn't it? That's from the website, that's not from the show. So you can go on the website, buy a quick unpick, and your name goes in the hat once, you see? Brilliant. Right, now, Mandy's back. Hello, Mandy. Hello, darling. It feels like such a long day. It's like oh, a no. marathon Bless today, you isn't guys. it? Bless you guys, you must be exhausted. Right, so, where shall we start? Right, I've got, I've got demos on, well, let's do this first. Let's do Mar Marigold first. You do not get the chair, you do not get the chair. <laughs> but if you ring Phil, he might make you one. Oh, I don't think he will at the minute. <laughs> oh, he's a bit busy. He's a bit busy. A bit busy. <laughs> right, so, for 36 99 you obviously don't, I'm just gonna move the chair so it doesn't. Yeah. Over half the stock has gone on pre-order already, right? Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Right, so for 36 99 this is gorgeous corduroy. Oh, it's stunning. It's beautiful, isn't gorgeous, it? Yeah. Right, so in what you get in your kit, oh, sit still. What you get in your kit here, it, it's beautiful. It's such good quality. Jumbo, oh, beautiful. Right, so you do get your cord. You get your blue for your dress. You get embroidery thread for your... Eyes and nose and arms. Your eyes are buttons, aren't they? Yeah, but you have to sew them on. Oh, sew them on. Yeah. And your earrings. And There's an earring. Yeah, yes, an earring. And the mouth. Yeah. Right, then you've got your little wool felt for your nose. Then you've got buttons for your earrings. What's the big button for? Arm joints. Arm joints. Oh, my word. You get everything, basically. Then you also get the instructions. Now, the instructions will have in them all the right size uh, pattern pieces for your bear, there's your leg, your body, eye, that must be the head, head gusset, trousers, trousers? Well, he, there, there's a trouser pattern in there, but you're, you're making a dress. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. So if you want to make it into a little boy, you can make it into a little yeah, boy. Yeah, because his, 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 well, his brother is Otis. Oh, in the beige. I see, I see, uh, we I see. We had I see, him on before, see. John, do you remember that? Oh, yes, 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 yes. So anyway, so you get all of that, 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 36 99 half the stock has gone on pre-order. So please be careful. Please be careful. That's that one. Uh, and we're doing a bit of a demo on that afterwards. Something else we're going to be doing a demo on is the little thatch cottage needle case. Needle case. Needle case, not handbag. Not yeah. handbag, but wouldn't it be a cute handbag? <laughs> Look, it's called a cottage needle case. Beautiful. So now in there, that's exquisite wool on there. Everything you need. Everything. So do I need anything else on this one? No, nothing. 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 No, nothing. So for your thirty-two ninety-nine in here, we get all sorts in here. Look, you get your instructions right with all your pattern pieces. Oh, they're a bit different those. Uh, they're not yeah, got, you haven't written because, them by yeah, hand because they were made they're made into a they were made into a download oh okay we okay haven't done proper, proper so then things. then you get a bit of bonder web then you get a bit of bosal or r form or yeah. foam then you get a bit of wadding oh then you get a lot of red wool felt that's wool felt yeah yeah, yeah, yeah red wool yeah. felt yeah they oh look now your fabrics oh no they're fabric that's the inside yeah. fabric yeah. that's the outside fabric Ooh, that's nice. Where's that then? Oh, they make your pouches and your little bags yeah. inside. Then you've got a little piece of elastic, twang. Then you've got some red embroidery thread. 
Then on here, you've got buttons galore. Oh, and a little pom pom -y thing. Little from, from... It's a little magnet keeper, look. Do you see that underneath that little dome? Oh, there. Yeah, is a magnet underneath there. Look, and that's from Japan, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, and there's the magnet. Yeah. My word. Uh, you put your own scissors in. You don't yes, get I scissors. Did. Yeah, they there. are not. Um, yeah, not scissors. Yes. Not scissors. Thirty-two pounds and ninety-nine pence, and we've got a little demo on that coming up later. Then I've got the bunny purse. Bunny, bunny, bunny. This is cute, isn't it? Look. So I stuffed it a bit. Yeah, you put a lot of stuff. Obviously, you'd have to put all this in yours. <laughs> There it is. Beautiful. So again, in here <clears throat> for twenty nine ninety nine. This linen is beautiful. That, that linen is so. <gasps> I nearly didn't cut it up. Oh no! Oh, I can understand yeah. that. That's beautiful. So you've got your check linen. You've got your uh, natural linen. You've got your embroidery thread. You've got uh, beige rickrack. You've got embroidered rickrack. You've got your clasp. And you've got your instructions. Do I need anything else? No, nothing else. Oh, iron and there's your little um, iron-on transfer of your little, no, not mice, rabbits, rabbits. And that will make that for £29.99. There's even a bit of piping left in that one. We've got a little demo coming up on that one later. Then last but not least, we've got the quilt that's on the wall behind Mandy. So now, the quilt that you can make from this kit is that size. It's that size. Right? It's but, huge. Yeah, it's huge. So that's 16 blocks, but you could obviously make it 9, 4, whatever yeah, you fancy. Yeah, so yeah. what you get in here, I'll show you that in a minute. <gasps> it's beautiful, isn't it? What? Look at all this white linen. White linen. That's beautiful. So then, what's all this for? That's oh, for iron-on interfacing. Iron-on interfacing yeah, yeah. for the back. Yeah, yeah. Excuse me. Excuse me. All that, all that, all that, all that. But, 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 that's not all. Because in the instructions, it's a whole book of how to make it, right? But you also get all of your iron on transfers. So you get six, oh, you get 16, do you get more 16. than 16? What do you want about the little ones then? Yeah, oh, and these as well. 16 yeah. And, yeah, so you get yeah, 16 yeah. big ones and all the little ones as well. Look, there are the little ones around the edge. So these are all iron on transfers. Remember, you can use these up to six times. Infill with chain. That's a funny. Yeah, it's a. Um, oh, you yeah, infill yeah, it. I see. Infill, I thought it was. Yeah. I thought it was a mantra. No, no, infill no. With no infill with chain. You got Christmas yeah. on there. You got your little babushka dolls on there. Your little house, buttons, flowers, rabbits, key to the door, empty. Well, empty ones are so you can sign it or do your own little Yeah, thing, so bunting. Yeah. There's loads. There's loads and loads. So they're all the little ones. And then you move on to the big ones. Got skitters. Got hands with hearts. You need hands. What's that? What's the inspiration of that one then? Um, friendship. Oh, friendship. Oh, okay. Friendship. Tape measure. Yeah. Buttons. Yeah, love buttons. Infill chain, there it is again. Yeah. Little houses. Home, home is where the heart home is. Home is where the heart is. Have you got your shed on there? Oh, yeah, I there have, it I is. Have, yeah, yeah, she has, she has. Look, at the bottom of man. Yeah. So, let me explain, right? That when Mandy's houses were built in Edwardian times, <clears throat> the man who built the houses lived in the one that Mandy's yeah. in. And at the end of the garden, he built, I call it the shed, right? But it's another like little house, a little wooden house. It's mm. gorgeous. Mm. And it looks exactly like that. <clears throat> so at the end of the garden, then at the back, you look out there and there's a railway line and beautiful yeah. trees. Yeah. And, but you've also got little barn, not barns, but well, little, other little sheds. Other little sheds and everything room, in, right? Yeah. But that's what it looks like with a little veranda. That's the shed. That's the shed. Can you imagine what the house looks like? <laughs> oh no. And she's got an extension. Very oh, oh, beautiful extension nice, on the yeah. kitchen. Yeah. I've seen a new extension, haven't you? Well, it was half built, wasn't it, when I came round? Oh, Do you remember wow, when we came round? Yeah. Oh, that's three years ago. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> it was half built, yeah. yeah. But it's lovely. I've seen pictures of it. Bunting, flat. Anyway, I'm not going to go through them all. But you get all of those for £130. Split pay, £65 twice. So, John, what's not there? Oh, hang on. What's this? Oh, that's just another little side light, another little pattern, uh, how you can make. Uh, with with nine patch. Oh, okay. Yes. Is so that same, this? Same design. So yeah. you get that in it. I don't as think well. it is that quilt though. But no, that no. You get that in it. it. Yeah, you yeah, get that yeah, one yeah, in yeah, it. Yeah. So you get another pattern. Yeah. So you can use the um, 
hearts, but then do like a little, is that an Irish shame? Yeah. So you one? only need five hearts for that, so it yeah. makes it small cook quite quick. Right, and then what's this one here? This is just have... another one, which is nine, I think it's a nine patch, is it? A okay. nine, nine, just to show you that, that you, you can don't do a have to have large. Yeah. But once you start chipping away at these, they do, they do pick <coughs> up quite quickly. But the bundle you're buying is big enough to make that huge yeah. one, isn't and it? And also, it, it hasn't got it though, I'm afraid, I apologise, it does have the backing. It's got polka dot backing, back you know. I, I need, I, but you mean binding? A backing. Backing. You get the whole of the yeah, backing yeah, on that yeah, as well? Yeah, we do, yeah. Yeah, we do. Yeah, what? We do. Yeah. Okay, that makes but it very it, different, doesn't it? Because now you don't have to buy any backing for it. You do have to buy wadding. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, normally yeah. we sell quilt kits with the front of yeah. the binding. Well, we, we don't, we, we didn't because we, we actually use, this will be binding as well. This will yeah, yeah. flip around. Is it one that you do from the back and bring it forward? You can do, but we haven't done that with okay. that. But we're just worried that you, you wouldn't have the, we, we've got everything that matches here. We've got everything so that for your 130 pounds, you also get your backing as well. Mm -hmm. Right, so what I would do is I'd back it with some white fabric I've got at home save the fabric. and save that because yeah. it'd be a huge yeah. wadge of fabric, yeah. wouldn't it, for the backing? Yeah. yeah, and then just bind it in that. Yeah, yes, that'd be lovely. That'd be anyway, lovely. it depends where you're going to put it. Yeah, I but suppose. that's actually got the dots. Oh, on it that's as well, gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that hangs in my hall. I was about to say, where does that live? In so, hall, have you yeah. got a big dusty square on your wall now where we've taken that one down? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You do I, change. I, you I do swap do... them all the time. Yeah. <laughs> So you go to Mandy's, go through the front door. If it's nearing Easter, there's all Easter decorations. Obviously Christmas decorations, because oh, people crazy. stop to look at her front window at Christmas, don't they? They do. They do. Uh, but every time you go round a different season, there's different... Yeah, yeah. We like just had birthday cushion. celebrations at home, because it's Harriet's birthday, so we yeah. had all the birthday. And was she there? King for Queen. She was there, yeah. Oh, King for a day, Queen for a day. Queen for the day, yeah. yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah. And also remember the great big, this nothing to do with birthdays, but in your lounge, you've got an amazing quilt. Oh, old one, antique one. Yeah, yeah hanging on yeah. the wall. And the dust. Oh, the dust, John, the dust. <laughs> the dust. <laughs> anyway, now look, I've also got the instructions on their own for this quilt, which, now that must include the, does that include the, um, all the transfers. All the transfers like, and everything oh, yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah. So if you just want the pattern, you didn't want to use Mandy's fabric, $24.99. $24.99. And don't forget, each transfer can be used up to six times. Yes, yeah. So, so you can make cushions, you can make, cushions, so got, yeah, you make yeah, quilts, yeah, you could make, yeah. use them for anything. Hanging really. hearts, you can make hanging hearts. A big there. hanging yeah, hearts, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, and little hanging hearts yeah, as well, yeah. 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 Brilliant. Right, so let's start with... Honey, uh, uh, marigold. marigold, 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 and we'll do a demo on marigold. Right, okay. If that's all right. Yes. Indeed. What time is it? Always oh, twenty past nearly already. All right. Okay. So let's just um, check that I'm standing in the right position. Yeah, yes, you've got your thumb on the little okay, book. Now you're not standing on your mat. Oh, oh what, what is this for my ankles? Is this for my <laughs> your, your cankles? My cankles. Oh, John. <laughs> Did you notice they were cankly? I don't know. I'm only joking. <laughs> Yeah, but I've got cankles. She's got cankles. I've got cankles. Anyway, so I just want to go through the bits of the bear that might cause you trauma. It, it, it might, well, it won't cause you, cause you trauma, but might cause you a little bit of anguish. So we're going to co cover those bits for you. Um, Corduroy is delicious and wonderful, but it has a grain. So you must make sure that all your pattern pieces um, face the right way, or all the same way. Doesn't yes, really matter, yeah. all the same way. But he, she's quite smooth facing down. So just smooth her like an old cat and make sure that all your pattern pieces... Um, an old cat. An old cat. One that jumps out at you and makes you bang your head. Yeah, well, like, yeah, I've had violent cats, John, in my life. Oh, they're not violent. He was just he was just frightened, that was all. Yeah, all right. Uh, quick, quick, I've got a few questions oh, here yes, for yeah. you. Uh, hello, can you fit a mobile phone into the bunny purse? Thank you for a brilliant morning. I've spent a fortune, says Jan. Yes, here, this can. bunny purse, easily, easily. Oh, he says, he's, yeah, yeah, easily, look. You can always make it go the other way, the long way. I'll show you in a second. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so, in answer to that question, yes, you can. Uh, Julie Vaughan says, "I've made the bunny purse. It's fabulous due to the fantastic pattern and the instructions. It just looks like Mandy's. I'm thrilled." And then Catherine said, "I made this quilt for my late mum. It now lives with my mum's best friend. I got another kit ages ago to make for myself. It's in my to-do pile. I just adore Mandy and all her wonderful creations." Oh, darling, from lovely. Catherine. Oh, Catherine, thank you, Catherine. That's very. Right. Right. Sorry, carry on, carry on. Right. Okay, so we're just going to um, address the ear situation. Uh -huh. And um, ears always make the, be the bears look lovely, have a great atmosphere, uh, you know, great uh, personality. So we're going to make a um, little bit of an unusual ear. Uh, the rest of the bear is very, very easy. This just needs a little bit of um, thinking about. So you're going to make your ears, um, 
you're going to cut your ears out and sew them together and you are going to turn them the right way out and then what you're going to do is when you've when you've done your this is your piece that looks for your side of your head yeah. you're going to make the little darts on the side like okay. you would do normally yeah so you, you're cutting them out and you cut a slit but we use fold them back together and just sew along there and that's a side dart on the bottom only and then with this ear at the top of the ear you're going to do something slightly strange you're going to put your ear in the slit not your ear not your own ear darlings not your own ear you're going to put your ear in the slit but you're going to stop um, at least a half an inch quarter of an inch from the end from the end there right you see that? and then you're going to stitch that let's see what happens it's, it's I love my machine so badly at home and I can do it I can use it with my eyes closed and I get here then I'm I'm rendered useless John just, you for, just for a little while you're useless well, no, on other people's machines I oh just, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah I am um... oh stop Mandy did I <laughs> stop myself <laughs> right so let me just show you what I've done so I've stitched um, to a quarter of an inch from the end, half an inch from the end, quarter of an inch, half an inch. Right. Now, um, I stitch quite close to the uh, edge there. That's a bit dangerous right. because of uh, we love corduroy beautifully, but it does fray badly. So just, I might go over that again yeah. or reduce your stitch length for safety, okay? Yeah. So what you're going to do then is you're going to take the ear, make sure it's facing the nose, yeah. and you're going to move that piece. You might want to give that a little slit just there into the corner just go into the seam really just into yeah. the seam that's lovely um, and you're going to move your ear forward towards the nose right and it actually does move quite nicely yeah do you see that it moves mm -hmm. quite nicely so we're going to pin that and you're going to stitch that ear in place so just and you I'm put your cardigan on inside out oh did i well, no, there's a label. Oh, no, it's just rolling oh. up. <laughs> I just got so cold. I, it's, a, it's a sign of getting old, getting No, cold. it's freezing in the building. Yeah. Actually, it's, it's a cold day out there today. It's cold oh. in the real life outside yes, as well. Yes, yeah. Yeah. And, and look how lovely that is, John. Oh, oh look. delicious. And that creates the lovely little earishness. That creates a lovely little earishness that, that, that it is. Yeah. So they're worth doing. So just follow the instructions, but also have a little look at this video. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And the other little bit that we're going to have a go at together, you put the two sides of the heads together, the right sides together. Give the, always pin corduroy because, or a wonder clip because um, corduroy moves. It shimmers around on each yeah, other. Yeah, it's because the whale, isn't it? it yeah. Doesn't lie flat. But we love we st this fabric is delicious. We're yeah. using it for soft toys, but it's. Uh, wonderful for clothing um so pin well okay i am going to stitch over my pins i'm one of those girls that's okay but i will do it quite gently yeah and if you break the machine you pay for it just yeah so i will do darling <laughs> i'm going to so lovingly this sounds lovely the machine doesn't it you're talking to me, John. I'm talking what? to you. I'm, I'm talking just... to you. You're not listening to me. No, I'm not. What were you saying? I said the, the, the machine sounds lovely. Yeah, it's the same machine I've got. Yeah, lovely. And I think I've got that as well, haven't I, in my, other, in my workshop. Okay. Right, OK. So I stitched for, for nose to neck. Yeah. But I left a gap at the seam again. Aha. Uh -huh. Why? So that I can get my little nose in, inserted oh, in OK. There. Right. So when I went to make the sample for <coughs> this, I made the bear. We got, in, you know, and I made it in a second and I stuffed it and I went to put the eyes on and I could not get the gusset to fit in. I kept thinking, oh, is it really that bad? I'm going to have to re... And what I had done, I had cut the gusset out with a wrong straight of grain, that sog means straight of grey oh, and right. what I had done is I cut this the out and it was too long so be beware that girls yeah follow your grain straight of grain across so we're going to grab the nose and we're going to open up our seam and we're just going to place our nose in the seam and we're going to do something a little bit if we can do this if you did it by hand you'd be able to do this very very easily yeah but what i want to do is just give you a good a head start and just sew that little bit of nose first right. not the side seams yeah so that we can turn it around better okay right. and that's if we can do that um that that just that gives us an edge but if you were doing it by hand it's no problem whatsoever 
And of course, again, I would say to you that this, this sews beautifully by hand. So yeah. if you were going to make the bear by hand. So, so do you see what I've done? I've just given a little sew there so that holds the nose in place. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take the gusset right round the top of the head, right round the back, and you're going to pin it on the back first. Right. No one does that. They always think, oh, we'll just w wing our way round. But you always end up too much gusset. Yeah, Do you know yeah, that? Why, yeah, why yeah. is that, John? I'm not sure. I don't know. Yeah, it's just it's a, always, it's always <coughs> human nature, yeah. is it? Thinking I yeah. can do this. Yeah. So we're just <coughs> going to just ease it in. You have got different grains fighting themselves here. So just ease it in and pin really well. And what you do is you pin one side first and then you're going <coughs> to pin the second side second. <laughs> But what, what I'm saying is do not try and uh, sew um, both sides at the same time. Uh -huh. And you'll find, look at that, can you just see how beautifully that sits in there? So I've been quite gentle, I haven't pulled or tugged. Yeah. And I, because I had it at the back pinned, it, it didn't go yeah. loopy doopy on me. I think what happens is when you're doing it, when you don't pin it at the end, yeah. you kind of ease it round more yeah. and that's why it ends yeah. up not yeah. fitting. Yeah. So you see it fits like a glove yeah. and I've put lots of pins in, lots and lots of pins mm -hmm. in. So I'm going to sew from that little, that little area there, that ice, um, from the front of the nose to the back. Yeah. And that's the first side's always easy to do that. The second side's not quite so easy, but Lovely. we'll manage that. Um, and then after we've done this head, you'll find that all the body parts go together like a little glove. And you'll find... You'll, you'll like a little find what? A little glove, John. Oh. A little glove. Uh, um, I'm going to... When I do sew over these pins, I'm not... I'm not... Uh, I am quite careful. Yeah. About what I'm doing. Well, you're not racing, are you? No. Uh, I've got a little bit of a crunk there, but I will ignore that for now, and then we'll worry about that later. Crunk, crunk. Um, um, some I, I use a, sometimes when I'm making soft toys and things. I use a very low key, a walking foot. A right. walk I've got a, a walking foot attached to my machine. Yeah. So those little um, crunks, I call them little creases and yeah. lumps. Crunk. Crunk. Crease and lump. Creak, crease and lump. Should we put that in the dictionary? Do you think it'll make the dictionary? No, because it should be a crump then, if it's a, a crease and a lump. <laughs> it should be crump. Crumpet. Oh, right, and you just do that. A little bit neater, perhaps, than I've done. Yeah. Here. But that's okay. That's okay. And then. Thing is, 100 people are going to buy this bear, and there's going to be 100 different looking bears. Oh. Do you know what I mean? It's, oh, you're right. Oh, it's just a little bit. Little when bit uh, blood. <laughs> we do a Joe Carter soft toy, yeah. and people put the pictures on Facebook, they're all completely different, and yet they're all come from the same pattern. Oh, I know, I know, yeah, I know. love it. I know. Sometimes if you've got a fur, it's very unforgiving. Yeah. Anyway, so you're then going to put the last one on, the next one on. But the secret again is to the back. Yeah. To the back. Um, th did you know, John? The other day, I chopped the top of my tongue, my tongue, my my thumb off with, oh! with a brand spanking new potato peeler. No, they're Re lethal yeah, potato re peelers. Really badly. It was you know, you can buy potatoes already peeled. You know. Can you? Yeah. What from the chip shop? No, from Waitrose. Oh, can you? Oh, God. And what Tesco's gonna, got them, I think, What are we going to well? do next I know. in our lives? I know, it's strange, isn't it? We don't hardly make food anymore, do we? You know, we, we hardly prepare food, do we, with all these things you can get delivered? Anyway, so you do that again, you ease it in and you sew again. Right. You turn it inside out and you get... Ta -da! Different colour. Different colour. Uh, uh. But you see, that's that's the lovely look you're going to get. You're going to get nice ears in there, and you stuff that head really firmly. Yeah. Okay, that's not a problem at all. And then when you come to put the eyes on, you want to invest in a mattress needle or a doll needle, yeah. and you're going to put the eye here and here, and go like this and really across pull it with in, your yeah. large needle. Yeah. So you get the lovely indentation. Okay, so that's. That's what we did with the eyes there. And the nose is just a black felt and you just stitch it on with a blanket. Oh, stitch. so the, the nose isn't inserted in. It's no, just no, no, because Joe does all that insertion. That's clever. <coughs> yeah. I, I, I'm not that clever. Yeah. Um, but we just add, add yeah. it. Add yeah, it. yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. So the other bit, so that's, that's the ears was what I wanted to show you beautifully and I wanted to show you the gussets, which I've showed you nicely. That's lovely. Lovely. There's only 20 left and how many in baskets? 14 baskets, but so we're going to sell out. What I to show you was, that, can you got the pattern there for the, A pattern the for, what? for the bear? Yeah. So I wanted to show you this, because somebody 
did a great big Facebook thing about how oh, she couldn't do bodices and oh, okay. you know, I think well, well you can't do bodices. Well she said well obviously my instructions didn't get it no. didn't get her to the bodice. Right. So I wanted to show you what actually happens and say so I want to say the words because it's sometimes the words that we don't use. Um, her this uh, her dress is beautiful. I love her dress. Right. Uh, it's most probably a tricky little dress to make for, yeah. a, bear, for a simple bear, but I, I love the look of it, and yeah. I'm trying to get different looks all the time. Right. So in the pattern, you will have. Um, oh, it might not be. Sometimes we print after the show. Oh, here we are. That's correct. In the pattern, you have all these little things here. So you need to cut four of these. Yeah. Okay, and two of these. These are the back. These are the back. Right. Now, when you cut the fabric, the blue fabric, please, John. Yeah. Um, it's slowly dawning to me what I'm trying to tell you. It, this is quite tight. To get the right prices for these these bears, yeah, 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 be, yeah, you've got to yeah. be. You can't gay abandonly cut things out. I should hope not. Because they're absolutely very bad. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the um, front the back, front bodice. Yeah. And put it along the top once, twice. Yeah. Not here, there, and everywhere, because yeah. all of this is her skirt. Right. Do you right, see right, all right. of this is her <coughs> skirt? Yeah, so I want yeah. you to use the bump. But this one here is a back bodice, and it says place on fold. fold. That's the fold you need to put it on. Right. Let me just cut it out quickly to show you. Have I got time to cut it out? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, You've got some scissors. Yeah, I've got some, darling. I just want, I just want you to. I've told you this, and I've, I've told you this beautifully in the pattern and I have written it all down but I just want to make sure you don't just dive in because you'll have a very mini skirt otherwise yeah so this one is the front and you do need to make four of these because right. two for the front and two for the lining yeah they're made out of the same fabric so there's no problem yeah back in, uh, no, inside no, you don't have to worry yeah. okay yeah. so watch this space what you're going to do is one here yeah and one there you don't have to have it reversed because you've got because you've got folded, yes, don't you? Folded, yeah. yeah. You're, you're fine. So that's so that's those two there. Yeah. This one here comes all the way over here. Yeah. And you've got to place it on the fold. fold it says yeah. it there. Place on fold. Yeah. And then you've got to open up the fabric. Yeah. And well, whatever you've got left, you've got to fold. But it's going to it's going to go on the fold again. But it's going to go upside down. Right. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. So basically, yeah. Yeah. <coughs> you cut front, 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 two fronts, two fronts. Yeah. <clears throat> that goes all the way over there. That's one. Back. Open the fabric, yeah. fold that little bit that's left in there yeah. in half, yeah. and yeah. then that goes Perfect. on the fold like that. And if you do that, that means you get all of that, all that for lovely skirt. full skirt. Yeah. Stunning. I'm really chuffed with that. Chuff, chuff, chuff. Well, okay. Is that the, yeah. Was that the issue the lady had about cutting it out? Uh, no, not that. Oh, okay. The next issue. Next issue's coming up here. So, so what I want, to, what I say to you is cut. Uh, well, so I, I want you to join. Um, to a back to two fronts that's what i said so there we are join a back to two fronts yeah. by the shoulder seam yeah okay and do that again yeah, yeah. so you've got two flat things yes, like yes, you've got yeah, there yeah, yeah. so she most probably couldn't visualize what i was yeah, doing yeah. okay so we, and then you put them right sides together yeah. and then you sew them together around the front edge yeah and the armpits only yeah now what you want to do is reduce your stitch length when you do that because it's a bit tight i've yeah. made it wider than this now yeah. it's a bit tight and you are going to you are going to um turn it inside out via the opening of yeah. that one shoulder yeah so that's very that that's also very it confuses the hell out of some people so what you might want to do no hang on that's your shoulder there yes yeah, so you're going to turn you're going to it's big so you can take it through yes, the shoulder yes, yes, through yes, the yes, shoulder yes. so it's like real dressmaking yes yes yeah. so what i would do is put a little safety pin on there yeah. and thread it through the shoulder yeah. and pull it out. if you pull it out on one bulk it's going to stuck yeah. get stuck so just ease and gentle ease do you know what i do oh, and what, this yeah. is just a little yeah, tip yeah, right yeah. is i would sew a tiny piece of ribbon yes on there put my safety pin on the end yeah. and then it pulls through much more oh, smoothly well that, that's perfect yeah. Yeah, yeah that that i hadn't thought of that john but that's yeah. it, they i can put them through the sleeves is easily but i know that you ladies most probably if you're new to this wouldn't but by doing that by pers pursuing that and doing that you get this wonderful bound edged yeah. little frock um, and then there's the, the next things to do is just open up your side seams and just sew those side seams. Yeah. And then you've got the lovely little dress. Brilliant. Message from Margaret. 
I have followed Mandy now for several years and each time she's on our screens I find her inspiring and I just have to buy a new project to do. Oh. I've registered for her secret society and I cannot wait for, to, for it to start with those lovely red spotty bags to land on my doormat. Oh. Keep on inspiring Mandy, the world needs more stitches. <coughs> oh thank you, it's good to hear because sometimes I get wrapped up in things that have gone wrong or, or um, I've got no inspiration sometimes, do you, do you have that? Yeah, sometimes yeah, yeah, I wake up time, I can't yeah. think of anything new and then I'm off on a roll and the girls in the office think, oh my God, she's off. She's help. on one. And, and uh, so, um, yeah, that's lovely to hear. Thank you. I, I, I do, we do try, we, we do work really hard. Lots of us pull it yeah. together to create your secret society and uh, it's not always easy. So I've sewed the two side seams. Um, I would use obviously nice thread. Yeah. We just pull them open, give them a little press and they seam together beautifully. And then, um, then after that, it's it's reasonably easy to put your skirt. But that bodice does cause sort of a little confusion. Yeah. But it, it's worth pursuing because the sh the results are lovely, and you actually could upgrade this. I'm, you know, I've got this lovely new granddaughter and grandson. This would make a stunning baby dress. You could easily make this <laughs> into, <laughs> into a, a little baby sort of dress. We've got uh, Nell was tiny early. Yeah. And Reef was larger. Right. Uh, and and over. Oh, over no. so one so, came tiny and yeah, early, and yeah. one came larger. And so there's and only four days apart, but there's about six months apart in size. Oh wow! You know, so it's very it's very lovely. I've, All I've, exciting. Yeah, now. it's very exciting. Our house. Do they live nearby? They don't live near enough. Abby lives <coughs> in London, but yeah. um, they don't live they don't live near enough. Yeah. But anyway, so there you are, that's yep, your bodice. Yep, yep, that's your bodice. And all we finish your bodice off with is a gathered skirt. Oh, this is lovely, John. You're going to love this. John loves things like this. He knows these things. What, what? Let me show you about hems. Because we're keeping the value down to make sure yep, you get yep, the best yep. kit, we can only put that amount of fabric in. Otherwise, you have to pay £5 more than it would be ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the hem's not big and bulky. It's right. tight and flighty. Yeah. And all we've done with this hem here, look, is you turn under... It's like, a, uh, my Abby taught me this, it's a scarf hen, hem. Yeah. You turn under just a quarter an inch and you sew close to the edge. Yeah. Then you trim that back, yeah. flick it again over, yeah. and then you've got a really, and sew it on, on top of the stitches and you get this right tight little yeah. hem. Or you could use rolled hem, rolled hem foot. Well, that's vaguely a rolled yeah, hem, is, is yeah. it? But it's yeah. machine done. Yeah. You're saying hand roll, yeah. No, 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 yeah. I'm saying on the machine. Just get, oh, right. put, put, you've got a foot on your machine oh, to do you? that on, yeah. Oh, well, I, ha I must. <coughs> you seen. might not have because your yeah. machine's so old. Yeah. But, I, but I do love this badly. Do you see? And it actually creates yeah. a lovely little. Uh, you can yeah. see the skirt. You can do a roll hem on, a, on an overlock as well. Oh, can you? Yeah. Oh, I don't on, a, on an upgrade. I don't know if they all do it, but most yeah, of them yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But look how lovely that is. It's, beautiful. It's beautiful. And, and then again, of course, I've just. Um, Fasten the dress, which is always helpful, with one button and one bar tack on the right-hand side. Lovely. So there you are. There Shall we is. move on to the needle case, because I'm yes. aware, aware oh, of time. Yes. Oh, sorry, yes, darling. No, no, I'm not trying to rush you, but I'm just saying. Oh, no, let's get things sorted. So the red... Oh, dear, my voice is going. <coughs> red thatch cottage needle case, which makes this... I'll have the kit for you, if you don't mind. You want the kit, yeah? I'll show it, then I'll yeah. pass it over to you. Right, there you go. Beautiful, isn't it? And then it opens up like this. Everything's in there. Gorgeous. Right, what you get in your kit is you get your instructions. You get your bosal in our form. You get your bonder web. You get your wadding. You get your beautiful wool felt. You get your cross stitch. Now, is this one of yours? No, it's not. Oh, that looks like one of yours. Moda. Moda. Yeah. Then you get your gingham. Then you get your linen. Then you get your thread, you get your piece of elastic, and you get your all the bits you need, your buttons and your little bob... I don't know what it's called. What are those called? Popkinny uh, things. Oh, yeah. Oh, hang on. Yeah. Yeah, they yeah. come from Japan yeah, anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Right, OK. So this little needle case is very exciting, but there's quite, ex there's quite a few explicit instructions in there. Right. And the first one is to make, your, uh, make a full-size pattern out of your... Uh, out of the, the house body. The house body is like that. You just place it on a piece of paper on the fold, look, yeah. and then you get the full shape. You need right. the full shape. Okay, it's important, that's very important. Lovely. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna mark it on here, 
and so so um with that sharp yeah, that's a bit dodgy. Her marks on your bow now is that iron is it, has it got any is it sewing or has it got some um, thingy on it it's it's got uh some sewy thing on it it's not imperative you have the sewy thing on it the glue okay. the glue the iron glue, on. Yeah. so if you haven't got it don't worry but um it's it, uh this bit is very important right so you're going to you'll see why in a second because i do some strange things in life yeah i'm going to cut it roughly then i'll show you what i do to right. make it neater i just want to check that it's uh, the pe uh, that pencil wasn't very sharp and perfect so okay okay so just make sure it does fold it in half so that's the body of your needle case right make sure it's all neat and tidy yeah that's good that's very nice it's a long time since I've made these. I've made about half a dozen different sizes in my life. It's it's quite amazing, really, because uh, I have all these samples that I can't use because um, I can't use them because I've got no fabric left. Oh, okay. So, so let's have this to see where I'm going. Yeah. So what you've got to do a little bit of work beforehand, and this is the wrong side. This will be the um, the back side here, and so you've got to applique your house and your little um windows, windows on, on on one side of this and that causes a little dentation because you're going to cut it through to the okay back. oh yeah okay. of course yeah so that's the first thing that you've got your template there that's on top there and you're going to cut this out half an inch bigger all the way around right always cut it halfway to be got all the way around and then applique your bits right on front, front then when you that's the outside done beautifully and then you've got to prepare your inside before you can put your inside to your outside, outside. does yeah, that make it. sense yep. um, and so then again you, you because we don't we want them to be secure we're going to put them onto wadding right does that make so sense? there's no yeah. no bows on this side this no, is just no bows wadding on, on this side. side so you put that right sides together yeah um, you can use this send template, template to cut it out the, the, the right shape one inch bigger all the way around one inch bigger all yeah all the way around the same right. okay quite roughly and then you can place these things inside mm -hmm. so let me show you what you've got you've got to make them individually this is a little pocket is um pocket pocket here yeah and it's got um elastic on the, across the top yeah and these are just little decorative things that you'll sew on lovely so you could sew those on later if you wanted to but that's they, they work fine nicely and that's a decoration for later yeah and then this one is a little scissor keeper all of these all these templates and instructions are yeah. all in the pamphlet oh gosh yes yeah, yeah that's yeah. a little scissor keeper that needs to go in the middle there and so what i've actually done is i've machine blanket stitched them on but i've hand blanket stitch pieces edge, to yeah. make it match yeah. beautifully that's very very nice that's for your scissors and this one is for you to put your pins and things in uh -huh. and that goes in the middle later on so that's made separately goes in the middle later on Lovely. now this is a plastic dome haha <laughs> we, we're terrible aren't we at things like this lovely little bits and bobs my girls cringe when i put bits and bobs on it means they've got to count 100 little buttons yeah yeah yeah, yeah 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 so this is i covered it with the suffolk puff which right. is like a bit of a circle yeah. of fabric pulled it up tight put the little magnet underneath they just loose the magnet or just the, the, loose, the magnet is yes well actually i think i've got a larger one in there but we got stronger smaller yes, magnets because yeah, yeah. they're lighter that goes in the middle down there and then i i ladder stitched it over the top oh, okay well yeah. i didn't think my stitching was that good i then did a chain stitch just right. to make it nice and tidy okay so when you throw a needle or a magnet out there it's just a magnet brilliant <laughs> lovely and so you've got to prepare all those things first before so you attach you... all of those to the yes, lining yes yes you yeah. attach all of those and they're all they're all a little project in themselves yeah. and then what you do is interesting so um what you're going to do they will they'll be smaller than this this is what you have to do um, when that's on there that'll be ironed on there you know, you're all ready to sew yeah. you stitch here we go two rows of stitching less than a quarter of an inch yeah past the wadding right past the bosel past the bosel yeah. so you're, you're stitching like this so that means when you turn it inside out the bosel's inside not caught in the seam and it and yeah. it fits like a glove Perfect. fits like a glove yeah. you leave the top open and the bottom open right because you uh you, you have to you've got to put some bits in there you yeah. um, and uh you, you follow the instructions you might have to have a little gap here yeah. and you turn it inside and if it, it, it comes out like this all beautifully beautiful it, it's wonderful you then have to sew the middle bit in 
and I hand sewed that in look okay so you've made that as a separate project but it doesn't get sewn yet. until no, now no, no. Yeah. only those bits got sewn yeah. on that does that go in. right the way through to the other um, side no then? it doesn't oh. look it just picks up the bosal okay, okay it's beautiful and then this beautiful piece of felt here look at this mm -hmm. your felt is double your felt will be double that look it's two pieces yeah. and again what you do is you put your template on the top stitch around the outside edge cut close the stitching and you turn it inside out or not yeah. via this opening here um, on the other other needle cases we turned inside out a bit and it made it a nice little curved oh, edge yeah, yeah, yeah. so you have choices you don't yeah, have to yeah, do yeah. that and then this just gets put on the back but this is sewn so is my raw, have I still got a raw edge on uh, my... This, this has on the no, raw... No, not on the felt, on the, on the, mid, on the actual unit base, because we've turned no, no, it we've through. No, no, we've turned it inside out, and we've got, we've tucked under these pieces here to put our hand oh, okay, in. Oh, right, okay, right, And it. this bit here is tucked in anyway. This one gets tucked in yeah, anyway. Yeah. Uh, you have a raw edges here. Yeah. Um, but you've, that's the slit for the chimney. That there, you blanket stitch. Yeah. Blanket stitch these beautifully. And then all you do then to close it is you pop that in there. And then you've got your lovely thatch. Gorgeous. But but this here is sewn on in bits all over the place. Yeah. I mean, I suppose you could, I did. I've never glued them, but you could have glued no, that no, one no, on. No. That one's sort of awkward to get to sit. So just you know, I've sewn up there and down there. Yeah. And then they're ju they're just delicious. But we've we've in, improved the patterns we've gone along, and by stitching a couple of stitches beyond the foam, you get a less tight. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because if you do it right against the edge, when you turn it through, one's bigger than yes, the other, yes, and yeah, or well one's smaller. Yeah. Never, yeah. And then you can decorate with embroidery and things and little buttons and things. But it's just the most lovely little case. They're so nice. I can't use them. Beautiful, yep. beautiful. Thirty-two ninety-nine. That's thirty-two ninety-nine. And then very. Oh no, I've got ten minutes. All right, ten minutes now to do the um, bunny oh, purse. Yes, yeah, let me show you this. So it's all about purses and pockets, which is actually what I am all about: purses yep. and pockets. But I'll just give you a little guide on this one. A little guide. Right. Um, can I have the kit and oh, the? Um, oh, I'm so demanding. What's she like? What's she like? Right, thank you, Doug. Okay. Right, so here we go. So in the, on the on the original, we put piping on. Do you right. see that? Yeah. So now piping always causes. Um, it doesn't always cause, but it can cause a little stressfulness. Yeah. So we changed the kits now to piping to this wonderful. Oh, I see. see. Brilliant. Yeah. You see. Um, so there is a slight difference, but this is easier to put in than that. The piping. Even yeah. though I love doing piping, and. Um, let me tell you this story. So let me go. I'm going to sew it on. Oh, with brown thread. That's good. I'm going to. What you need to do is tack this on. By the machine. Seam, this machine or hand. Yeah, yeah. The seam allowance will be quarter of an inch in this purse. Right. So if I put the. Um, can you see that? Yeah, if, yeah, yeah. If, we'll if, see, I, yeah. if I put the rick rack to the very edge, the seam allowance will be less than quarter of an inch. Right. Which we don't like because it's too tight. It's yeah, too tight. Yeah. So I'm going to move it in a bit and. and I'm going to stitch it. I'm just going to quick put a few okay. stitches on to show you my little start the story. This is a very clever story. Some people lose. They say to me, "Oh, Mandy, Mandy, I've lost my rick rack." Yeah. Um, and I'll show you why you lose your rick rack okay. and how we can stop that. Now, if I was doing this on my machine, I'd tack this on. Yeah. The same colour thread, but with great big stitches. You right. don't need to see the stitches, okay? okay. Um, but I'm doing it so you can see. Yeah. But it's quite clever as well. Just do a little bit so you don't get bored of the machine going around. Right, okay. Oh, I get so excited. So this is the secret. I've tacked the Rick Rock on. Rick Rock. Rick, Rick Rock with a colour thread so you can see. And I've gone through the middle of the Rick Rack. Right. Okay. And how far in is that then? That is, so it's my seam allowance will be a bit a good quarter of an inch. Right. But I don't really, it doesn't really matter what your seam allowance is because you'll see why. Oh, second. okay. Um, but we obviously don't want uh, two inches and things like yeah, that. Yeah, just yeah, 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 yeah. And so what you do, so you've got your Rick Rack on, it's tacked on, it's tacked on with the machine. You don't need to sew it. Okay. And um, when you put your fabric right size together at a later date. So, so I'm sorry to interrupt, but when you do this in real life, that's the gingham linen, isn't it? Yes, it's the gingham. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yes, yes, indeed, it is the gingham. It, the gingham's too precious. For no, me no, no, to, exactly. Um, to touch on, yeah. because yeah. Um, we ain't got none left. Yeah, it? ain't and got so, none left. Ain't got none left. So when you put the gingham, the fabric right size together, you're thinking, oh, I can't see my rick rack. Where's my rick rack? So what you do, you turn it over. Uh, and you stitch on the same line. Uh, oh, I say 
say those words, John, in all the patterns, but they still they say, "What do you mean, darling? What do you yeah, mean?" Yeah, turn it over, stitch on the same yeah, line on the sorry, tacking the line. Sorry, the stitching is a bit is a bit um, dodgy. Uh, I can't. You've been see. up for hours. I've been up for hours. Uh, you look great today, Mandy, in that outfit. Says Julie Vaughan. Oh, because she was cold. I was cold. Oh, oh yeah, I've got it on inside out. Oh, have I, yeah. darling? Wait, oh, it doesn't matter. This, this is creative. So when you turn inside out, the rick racks will just be there beautifully hanging out just so we can see them like a little baby. Look yeah. at that. So they'll just, they'll just be beautiful. So just see the humps of yes. the rick rack. Yeah. And that creates just a lovely little... Yes. Yeah, like, well. yeah. Right, okay. And um, the other thing you've got in your pattern is your iron-on transfer. You have to make your little scene up first that's love i don't want to really waste that let me have a little don't like wasting oh no things. don't waste don't like wasting don't, you don't need to but let me just show you um what you can do with oh these. yeah the iron might have gone a bit yeah just oh might have been gone a bit more cranky chilly. on us yeah and so what you're going to do is just going to put your let me just tell you this lovely little tip as well i made a real mess here yeah now. yeah um if you ever see a transfer with a little mark on it a, 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 an iron-on transfer, a little mark. I mean, that's that happens in our life. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Cut it off. That. Cut it off. <laughs> Don't complain about it afterwards. No, no. And um, if it's if across the bottom, it says Mandy Short Dandelion Designs. Yeah. Cut that off because it'll also it'll also go through to your thing. Yeah. And it's not a transfer that comes off. It's a oh, permanent transfer. one. They do fade away, but they won't won't fade if you want them to. No. You know, that's a classic, no. isn't it? So just give that a little transfer in your your um, purse kit. Just so now in the actual kit we put it onto the plain yes on linen. The plain linen i linen, haven't got yeah, a scrap yeah. of that no, 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 it seems no, a waste fine. to just to show you that's very very nice like that look and um oh gosh that pleases me john Lewis. gorgeous yes gorgeous and did you draw that i did draw that oh. um, so what you're going to do is you're going to embroider that in um a um, you've got a lovely little raspberry red, yeah. a red a little there's a red colour there. I was gonna say raspberry pink, but it's red. But it, it's the lighter red we have to match is that. Yeah. And then you're going to cut the oval out with your, uh, in your pattern and then on your work, on your lovely little purse here. I've got one here. I'm just, I'll cut I'll over that so you can just see. But you're going to use the patterns. There's a template, um, is a yeah. few I, This is how I do things at home when I'm designing things. I actually will cut rough old squares up. Yeah. Like this. And then I think, oh, I'll cut an oval now. So I'm just cutting an oval. And yeah. you've got... Um, and if the oval shape's not to my pleasing, I'll change it. But we'll... You've got a template, though. You don't have to worry yeah, about all this. Yeah. Oh, no, you don't. Yeah. But I'm just... Um, this is how this is how some designers work. That goes on there like that. Yeah. You're going to zigzag oh, hang on. that on. We can't see that. You need to move to your oh, right oh. a little bit. So that goes on there, there go. like that, Perfect. beautifully in the right fabric, of course. Uh huh. You're going to zigzag it on top, and then is it this one? It, there's lots of different choices of these. You're going to start on the side because we don't want the top showing any raw edges yeah. at the bottom. So start on the side and just stitch in the middle all the way around and what do you do when you get to the end when you get to the end you just go around you're just going to fold it under so you always trim your ends first yeah make sure you trim your ends you could put fray check is it fray yeah check yeah, on fray there? Check, yeah yeah tuck it under and then that will just that will just fit underneath that previous ones so you can see it's it you i've done a good job there but it is it, it, I have, uh, so i can't see it self-praise yeah. is yeah, no recommendation saying, I mean, you what well, you can do a good job yes you can yeah. hide it there you okay. are Brilliant. okay that's yeah, beautiful all right let me do a recap yes. then of everything we've had this hour so we started with honeysuckle no marigold 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 Honey you see if you have marigold in the garden they say you'll never be poor oh i yeah. like that yeah there's oh. only seven left but how many are in baskets 2018 baskets so marigold will sell out today oh, oh Mary. right yes, that's marigold uh, i can't show you the kit because she's, she's dis decimated all my kits right <laughs> then we had after that we had the thatch cottage thatch cottage oh this is sweet is it, you need anything in your life you need a thatch cottage, yeah, thatch in your cottage life. Yeah. Uh, needle case there it is no 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 32.99 you get everything you need in that you don't need to buy anything for that one no nothing then we went to the purse i love having lovely handmade purses in my handbags and things yeah. you know it's a, it's a lovely thing to 
But also, if you dress up to go to a picnic or something like that, oh, you only gosh, something like that. Yeah, yeah. Twenty nine ninety nine. What's the matter, Charlie? And then, and then, and then, and then, last but not least, this gorgeous quilt. Quilt that's on the wall behind Mandy. You get the linen, you get the wad, you get the interfacing, you get the red and white spotty backing, so you don't need to buy backing. You get all of these threads, you get all of the instructions, plus all the templates, plus the templates for the little hearts, plus an additional quilt pattern as well. £130, so you don't, all you have to buy for that is wadding. All you need is wadding for that one. It's £130.65 on split pay. How many have I got? Oh, right. Make sure you check out your baskets. Make sure you check out your baskets. Uh, there's 11 of you got that in your basket. Anyway, that's it. That's it. Mandy. Oh, darling. When are you in next? Well, it, I normally come every six, six so weeks. So six weeks six time. Weeks. So I'm just... Uh, it's, it's June, May, I don't know. It's not June, six it? weeks. May, Where are we May, now? Is End of February. I don't know. And middle of April. Middle of April. Oh, <laughs> Easter, Easter. No, not Easter. But yeah. Anyway, oh. give us a hug. June, I won't see June, you soon. June, July, August. No, no. April, April. <laughs> right, don't go anywhere because Lisa Lamb is up after the break. Oh, With these, nice. now Charlie's already made one of these for, her, for his girlfriend, Hattie. I think you did the red one. Did you do the red one? Oh, black one. Black, we haven't got black today. So. They're all coming up straight off the break. Please be careful, though, because they're flying out on pre-order. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you back here in four minutes from now. This Thursday, the 2nd of March, is our sister channel, Hobby Makers' first birthday. And because of that, they're taking over the airways. So Sewing Street won't be on. But don't worry, on Wednesday, the 1st of March, we've packed twice as much into our hours, so you won't miss out. Adam Brooks is going to be there doing some amazing demonstrations. Your favorite products will still be there. So we will see you for a bumper day on Wednesday Wednesday the 1st and on Thursday we'll hand over the hours to Hobby Maker to celebrate their first birthday. Don't miss either of them. We'll see you there. Happy third birthday Sewing Street and many more to follow. Hello this is Emma Bradford from the Swift Quilting Company. Just wishing Sewing Street a very happy third birthday and many, many years more to come. Happy birthday! Hi Sewing Street, it's Fiona from SoGar here. Just want to wish everybody a very happy birthday at Sewing Street 3 today. How amazing is that? Um, it's time's gone so fast, I can't believe it. Anyway, look forward to seeing you all at studio very soon. Take care, lots of love, bye! Hi, this is Rebecca from Sewing Street. Just to let you know, we've got the Crafters Companion Takeover this Tuesday from 9 till 12. Sarah Davis will be launching the brand new Gemini Junior cutting machine. Plus, anyone who buys anything from Crafters Companion that day will get a free gift with every purchase. And of course, it wouldn't be a takeover without a few special bargains too. So, join us for the Crafters Companion Takeover this Tuesday from 9 till 12. Hello, it's Cara here. I'm just popping by to wish everyone at Sewing Street a happy third birthday. Three years, that's incredible, isn't it? What a wonderful three years and thank you all so much for supporting us over that time. Happy birthday, Sewing Street. Hi, Sewing Street. This is Dewey from Dewey Jumbo Craft Tours. Wishing you a many happy returns for your third birthday. We're hoping there's many, many more. Hi everyone, I'm Sandy Millichip Masaki from Family Comforts and I'm a guest designer and demonstrator here on Sewing Street. I've been lucky enough to be with this fantastic team for over this last year and I'd love to wish them all a really happy third birthday and continued success for the future. Happy birthday! Hello, I'm Catherine Wright from Leicestershire Craft Centre based in Market Harbour. I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street family. I've been sewing since the age of seven when my mum taught me to sew. I particularly enjoy dressmaking and all through my childhood I made my own clothes uh, including dancing costumes and my prom dresses. 
but I also enjoy patchwork and bag making and hand stitching and embroidery and really anything textile based. The thing I particularly love about fabric and textiles and stitching is that there is always something new to try, there's always a new technique or a new skill to learn uh, and I really enjoy doing that. My top tip for new sewers is to uh, be friends with your iron. Your sewing also always looks better when it's been pressed and it's not like ironing your own clothes. It's much more, much better than that. And also to uh, build your skills up step by step. Don't launch in with the, with the wedding dress first off. You know, start with a simple dress and build your skills up and then you'll see good results right from the start and feel enthusiastic and carry on sewing. So really, just have a go, have fun. It's all about having fun and enjoying it. Um, so happy sewing. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. The last time we had this bag on, it sold out in minutes, right? We had it in different colours, because we had black last time, didn't we? But uh, you've got to be careful now. It's really, really, really easy to make. Or oh, Charlie's made one. Charlie's made one. Uh, he wants another one. Well, Charlie, you're better buy one for you quick. <laughs> uh, no, he's not allowed to. He's not allowed to while the show's on. Right, so all you need to do is learn saddle stitch. All the pieces are cut for you. Uh, the, everything's in there, the needle's in there, everything you need, even the snippy scissors are in there, right? So let's start with the different colours. What colour do you want to go to first? Pardon? Sage. Oh, it's in the lead sage. Mm. I don't know why I'm saying it surprised you. I'm not surprised at all, but it's gorgeous colour. But anyway, here's sage. So this is what you're making. That's what you're making. It's cute, isn't it? Really, really cute. This is what you're getting, right? So you get your instructions, oh, overhead, instructions, instructions. Right, then in here, I'm only going to open one of these because obviously we're getting a real right on mess. Oh, I'm not going to open that one. <laughs> when you've all checked out, that's sold out. 
Right, what you need to do is, what it is, is there's way too many people got in their basket for the stop. We haven't checked out yet. So, oh, okay, there's 40 left, but how many people got in their basket? How many, 50 people got in their basket? So please, but I will open it then, I will open it. I thought it was a bit closer than that. Right. No, I can. Right, so what you get is all your little bits, look, that you need. Now, what's this? This is PU. Yes. No, no leather, no animal has been harmed. But look, every single hole is punched for you. All the, 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 the magnetic clasps are all in. Everything like that, you get your strap, you get your other straps with your magnetic clasps in, and then in here, you get snippy scissors, you get thread, and you get the um, buckles and everything like that. All for $39.99, that's the sage. Now you need to check out, because there's way too many of you got in your baskets. 30 left, and 60 in baskets. This is what happened last time, this is what happened. That's sage, that's the most popular one so far. Sorry, I'll just, what can I yeah, make sure you go through, make sure you go through, make sure you go through. 20 left now. 20 of those left. Right, what I'll do is I'll go through the colours, then we'll recap it so we can see how you're all doing. So what colour next? Red. That's this one. There you go. You won't be able to see it in front of my shirt, look. 30, well, I'll cut spots. 39.99 again you get the instructions and you get everything you need in there 39.99 can, can you do me a favor please can you lift up the flap because i don't think they've ever seen it it's not even buckled you just lift it up to what the magnet oh, of course pops open and there's a front pocket i don't think they've been seen Look, that it's like a traditional old-fashioned satchel with a front pocket yeah oh okay Oh, Ben thinks it's like if you go to Italy or Greece and you went to a proper leather shop, but it's not leather, no leather, PU, vegan, 39.99. Beautiful, so that's the red one. Okay, again, more people got that in their basket than we've got stock of, but the thing is, it's not yours till you check out. I, I know you're all waiting to see how you do it, so we'll do that straight away, but... Then we're going to grey. I've got grey and lilac. This is grey. This is definitely grey. That's definitely, yes. definitely grey. Definitely, yeah. Yeah, Ben, you need to go see your man. It's called grey. It is grey, because that's why it's called grey. I don't think it's even got any blue in it, that one. Would you say it's got blue in it? You could argue it's a bluey grey, maybe. Do you reckon? <laughs> Ben's just come in to have a look at there it. There is, in, to my monitor, there's a little bit of a bluish tint. Oh, okay. No, it's just, just a... Check for ben, <laughs> okay, Ben, this is blue. <laughs> you see, that's blue. I like that attention to detail, really. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it's grey, it's grey, it's grey, 39.99. Absolutely flying out, the grey one. But it's not blue. It is not blue. Repeat. I repeat, it is not blue. Oh, Tracy, I'm so excited. Got my sage bag and the Tan City backpack. Oh, Gonna have a very you. stylish spring. <laughs> I like it, stylish. Okay, spring. that's that one. And then last but not least, we've got the lilac. Yeah, he thinks this one's orange. <laughs> Now, I used to work with a girl called Caroline Lindsay, and when we were describing uh, Kunzite, she'd say, lilac. It's got lilac, lavender, and cherry blossom pinks in it. This is lilac. That one's popular as well. They're all popular. They are, all, and it's the last hour, remember? It's the last hour of our last day of our birthday week. And what a week it's been. Remember, if you buy anything from the show, your name goes, one of you will win this tomorrow. One of you will win all of that at 10 o'clock tomorrow. I oh, know. Beautiful. 39.99. Lilac. Right, I'm just, and before I go to Lisa, I'm sorry to do this, but I'm just going to go back and start again because I'll let you all check out, check out, check out. I'm just going to see how you're all doing because I need you to check out. Right, Sage. There are only 11 left not checked out. 10 now. There's your Sage. That's the, this one. <laughs> Thought I was having a Ben moment then. What colour does this look like then, Ben? Sage, there's ten of those left, but way too many people got it in their basket. Red. Oh, 
Red. Okay. Seven people too many want that. Seven people too many want that. You need to check out if you want that one. That is. Hmm? Almost disappears on your shirt. That. All right, all right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> then we've got grey. Grey, blue. But it's definitely grey. Right, I've got stock of that. Once you've all checked out, I've got 20 of those left. I've got 20 of those left once you've all checked out. Yeah, they'll sell out, they'll sell out, but I'm just uh, warning you. And then lilac. Okay, lilac's all right at the moment, but it's because I only just showed you. You need to check out, need to check out, need to check out. Right, before we do some sewing, Lisa, on the Sewing Street Facebook mm -hmm. fans page, yes. you had a little something or other. What was it? Well, it all started off with asking people what colours were their favourite satchels. So all of those colours that we're providing today, they they are the result of their favourite four. Oh, okay. And then I asked the fans um, last week what colour they'd like me to demo in, and they could win a really nice prize. So the winner of the um, demo so what? Hang on, what's the prize? What's the prize? The prize is the finished demo bag. So this? Yes. Oh, yeah, that and, this one. And the winner also gets to choose whichever kit they would like to make because i've got a few spares at home. home okay then so this is all done through our it's all done through our marketing team so it's all legit yes. and everything so the name that lisa's about to re shout out wins this and the kit color of your choice red lilac gray or sage that's right whichever they like and we've got oh you got the name ben drum roll no it is are you ready drum roll hang on there's a drum roll happen da -da, go Pearl Wakefield, thanks for entering. Yay! Pearl Wakefield, well done, Pearl. So, Do Pearl, they'll, they'll come from you, won't they? They'll yes, be coming yes. from you. So, Pearl, so, please message me. Or if I don't hear from you in the next few days, I'll message you. Yeah, and let her know what. So, you win this one, Pearl, and you can choose a kit of your own coloration, whatever. Mm -hmm. There's only two sage ones left. <laughs> It would, yours won't be one of these, Pearl. Yours won't be one of no, these because no. it comes from Lisa's house and everything. They're, but they're mine. One of them is mine. One of them belongs to Mabel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah just now. Right. Okay. okay. Now, these are simple, aren't they, to they make? They are simple. Um, I advise you to choose your favourite TV programme, uh, nice sofa, and learn how to saddle stitch. You don't need a sewing machine. You, there is no guesswork involved. All of Everything is pre-cut pre-punched the only extra thing that you do need which john didn't mention is some super glue oh sorry no, nobody no told me that sorry well i did say to uh, oh, you said someone else i, I did yeah. to say to someone else and i i recommend the gutterman glue because it's strong enough and is also, that the solvent glue oh we've got it we haven't got it here now glue. yours won't be that i don't think yours is that big i think that's a hang on what what size is yours 30 grams What's that, that looks one? like the right one there Oh, okay, that's your grand shirt. It's a tube yeah. and, metal, and it's metal. That's yeah, I was thinking the, right the size, one. that was all. Not what, what it was. And, and, and I like this because it's strong enough. Yeah. And most importantly, it doesn't attack the PU. Now, of course, you don't put a big blob on the on the PU and then just walk away and then yeah, 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 yeah. So, where do I use the glue then? Um, you use the glue to finish off the ends. Oh, okay. And, I, and I'll come to that. Okay, and I'll brilliant. make sure I'll come to that okay, in a brilliant. moment. Right, so. so. Th there's a few different things about saddle stitching. Um, it's very, very easy to do. If you haven't done it before, it might seem counterintuitive, but I'm going to show Sage you how easy it out. is. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. It is a super nice colour. Grey's about to sell out. Uh, and also, another thing, when you are sewing saddle stitch, the thread, the thread length is very, very important. Right, so this is where Char this is where Charlie went wrong, isn't it? Not, not went wrong. Not, did he not have the instructions on, on his? No, he didn't. He just ah, went to do it. Okay, yeah. okay. So in my instructions, I not only show you the the order of events, but I say things like you should cut your thread to one hundred and thirty centimeters. Oh no, he or didn't 40 have that. Forty centimeters, yeah. depending on the part it's that a boy, you're sewing. Isn't he? He'll go, he oh, I can, to get it's going. like he'll buy an I Ikea sofa and goes, I yeah, can make yeah, this, and then yeah. he has three things. It's th just Ikea. Yeah. Oh, I'm better than Ikea. No, right. no, 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 fair enough. Right, so. The reason being is you you need your thread to be long enough to go around Hang on a sec, we just need to get the camera sewing. to come into that. Becky. 
because if you're if you're sewing around a saddle stitched item just tilt it up your a bit thread, for me, and your thread is Perfect. not long enough then ordinarily what you do is oh i'll just back tack and then add on some more thread and then back tack and carry on sewing you can't do that with saddle stitching because oh. actually this is a better example let's just say i was sewing around this pocket gusset here and yeah. then i run out of thread you can't just simply add on more thread because you'd have a knot and that's just going to look really ugly yeah so i put all the thread lengths that you need for every piece of the bag in the beginning Perfect. of the step of the pattern Lovely. Uh, you're also going to be working with two needles at the same time so when you hand stitch usually it's just one needle but with saddle stitching you work with two needles consistently. Do I get the needles in the kit? Yes, you do. Brilliant. Yes, you, you literally get absolutely everything you need except some glue. Yeah, perfect. You don't need anything else. Oh, yes, and um, TV programme recommendations this time round are Versailles on um, iPlayer and Marie Antoinette. Oh, we're going for the period dramas. Brilliant. I, 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 Alan, my husband, told me about Versailles and, um, God, the amount of money that they spent on that show yeah. and the costumes and the decoration. Oh, it's fantastic. And it is, it's so dramatic. And There's a new Bridgerton out soon as well. It's, oh, is that Bridgerton 3 then? Yeah. I, I don't know. I mean, There's I'm, 11 of them, I think, in total. Really? Yeah, yeah. I, I really like the first one because of the um, the um, the dark and mysterious guy, and then oh, okay. didn't use him again. Like, now he decided to not to do it again why? Why? because he, he got offered other jobs. Yes, I imagine. Well, I'm not surprised. Isn't he? Up, isn't he one of the shortlisters for James, James Bond? Bond? Yeah, he, ought, he should be. Well, yeah, he might have surpassed Remington Steele. Yeah. Like, yeah. All right, let's get on with this. Yeah. Okay. Right. So. I'm going to start off with, um, so I've got my two needles yeah. and the way that you, even the way that you thread your needle is slightly different. You might have noticed that one thread end is coloured and the other one isn't. Now this isn't obligatory, but if you haven't saddle stitched before, you might find that this is helpful in discerning which needle you're supposed to be using and when. Okay, but don't so worry you have to do that, that's not already on the thread? No, I just col coloured it in a bit of pink biro yeah, there. Yeah, fine. And um, this thread is just a random length because I just want to show you how to thread needles and saddle right. stitch. So I've threaded my needle, which is easy because saddle stitch needles are kind of thick and they're kind of blunt and they've got a big eye. They're like bodkins. Yeah, yeah, they are like bodkins. And if I just push, push that into my finger, oh, it doesn't yeah, yeah, really yeah. hurt. And um, the wax thread is quite thick and flat, so it's quite easy. So I'm going to push my needle in through the thread about one inch down from the end uh -huh. and then push the needle through and then I'm going to pull the long end so that's taut and then I'm going to pull the coloured end over and then when I when I pull the long end I can now tug the needle and see how the the needle isn't escaping from the thread yeah that's important because in in saddle stitching after each saddle stitch you made make you need to give it a little yank you can do the same on this one. Yes, I Brilliant. Am. So we can yeah. see it again on this one. So about half an inch down, push the needle into the middle of the thread. And then pull the long thread till it's taut. Then pull the short end over the eye. Give it a little tug. Have a test. And there you see that's because, you know, if you don't do this, your needle is going to escape every 20 yeah. seconds. It's going to yeah. drive you nuts. Now, it actually, it's very advisable to start off with thread about this long because it's a good idea just to have some practice stitches on any of the PU pieces. Right. And don't worry because you get a, you get a, a whole reel of thread and there's loads and loads. There's, there's plenty by the time you Oh, so you can have a practice beforehand. Can, I yeah. really advise you to have a practice. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to take a random piece. It doesn't matter which and I'm going to show you how to start off and I'm sure you can show you how to saddle stitch and then I'll probably just unpick the stitches later okay so to start off don't fall off the end of your thing there you go <laughs> yeah. to start off I'm going to turn to the back now on most pieces it's pretty obvious which is the front and which is the back but on this PU there's a there's a nice grainy textured um, side and there's a more shiny side so the, the grainy textured side will be the front okay so I'm going to take both my needles I'm going to go in through the wrong side 
and it doesn't matter whether I'm using the pink or the plain, that doesn't matter at this stage. Right. And I'm going to push my needles in through the back to the front like that. Of the first two holes? Of the first two holes. And then I'm going to pull taut. Well, well you picked the most awkward piece to do yes, it with. Yes, of course I have. There you go. Yeah. And then, now, the thing about saddle stitching, so that I've got both needles to the front now, I will now take the needle at the back, which happens to be the pink needle, and then I'm going to put it into the hole of the, the second hole down, which has got the other one coming through. Yes, so, but, in, but to do that, the, what is really important is I have to create tension in the second hole along because if I just take my, um, my, my pink needle and then push it in there, I'm going to splay the threads open, yeah. which won't look attractive and also might affect the strength of the thread. So what you need to do is make sure that you grab the second, second thread forward and then pull it out of the way and then push the back needle into the next hole. All right, so the pink needle is in my right hand. The next part of the stitch is to take that needle and then push it into the next hole along from back to front. And then what you'll be left with at the moment is this. Right. So can you guess what I do next? Yeah. So I move this needle over to here, put that under tension. Yeah. And then now I take the back thread and then put it into the front hole. And then this one goes into here. And then give both threads a little tug, always making sure that my stitches of even plumpness. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah, 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 yeah. And now we're stitching around the edge of this, but we're yeah. not stitching it to anything at the moment. No, no. This is just a practice. This is, is just it? to show you how to do a saddle. Yes, stitch. yeah. Oops. I know what I did wrong. So the second part was to bring the needle back up through to the front there. Mm hmm And then swap and then take the back thread, put it into the front hole, making sure that that thread this thread in this hand is under tension there are 20 of the gray left i think you know, you're thinking well that's loads but the 56 people got it in their basket so there and then you yeah. just keep going and it's and I, I promise you once you've done a few stitches you'll find your favorite way of holding it you might want it in the air you might want it angled you might you find you find what feels comfortable yeah. and it doesn't take long so that is basically Saddle, saddle stitching. Stitch. Yeah, right, so okay. that's just a practicey bit there. Right. I'll come back to that later. Lovely. So on this handle bit, so in the instructions, I ask you to start your saddle stitching along the handle. You might want to, you might prefer to practice on the handle. Oh yeah, because you, are you, really you putting that as a as a decorative stitch anyway? Yes. So, yeah. so this is decorative, and it also it also maintains the strength yeah. of the handle as well. But you're not sewing anything to anything not, at this point. Not, yeah. I'm just about to. <clears throat> I'm okay. just about to. Lovely. Uh, a note of where where I begun and why. So this handle tab is diamond shaped, and there's a bigger hole here and that marries with the flap so I can you see that these two are meant to be joined together right so I have begun stitching I have begun stitching on what would have been the next hole along that isn't on the actual isn't flap on, yeah. yeah so I've taken it to a window I've married up all of the lights that I can see through the window and I've begun stitching on the next hole along yeah do not worry if that what I've just said doesn't make sense because I've shown you what I mean in the in pattern, the instructions, yeah. in the instructions. So I've, I've started stitching and I've just about, and I've stopped here because I want to show you how to join this to this. Brilliant. It is saddle stitching, but I just want to show you what to do with the needles. Yeah. So I match up the holes again. I'm gonna put it up to the light so that I can see where everything goes. I'm just gonna grip it tightly in my hand. You don't even need a tight like, vice grip. And I'm going to, and, and what you do is you're going to take your back, your back stitch, your mm -hmm. back thread. Now this needs to be longer because this is actually eight times, eight times longer than the handle. Again, I've given you the length of thread that you need in yeah. the pattern. And I, I'm satisfied that these two line up. I can now take this thread, put it under tension before I push 
this thread into the forward hole and this is now going to attach the handle to the flap can you see it coming through yeah. now yeah then pull tight and then and then this to do the second part of the stitch yeah. so that's now coming through the handle as well yeah and now you know the two pieces are joined this needle this needle goes here yeah. and then I take the back one and repeat and this now goes under tension and then that's coming through the other side so yeah, it's, it's really, oh, don't you get clean. caught in my yeah. camp, there you go, yeah, so that comes now through to the other side, and then you just continue stitching all around in exactly the same way, all the way up here, up here, and up here, and I'll show you how to finish off, finishing off is in a particular way as okay. well, so what's the hole in the middle now. for? The hole in the middle for, so you can put the rivets on at the very oh, end, oh sorry, okay, ignore I'll just, me, I'll just quickly push one, push a rivet in because yeah. they look ever so nice so they're both decorative and they're functional so, so once you've stitched all the way around yes, do the stitching first and I'll show you at what point when you should insert the rivets and also the handle is meant to be longer than the piece you're attaching it to to yes, give you the it's going to make that curve yeah. like that Brilliant. so then yeah all you need to do so the, the the rivet the rivet holes are a little snug because they're meant to be. Yeah. Because um, the PU gently stretches to accommodate accommodate the metal. Now, if the wrong side, maybe use your nails to push the PU over the rivet shaft. Right. And then, and it's the flat side that is the right side. And then just. Yeah, you get the needles yeah. in the kit. Get everything. You get everything, everything apart from the glue. You the needles, the thread, everything's all included. And you even get a little screwdriver to tighten the. To tighten the rivets. I mean, really, it is. Yeah. Thought about everything. There, yeah. you get you get the screwdriver. Fantastic. Honestly, is that a little is that a little cross-headed screwdriver? Is, yeah, so you can use that for your backpack because yes, you said use that's a, true. Yeah. Your it's your backpack. It's yeah. jewelry size screw, screwdriver. Brilliant. Literally, if you once you're sat down in front of Versailles and you've got your cup of tea, you don't have to move. Right. Okay. Um, you push that through, but then what? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. You push that through, Sorry. and then and then you manipulate the PU around to the other side. Yeah. I don't want to take too long this because I want to show. No, 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 no. That's fine. Just tell us. You can just tell and us. And then, what yeah. Then, then the. Oh, the, there's a back bit. Yeah, the cross, the cross head. That you screw in. Yeah. And that, that, oh, and then that just I see. Goes so there's no that. banging or anything. No, no, there's no, no. Because no, no. normally with rivets, you've got to get a piece no, of wood no, no. and bang it. It's a, it's a screw, screw in one. If you want to, you might want to stick some super glue inside the. Um, it's not the super glue. It's a solvent. The solvent yeah, glue yeah, yeah. in the in the. Um, female part yeah but I've never had any problems no? with both the parts coming together Brilliant. and it's a nice and snug fit so what that's fine now what do you want to show us next, now the so? next bit I want to show you is finishing off yeah okay so this is actually this is actually the bag front with minus this yeah but I wanted to show you how to finish off so I've started stitching this this pocket gusset onto yeah. this bag front and I'm just about to get to the end now this looks slightly different, John, because I'm now saddle, saddle stitching from the back. So you can saddle stitch from the front and saddle stitch from the back. Because it looks the same on both sides? No, it's it sometimes, sometimes for access, it's slightly easier to saddle stitch from the back. Okay. And it's easier to saddle, if you want to join an item to an item, it's easier to saddle stitch from the front. Yeah. But don't panic if that's just really, really confusing and too much to take in, because there's a super, super clear video at the very beginning of the pattern that shows you how to saddle stitch from the back. What, there's a link of where, where yes. he sends it? Oh, yeah. right, don't show it, don't show it, don't show it. But there's a so, link on the pattern yeah. to take you to a video to watch it was, how to stitch. It's so crystal clear, and I asked the guy if, if he'd mind me sharing it. Oh, okay, it. so yeah. it's not you. No, no, I didn't, I didn't do it. The written instructions show you how to saddle stitch from the front. Right. Neither of them is better than the other. It's more, it's more, which is comfortable, comfortable. in your yeah. hands. Yeah. Yeah. And also sometimes it's access is easier. You can actually, you can actually um, swap between the two yeah. very, very easily. Yeah, perfect. Um, but yeah, I won't, I won't. If you want to ask me at a later stage how to swap between the two, I can even do a video if you like, if yeah. enough people perfect. ask. But yeah, neither front nor back is neither easier or harder. Yeah. It, you know, anyway. 
So I'm now saddle stitching from the back. I'm going to take the, so the front thread is now at the top. I'm going to put that into tension. Only nine ones left. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. So the back thread gets stitched into there and then that goes into the front now. I'll try and go a little bit faster because I really do want to show off how to finish off, uh -huh. which is easy, but it's just nice, nice seeing it done, you know? Yeah. So when you're joining gusset pieces and flat pieces, if you could zoom in, so the gusset actually start is sewn one stitch hold down from the back pocket piece. Right. So you, you'll notice, and, and, and I'll really zoom in in close detail on the pattern. Well, like you are pattern, now, I'll look. Say, really look at this, because you can't just put the, the pocket part on the first stitch hold, that's wrong. So you'll notice that I've pretty much reached my last stitch on the gusset, right. but there's still one more stitch hole on the pocket uh -huh. front, and that is deliberate. It makes it makes for oh, more yeah, so secure. Oh yes, don't panic that you've gone wrong, because yeah, <coughs> oh, there's an extra hole. Yeah, why is there an extra <coughs> hole? Yeah. It's meant to be yeah. there. Yeah. Right, so I'm now just about to use that last stitch hole on the pocket back. And then I'm going to, so that's that needle that was at the front that has now gone around the back. I'm actually going to wrap it around again because it makes that final stitch nice and secure because we can't do any knotting off like we usually do. We can't do back tacking. What we need to concentrate on for finishing our stitch stitches is to begin hand sewing, back tacking, I suppose, but in a, in a saddle stitch, yeah. hand sewing kind of way. So we're going to wrap, we're going to make a, a sort of like a wrapping stitch. And if you pull your um, needle taut enough, you're not going to be left with what looks like really bulky stitches. Yeah. If you pull tightly enough, but you'd obviously you don't want to stretch the fabric, it's not untidy to have two threads as opposed to one right. coming towards the end. Yeah. And then I'm going to take this bottom thread and I'm going to do the same. I'm just going to back tack about four stitches. And because I, I you know, because I'm kind of fussy, when, when you bring your needle up from the back side to the right side, try to be careful to not bring your needle up through a piece of thread because yes, yeah. we want to avoid splaying mm. the fibres. Yeah. It's not the end of the world if you do, but I don't think it looks as nice. So take your time and try and push the threads out of the way so that you're not splaying any of those thread fibres. And the PU will stretch to accommodate the extra thread and that fat needle. Uh -huh. So don't think it's like you don't you don't need to be he man to do this, honestly. There, so I'm using my nail to kind of push that those threads out of the way, just for a nice neat result. Uh huh. So yeah, the two needles are kind of chasing each other back along the line of stitches. And this wax thread is really strong as well, so no, you know, you can tug on it and it's not going to split yeah. or fray on you. It's, it's what it's designed for. Well, I have to make a nice neat job of this one because Pearl's getting it, you see? Uh -huh. Right, so, I've, I've, as you can see, there's, there's me pulling on the threads there because there, see, that doesn't look bulky or untidy. No, just shut, shut underneath that. See, there. I've, I've sewed back three yeah. stitches. And now, there's no way, no matter what you do, these threads are going to chase back and come undone. No. They're just not going to ravel. So, this is why we're going to need our snips now, and we're going to need our glue. And what is super useful, I like to apply the glue using an old seam ripper. Because right. you can use the metal tip to apply a tiny dab of glue, and then you can use the handle to really to bash it in. yeah to smush it in yeah smush smush <laughs> my my word from last from the last time I was here uh -huh. so I'm just going to give these threads a last final tug just to make sure that I'm satisfied that they're fully home yeah and I'm going to cut those threads with about yeah two millimeter tail no longer than that there you go. 
and that's so they do have a tail you don't cut it right down oh, no, to the no, pu no. you must not yeah you you must leave a two millimeter tail right, okay because that's where you're going to apply the glue and then you're going to push that little tail down onto the threads okay and if you if you do it like i advise you it's not going to look like you've done that if that makes sense right but I mean, as I say, I mean that's that's now three holes down. There's there's no way that that's just going to come unravel yeah. by itself. But we do want to glue those ends down because it's not very attractive seeing them. So um, I really do advise use use either the bodkin or seam ripper. So you to don't apply put, put it straight onto the thread. You put no, it onto I your wouldn't. Quick on pick fur. This this glue always comes screaming. It's blocking out like yeah. it is now. Yeah. yeah, like Niagara Falls. Yeah. I mean, no matter how many times you've used it. But yeah, and the nice thing about the seam ripper is you can really smush it into those threads. Uh -huh. You know, this is now we are splaying the fibers because, oh, yeah, oh. see, that's too much there. Yeah. Okay, and then we just let that cure for about 80 seconds or so. Okay, 80 seconds, that's very <laughs> precise. <laughs> I don't know. I'm guessing because it's slightly warmer under the lights. I'm going to just speed things up. Okay. <sighs> She's blowing, not stiffing. <laughs> okay. That kind of, that should be all right. Okay. So I just get the, um, I, I love this. It just, it's even the right shape. Yeah. And I'm just going to smush the thread onto another stitch on top of another stitch yeah and then yeah it it gives nicely and to finish off I would use nails to push any excess glue and any excess thread into the stitch line because you know we're always concerned about getting yeah. as nice a result as we can and then finish off by pressing down everything with your th thumb uh -huh. There, look, how neat does that look? Hang on, there we go. See? Yeah. Simple. Brilliant. So that, that's the gusset on. Right. Um, okay, the next thing will be how to add a buckle onto this. So this eventually marries up to, so that, that, that's going to be on there. Yeah. So I'm going to show you how to make one of these. So you'll get a buckle yeah. that's in the, included in the kit. And this is the um, tab with the magnetic snap so you start off holding the buckle in your hand and then you have a little half moon depression at the top edge of the buckle right and that needs to be facing away from you you're going to take your um, tab with the buckle part and then fold have the pin also sitting in the half moon like that that might be make life a bit easier and then fold the plain part in half so that you can kind of get it through yeah. the bottom half of the buckle and then slide the pin in the, the slot on the tab, fold this part in half again and then push that through. And you know, and you know it works because, <laughs> you know it works. I've, I've only gone and done it upside down, my pit. Wrong way, Lisa Lam. <laughs> Turn that around, there you go. It's all in the instructions with pictures. It is though. all in the instructions. Hang on, so that needs to be ah. That needs to oh, I know what I did. I know what I did, I know what I did, people. Actually, yep, start off with the buckle, moon facing upwards, and then tab goes through the top half of the buckle uh -huh. like that. <coughs> you see. And then the pin goes through like this, and then that gets folded in half, and then through the bottom part. There. So if I leave that side on, does that make sense? Yeah. Is that clear to see? Lovely. Okay, so, and then you fold it, fold it in half, and then you just begin stitching. So, for this, for sewing on, sewing on buckles, do I have a ready stitched, I wonder if I already had a ready stitched needle oh. ready to go. No, no, if I don't, that's fine, I'll just have to quickly thread up. Yeah, just got a quick leave. While you it. thread, let me just recap all the bundles yeah, sure. then. Grey. Three left in the grey. And how many in baskets? 59 in baskets, but there's only three grey ones left. I do advise you to check out right now if you want that. Red. 
30 left, but 46 in baskets. See what I mean? These are all going to sell out once you've all checked out. And then last but not least, the lilac. Right, there's 50 of these left. However, 48 in basket. So we all check out. I've got two of those left. Okay, and if you go, uh, if, if, I can, can we show very quickly before Lisa goes back to sewing? Right, uh, because it's the last day, I am going to be redoing this quilt in a minute and the sewing machine, but we won't have time to do all these deals here that have been featured in the week. They're all now in today's show deals and they are the prices that you see there. They've already crashed the prices, but it's only till midnight tonight. Okay, until midnight tonight, those prices, that's it. Now, they, quali they also qualify for buying things from today's show. They're not qualifying for the, the other shop to win for the website. So that one there. So have a, look at, have a look when we finish in about 20 minutes and then you can see that. Yes, I am going to be doing this quilt. You've already noticed it's there and you're going to be, people are buying it ready. And yes, I'm going to recap the sewing machine, which was the huge, uh, uh, very, very popular uh, purchase this week. Was that the one with the 500 pounds off? Yes, 500 crazy, pounds off. Yeah. Crazy, crazy. Okay, so I'm just saddle stitching that on. So uh -huh. you know how to start off your saddle stitching, you know how to finish off your saddle stitching. Yeah. And yeah, so... That's it? That That's it, that's it. And is Easy. there anything, very quickly, so to, to which, order, well it's all in the instructions, isn't it? Yeah, which order I have to do it in? everything. And there's nothing else to check out? There's nothing else to go, oh, I need to just check on that? No, no, uh, um, uh, the, you know, if you, if you, you know, no need to message me again, the details are Details to, are in the instructions if you want to me message me. at the end of the pattern. Yes, share your makes, comments, say hi or ask questions on Facebook or, uh, oh, just on Facebook, just on Facebook. Yes. At the Sewing so, Street Fans or the So Lisa Lamb page. That's right. Have you got, not got the So Lisa Lamb website yet? Um, I, I, I do have, I did, I did get a few spare just in case. So if Sewing Street sells out, if they do sell out, then I'll make those few spare that I okay. have live. Lovely. So if anyone messages me and says I missed out, yeah. then then I'll do it. But yeah. The grey sold. Oh, the grey sold out now as well. Grey sold out now. Thank you, everybody. So red will be next to go, and then lilac, and then. Lilac. But the thing is, you've got till midnight tonight. Well, don't wait till midnight tonight. But you've got till midnight to check out. They will have all gone by midnight tonight. So there's the red one. Cute, isn't it? That's the bit that Lisa just showed you there. You don't even have to undo the buckles that they just have got um, magnetic. It's, it's hard to decide whether to give it as a kit or to give it as a finished bag because honestly, it's really enjoyable to do. Yeah, guys, a gift. Yeah, exactly. And there's no leather. It's all PU, so it's all vegan leather. And the strap is adjustable. I think what I'll do is if you decide, John, which one look, might make be the best match for the dress, I'll model it as well so people can see it for scale though they might have seen Bex wear it early on yeah exactly Bex had it on for hours <laughs> earlier right okay you carry on stitching that Lisa yes, now yes okay uh, you have a chocolate while Ooh, you're sitting yes, there yes that'll keep me quiet that'll keep you quiet thank yes. you now I just need to talk about this quilt just need to talk about this quilt I had this quilt on on can't remember what day it was right Hannah Hannah does something incredible to that price right so we are going to match it now. We are going to match it now. Let me just explain it to you. Oh, I haven't got the kit, have I? Oh, no, I haven't got the kit. I need to show you all the fabric. It's got so much fabric in it. I was on with Emma Bradford. Emma Bradford's with me, right? I'm going to show this. Show me, Charlie. Because, watch this. Watch this. Don't cut away from me, Charlie. Should be 274 99 Hannah took £100 off it. She dropped it by £100. Now, it's not difficult to do. It's, I wanted to show you in the pattern, but it's literally strips of fabric that you cut on a, on a 45 degree line and you create these diamonds. And then if you watch the show with them, what, what day was it that we did it? Oh, that's so good. 21st, right? 21st, right? Third, 23rd, right, 23rd. Um, Emma shows you how to cut this, and because these are cut a bit differently to normal. There are eight Y seams in the hole, but they're not difficult Y seams. It's enormous. Now, also, what Emma said she was gonna do was, you see this fabric here? There was enough there to make a dress. So she was gonna buy a midnight bluey sort of cake fabric and put midnight blue in there, there and there. Then you'd really see the star. 
And then she was going to make a dress out of that. A hundred pounds off the price tag. Right, be careful, be careful, be careful. Uh, well, let's work out a percentage of that. 15% of the stock left. 15% of the whole stock left. It's beautiful, isn't it? Now, that price it will only be till midnight tonight because it's a crash. That price will only be till midnight tonight. We weren't going to bring it back. It's just what happened on the day. It sold out on the day. It sold out, right? But people haven't checked out their baskets. People didn't check out their baskets. So you've got a second chance now of getting that good. Oh, they've got it sideways on there. They've got the waves going sideways, look. Gorgeous, £100 off. Look, take advantage of the split pay. Take advantage of that split pay as well. £100 off. Jenny Jackson made that. Yeah, Jenny Jackson made it out of the Tula fabric. Because yes. they've made it in Tula, in William Morris, and now Cave. It's and now Cave. It she says it's really easy to do. I wouldn't do it, I wouldn't do it if, if you've never, ever, ever made a quilt before. But the, basically, what you do is you cut strips like this. You sew them together or, with a graduated end. Then you cut a 45-degree line. That line has to be precise. And then you just cut along from that line. So you're creating all these diamonds. Creating all those diamonds. Loads of you there. Loads of you there. It's the last it's the last ten minutes of the birthday week. And what a week it's been, eh? What a week it's been. Oh Trudel's message in said what a lovely week. Thank you, Trudels. Uh fantastic. Keep going through keep going through hundred hundred pounds off. A hundred pounds off the price. So tonight at midnight, it goes back to two hundred and seventy-four ninety-nine. And the thing is, for two hundred seventy-four ninety-nine, it's a brilliant price because I think it was something like sixteen meters. I can't remember now because I've got the box, but I think it was about sixteen meters of fabric, or was it eleven point nine? Something like that. It was a lot, a lot of fabric. It's massive. Look at the size. It's two hundred and twenty by two hundred and twenty. You're only seeing this is the halfway mark here. So you're seeing it that much again down there and that much again. Well, you see the crop across. So that's 220 by 220. It's huge. So stay on that picture. Stay on that picture. Stay on that picture. Because the other amazing deal we did this week. This is ridiculous, right? Take the graphics out. They've taken... £500 off this sewing machine. At £2,289. Should be £2,789. Now, now, you'll see Susie Duncan using this on Monday. Tomorrow, 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 it will be £2,789. It's as simple as that. It's as simple. It's for the birthday only, right? Now, don't look at it and think, oh, I can't do computerised. This is the next one up. So you know I've got the 680, right? This is the next one up. Yes, it's got a computerised thing, but it does so much. You get three needle plates, so you can do your normal stitching, your professional stitching. Right, please be careful, because I've not got um, an infinite amount of these. I've not got... And also, I could say to you, oh, you get five metres of fabric. Oh, you get... No, five hundred pounds off that's a proper we've never taken that much money off a sewing machine before that's a proper proper big birthday saving and it's basically to say thank you for being with it because if it wasn't for you we wouldn't have jobs do you know what i mean it's only because of you coming in enjoying the show buying that we're still here and uh, you know you've been brilliant this week you've been absolutely fantastic this week but if you want, a, a, it's 500 pounds off. It's, look at the split pay as well. Split pay, 457.85 times. Yeah, you're saving more than the first payment, look. You're saving 500 pounds. No gimmicks, no nothing. Uh, if you want to know more about the machine, please go to the, um, our, web, our YouTube channel. And there's a picture of Jane from Elner actually taking it out of the box, threading it up, showing you how all the screens work and everything like that. Um, at £2,218, it is a fantastic, fantastic, fantastic buy, this. I have this machine, the generic version. Yeah, 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 you have the generic version identical. of this. Let me just show you the stitches in here. Here, look. It's crazy. You'd never, you'd have never hoped to use them. Before. No, no. And, you, oh, it's 9mm stitch width as well. No, so if you just look along here, you see here, these are the two professional plates that you use those for. And then these along here are all your other stitches. I mean, you'd never, ever, ever use them all, will you? But they're there. 
356 stitches there are, and a nine millimeter stitch width. So you've got another, uh, oh, and, 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 and. Um, what you do with the, on mine, if I want to write John, right, if I want to use the letters, right, I have to find J, which is like 10. I put 10 in memory. Then I've had to find the O, and that's 11. And all the, this one, you just type it in. And you've got space, so you've got spaces here as well. Where are they? They're, uh, here, they're here. I can't see from here. Look. Oh no, hang on, they the break there, there, there. So it's got everything. Look at all this, look at this. Look at all of these different look. And then if you just go along, you can see all the fantastic stitches you've got on there. You get a oh and 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 very quickly because I've got to go. The um you, the professional plate also comes with a professional foot and a professional walking foot, as well as your regular walking foot. So you get all that all comes in one of these. All comes in one of these. And uh, yeah, it's just incredible what you get. Have we got any slides for this? Have we got any of the foot feet slides or anything? Let's have a quick look. See, it's a slide. Two, you're getting £500 pounds off. It's brilliant, isn't it? Now, this one hasn't got the foot on it here because Susie took the foot yesterday. At £500 pounds off. That's what you have to remember. £500 pounds off. Here we go, this is what I want you to see. So now, 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 right, if you have a look at that, you've shown that, right, it's got a knee lift, right? Can I tell you, you don't need a knee lift. You don't need a knee lift, because this one has a function on it where you can be sewing along, and every time you stop, the needle goes down, and the foot, the foot, pe the foot pedal, the pressure foot, lifts up. So if you're doing a plique and you need to turn a corner, if you're doing quilting and you need to turn the whole quilt round, and then what you do is just to start off again, you just press your foot on the pedal. Actually, where's the pedal? Where's the pedal? Because here it is. Now I've got it. Oh, sorry, Lisa. Lamb. No worries. Look, 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 look. This is your pedal. Now, Stuart was saying yesterday he'd, he'd go two-footed on that. I've never <laughs> sewed with two feet on a pedal. But Actually, look at this, right? This is if you want to cut the thread. Now, you've, you have got the button on the side. You've got a button on the side to press if you want to do the normal thread cutter like I've got. But if you want to cut it with your foot, take your foot off there, press that, it cuts the thread. If you don't want that on the right-hand side, you can turn it around this way, set it all up and have it on the left-hand side. If you don't want that at all, you don't have to use that at all if you don't want to. It comes with an extension table. Okay, so we go back to the picture, sorry. Oh, sorry, what other pictures have we got very quickly? I know I'm waffling away, but I need you to know, need to know. Make sure you check out. Look at all those technical features. I'm not going to read them out because I can't see them. They're too small, even with my glasses on. Look at the screen. Look at the screens where it's a touch. A, what's it? T touch screen. Touch. What's the word I'm looking for? Touch screen. It's just touch screen. I thought there was a word missing. Yeah. And oh, also, look, 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 look. Hang on, where am I? Uh, yeah, let's have the accessories. Right, look, hang on. Look at this light. Look at this, I've got it switched on, look at this light, look. That's a light you can take out and it angles and it's really, really bright, as well as the lights under here. And if you do quilting, look at the size of that throat space. Look at that. How much of a quilting you get rolled up in there. I oh, know it's brilliant, isn't it? Right, what else is on that picture? Show me on the big screen, Charlie. So you've got your walking feet, oh, you've got so much. So look at all the feet, you, we haven't done that. That's what it comes with automatically. And then of course, you don't have your favourites along here, like on mine, I've got a little thing there because you don't need it because everything, including the feet and everything, all and the, uh, the needle plates all come in there. £500 off. £500 off. Right, I'll just put that down because I need to go back to Lisa Lamb now. Right, Lisa Lamb, what have you been up to? Uh, just sewing on this this pocket. Right? Trying to get it finished, ready it? for, what was it? <laughs> Pearl. Pearl. <laughs> right, let's just quickly do this then. So the red one. Fifteen left, but forty-eight in basket. It's going to sell out. Lisa, oh, you're going to have a sellout show on the last hour you. of the birthday thank week. Thank you, everyone. I really appreciate uh, it. Lilac, and then I'll go to menu. What? What? Forty-five left, which sounds loads. Oh, it's forty-five in baskets. So if you all check out now, you'll be all right. But then if anyone else comes in, yeah, red will sell out and just leave lilac. 
Christine says it's been a fantastic week. Thank you very much indeed. Right, shall we look at tomorrow's menu? It's a normal Monday tomorrow. <gasps> oh, I wonder if it'll be a bit of an anti-climax. <laughs> I like Mondays. Here we go. Oh, I can see a mistake on the... Oh, no, I can't, no, I can't. Uh, 8 a.m., Dresden Ruler tote bag with Susie Duncan. It's her own pattern. Back to the normal hours tomorrow, remember? Back to the normal hours tomorrow. Then at 9 a.m., we've got the Owl and Sewing Cat. Oh, Tracy Dennis is in tomorrow. I didn't know that. New Craft Collection 10 with Tracy Dennis. Then at 10 o'clock, Stripology Cushion Duo. That's another of Susie Duncan's um, uh, patterns that she's designed all around the Tripology Ruler. Then at 11 o'clock, the Owl and the Sewing Cat dressmaking patterns with Tracy Dennis. And then they've got Yarn Lane. Oh, look, Dewey Jumbo's in tomorrow. Dewey, have you met her? She's mad. Dewey Jumbo. Oh, Dewey Jumbo. Is she's that her a, nickname? She's as bad, mad as a bag of spanners, <laughs> that one, but adorable. She bursts into tears. When you buy things, she cries. She, like we sold out, she bursts into tears. That's so lovely. But she seems shorter than you are. Impossible. No. She, we have to put her on a very high chair and tell her not to move because wouldn't be, you wouldn't see her behind the desk. So that's tomorrow. Right, now, it's really important that you check out your baskets on everything because remember at midnight tonight everything goes back to its original price so that that machine won't be available at 500 pounds off if you've got the machine in your basket now i'd advise you to check out do it before midnight right do do it before midnight but do it sooner rather than later that's all i'm saying if you want it do it sooner rather than later five where where else where else can you say Oh, I've got, five, I've got 500 pounds knocked off the price. That's the kind of thing you buy when you buy a house, isn't it? They go, oh yeah, it's uh, 57,500 pounds. Oh, I'm not the five, 500, you, what do you know to me? The 500 on there, you knock the 500 off the end, don't you, right? No, that's like money off a house, not off a sewing machine. Quilt, that's got 100 pounds off it till midnight tonight, remember? Make sure you check out on that, that's 100, oh, there's my arm just in the flapping away. A hundred pounds off that, remember? And remember, Ben has just put on the website, uh, there's uh, fabric, there's pre-cuts, there's the, oh, there you go. There, there's the sewing machine. Oh, something sold out at the top there, look. Uh, then look, 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 so he's put all these uh, gold, black and gold, what's it called? Uh, hemline gold, hemline gold. And then those fabrics, now they will not be going back to that price ever again. They will be more expensive if you see them again. Where's the quilt? Oh, it's at the top because it was the last thing we did. There it is, £100 off. Now, remember, if you buy anything if up until midnight today that's been on the show, you could win all of this. So imagine if you bought a quick unpick today or something like a piece of fabric, right? One of you at 10 o'clock will win. It's a native lighting eclipse lamp look. It's a sewing machine, a brother sewing machine. Well, the sewing machine's £400, isn't it? The lamp's 105 or something like that. Then you've got Liberty Fabric and you've got Creative Grid Rulers. So I've got to go now. I'm in on Tuesday with Sarah Davis doing a... Or we'll relax. see what we're doing. Yeah, I've got something brand new that you can't buy anywhere else at all in Sewing Street Colours. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I don't know if Becky's on with her, but I'm definitely on with her. What's this? What is it? What is that then that he's running through there? Wasn't well, that the one that just said sold out on the website? Oh, okay. What is it? I've never seen it before. Oh, oh that's Crafters. It says Crafters because you have to take yeah, the glasses 39, off. 39, 90, anyway, I'm going, crafters. I'm going, I'm going. Make sure you stay on the channel to watch our Hobby Maker this afternoon. I don't know who's <laughs> producing, but I hope they haven't eaten my salad. I'm going off. Lisa Lamb brought me a gorgeous kale salad in with some oh. vegetarian sausages and egg in it. I'm looking forward to it now. Thanks ever so much for watching this week. It's been an absolutely brilliant week. I hope you've loved it as much as we have. Rebecca Riedelbooth, you're 8 o'clock. I'll see you on Tuesday. Lisa Lamb, thank you very much indeed. Bye.